Miss, I got sure, problems. Sure, I got his. Sure. I got histrionic personality disorder. <laughs> Self-diagnosed. Self-diagnosed. And recently no, diagnosed. No, Doctor Fidel. Doctor Fidel. Oh, Fidel. Poor Doctor Fidel. Poor Doctor. There was a Fidel, fan of the show. Fidel. who was a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. And he called in to d- diagnose Jimmy. <laughs> and uh, he almost I think got, he got fired. <laughs> he almost got fired. I think he we had ruined his life. Get him back. <laughs> Well, let's watch it and then we can debate. Okay. Yeah, so here's the video Jimmy sent me. Now, this is apparently Dr. <laughs> How do you say it? Because <laughs> he's Lebanese. Yeah. <laughs> also, giving me Dr. Mike vibes, not in like a, the bad way that we, but like just like suave, jacked, you know what I mean? He said he just needs 10 minutes, but I sent him okay. the Zoom. Okay, that's exciting. What's up, fellow foot soldiers? My name is Dr. I'm a resident physician in psychiatry. I also happen to be Lebanese, like our friend AB. So this is basically what it would look like if he didn't fail his pre-med courses. Today uh, I'm here AB, to- that was a shot fired at you. It'd be your own people. It'd always be your own people. At least with the Lebanese. Pretty funny. Pretty funny little goose. He got you pretty good, got bro. You. This is beef now. Courses. Today I'm here <laughs> to talk to you about the allegations. Jimmy Lee has been very, very unhinged on the podcast for a very long time and has caused distress to the beautiful crew that we have over at H3. Thank you. And I wanted to investigate whether or not he does have histrionic personality disorder. Well, during our phone interview, which happened to be a psychiatric evaluation, he told me to ride a camel and offered to take my Asian girlfriend (laughs) to a Chinese restaurant within the first five minutes. Throughout our conversation, I was able to place him in every single category. Uh, that would be for histrionic personality disorder. And I can confidently say that he does have it and he might even be on the spectrum. So I can't give him a handicap sticker for being mentally handicapped, but (laughs) I can assure you that he is a funny guy. Also very sick. Okay, now, like, (laughs) first of all, hilarious. Well delivered. Funny video, yeah. But, But, but like, would a doctor really make this video about his... That's what I'm wondering. I want to know how much Jimmy paid him. That's what I gotta yeah. figure this out. I don't think he. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Well, <laughs> sorry to interrupt, but this whole this whole weekend, Jimmy was having one of his fanfares. Right. He kept messaging, messaging me and Cam, just video clips of him just doing God knows what, just just ridiculous shit. He so, called me too. Did he call you, Zach? Of course he called. Yeah, me. I, I didn't pick up just because I was busy. But you didn't answer, Zach. No, I, I, it's, he calls me at least twice every week. And I'm always in communication with him in one shape or form. Would you prefer if he stopped calling you so much? No, because I, I feel it, it's part of someone's got to keep checking in yeah, on him. Yeah, someone's got to keep tabs right, on Jimmy. Right, right. So I always want to know what he's up to. But he'll he thinks that everyone is on his time. <laughs> so he'll call you when it's like 10 o'clock Jersey time. We're here. 1 a.m. Whatever. 1 a.m. here, right? Or no? No, no, no. no. Seven around. It'd be in the morning here, or oh, even early. Calls okay, him at okay. like seven yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then everything has to be right now. I gotta know right now. This moment, I gotta book. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> and it's like, well, it doesn't work like that. He's the boss, man. He's used to running the show. He's the big head honcho dentist. You, you know, as a side note, I was on Hollywood Boulevard on Saturday, and some fan rolled up, and they're like, "Hey, have you seen Jimmy? We've been circling the block looking for Jimmy." <laughs> and I'm like. He's in New York. <laughs> they thought he was in L.A. with the fanfare thing. But uh, shout out that fan. I like the idea of Jimmy just being one of those uh, Hollywood people that yeah. roams the street all day. Hold it. For pictures. Oh, so most, a lot of people are saying this is fake. Um, but again, he seems to be a real doctor. So people are saying he's not a licensed doctor. Because I think here when he says... Um, Mentally handicapped, but I can assure you that he is a funny guy. Well, he called him mentally handi- handicapped and I'm very ill, very, very, also very sick. Very sick. <laughs> funny, though. Yeah, I feel like this is just a guy that put on a lab coat and a stethoscope. Like, right. I'm, but I'm not a doctor. He's been making doctor content since yeah. before this. That's yeah, I don't think he they asked to... for credentials on TikTok. That's it. Well, if he is a doctor, <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't TikTok. I think it was Vimeo, dude. Oh, 
maybe even they take stuff a little more seriously. But is there. he not like a TikTok doc? Like, weren't you saying that he makes content for like on Instagram or something like that? I don't know. What do you do? You... Yeah, he makes content on on uh, Instagram and TikTok, <laughs> but I do think he's legit. I do think it, even though he tried to diss me, I didn't fail my classes. Thank you very much. But uh, <laughs> are you a doctor? So if he is a real doctor, this could be a. It's a goddamn HIPAA violation. It should be a HIPAA. It's a goddamn HIPAA violation. It's my HIPAA right not to get vaccinated. God damn it. Don't ask me nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's my goddamn yeah, HIPAA right. Why would a psychiatrist need a stethoscope? That is a fantastic question. See, it just like seems like it's just he went to the costume store and got some doctor stuff. That is a very good well, question. I am going through his tagged photos right now and mm-hmm. it checks out. Like there are people at psychiatry school that are tagging him in like group photos. Can we pull it up? Is it public? Yep. Uh-huh. I don't I want to... Wait, th- this guy's not on cameo, right? This was not a That's cameo. my first thought is that this must have been a cameo. Right. Or something like that. But you don't see a cameo link on any of his socials, so Right, I mean. I'm looking. I'm looking on Cameo. Well, he's calling in. He we can, let's link. grill his ass. My damn hippo rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I tell you what, man. So here is, um, oh wow, look at that tight shirt. <laughs> Yo, he's jacked, bro. And re- that's like the smallest shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was posted by um, oh, okay. a psychiatry school. And he's hold I the guy in the middle different. is holding a Psyduck. That is a psychic Pokemon. Therefore, uh, are that I'm, that's credentials, oh, yeah. bro. I'm sold. I'll take okay, it back. Okay, I'll say it says it's officially the start of a new academic year. This is from July 1st, so he's still in school. Right. So maybe he's just a student. Well, I so maybe he, he, he hasn't gone to the chapter go. about HIPAA yet. We'll let him. We'll let him I mean, go. He didn't take an oath yet, so he's not violating. Yeah, right, HIPAA, yeah right? taking the goddamn oath. This is an official diagnosis, Jimmy. You are fucked in the head. <laughs> I check every category of histrionic personality disorder. You're that and also autistic. That's what he said. He goes, he's that and on the spectrum. Hold it. I can't get you a handicap black for that. Check, check, check. Uh, I'm a fan who stopped AB in Hollywood about Jimmy Lee. What a wild coincidence that we saw you there while looking for Jimmy, who is actually in New York City. How did they get confused about the city that bad? I don't know, but it's like a whole other city. I will say this fan is a legend. He <laughs> always goes to Zach's shows. He refers to himself as the front of me's hoodie guy because he had a front of me's hoodie. He had us all signed. Really nice guy. Shout oh, out. I remember that guy. I oh, also yeah. remember that yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Good guy. He always shows up to support. Right on. Shout out. Even if Shout it's out, in the wrong dude. city, he Ow. shows up. For yeah, but wait, I, but is Jimmy doing a thing in LA? Isn't he in LA right he's now? He's coming to LA soon. October. Oh, so maybe he just got confused on the date or something. Yeah, I was thinking, should we do something with him? But then I I remember we pledged, like, once every six months max, right? Once a year, maybe so. I, I can't. I, I don't I, know if I could deal with that, to be honest with you, man. He's unhinged. You know what be fun, Zach? If, he's, if you role play as his son for a day, and you guys can <laughs> sleep together in a hotel room, have meals together. Ah. <sighs> He won't. I, he he kept asking me and Cam to come out of this to this fanfare. He's like, "You gotta come out." Yeah, Zachary. he's begging us to fly and out. And I'm like, "All right, you pay for it." He's all, like, "Can't do it. Come <laughs> out." He was I'm asking like, us the day before too. Yeah, the day before to come fly you, out. You gotta come out. I'm like, "All right, pay for our flights." Can't do it right now. You gotta come though. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I love it, man. I don't want to. I love. I think even if he is still a student, it's probably not that hard. It's not that difficult of a diagnosis. I mean, the yeah. man is a walking personality disorder. There's with peace like, and love, of course. Yeah, there's that whole like TV, index yeah. where it has the regu- like what it takes to be legally diagnosed. And yeah. I'm sure he'll take us through it if. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, he's calling in, so that's pretty exciting. Yep. I this full screen. I was just trying to full screen this. Uh, the chat has informed me I've been owned, I've been uh, dunked on, Psyduck. Is a water type Pokemon, not a psychic Pokemon. Why is his name Psyduck then? Thank you. That's a great question. Stupid ass name. But I just have to acknowledge that uh, I've been owned. I've been owned. Check out Dr. Bro. Less, more time fucking studying uh, medicine, less time in the gym. Damn. Okay, player. Let's see what you got. Folks. Jesus. 
Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah, brother. Anyway, that's that. So I guess we're waiting. And uh, thank you to Dr. Also, side note, Psyduck is a water-type Pokemon that resembles a duck or bipedal platypus. While only classified as water type, this Pokemon also possesses psychic powers. So why isn't his type psychic? Or just like a water Maybe psychic? Maybe of the two, he's more water than a psychic, mm. you know? I mean, but... I acknowledge that he is a duck, but he's clearly a psychic duck. Take it over to Professor Oak, I don't know. I, I didn't write the book. I am going to do exactly that. <laughs> anyway, um... He is ready. Bring a perfect timing, bring him on. Ready? Okay. Copy. I can't stretch this out any longer. <laughs> Doctor, let's fucking talk to oh, this man. Oh, he's stunting on us. Look, all right, scrubs and everything. Now, 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 now. Uh, welcome, first of all, to the show here, uh, Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you a question right at the bat. Are you a doctor? I am one hundred percent a doctor. And okay. For the comment that said, uh, for the psychiatrist, why would you use a stethoscope? Uh, I call this a really bulky red necklace. I don't know how to use it, but mm. we do have to be well versed in all aspects of medicine to correlate it uh, for medical issues relating back to psychiatric diagnos diagnoses. But um, yeah, I don't know how to use it, but we do need to use it. I'm a resident physician in psychiatry. Yeah. Okay, so so you, the resident, you do the residency after you do be the doctor. How does that work? So you go through. Oh, sorry. So. AB would probably know, but you go through four years of uh, undergraduate school, um, then you go through four years of medical school, and then that's when you're considered a doctor. Okay. And right now I'm in my residency training, so I see. I'm getting paid and operating as uh, a physician. Okay. But I haven't been able to like fully specialize or like open my own clinic yet. So. And have you taken the? Have you so you're oathed in or no? That hasn't happened yet. I'm oathed in, baby. Oh, so, oh yeah. so so was that a HIPAA violation? Yeah, so did, was that a HIPAA violation? Calling him uh That's not a HIPAA violation, no. Okay, why? A, I mean we're a lot, Well, um well, I could say someone has diabetes without getting like fired, right? I don't know. Can I guess it depends uh, who's asking. You're the doctor. Right? <laughs> yeah, you, I think I don't I don't know know it's, it's in the way he phrased it. He didn't actually say that he was. He said that I didn't diagnose him. No, he said this is an a, you said this is officially a psychiatric diagnosis. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is. It is. But he's not officially my patient, so I can go through, like, how we even got to this crazy-ass point right now. Like, okay. I'm, this is, yeah. So let, let me ask, first of all, how did, you, how did Jimmy find you? How did you guys get in touch? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy found me. Yeah, Jimmy found me. Basically, uh, I'm dating this beautiful woman named Berithia. And she was getting me a gift. And my cousin, who's a, like a huge H3 fan, they were kind of coordinating what the gift would be. And he's like, this is the best gift ever. And, oh, you're not going to believe it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's getting me a PS5. Holy fuck. Like, sweet. Like, I'm going to buy her some jewelry. I'm going to buy this and buy that. And then, and then my friend's like, oh, like, it's way better than a PS5. Way better. And I open the package, and it's a fucking Jimmy Lee audio, audio, audio shirt. <laughs> 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 what a guy. So oh, I always used to think, I'm like, who would buy this unironically? And yep. I'm standing there, I'm like, yeah, totally better than a PS5 for sure. So I post a like sarcastic story like on my Instagram. I'm like, I guess I'm a proud owner of like a Jimmy Lee shirt. And then like days go by and then I me and my girlfriend were in bed looking at this like H3 like a uh, sound clip website. I don't know if you you guys have seen that. It has like the faces of all the sound bites and you click on it. Yes. Yes. We were in bed and then it says Jersey Outlaw DM. Hey doc, what's up? Love oh, the shirt. Oh, he and saw like, the time. Okay. Holy shit. Holy. So basically we just started like a, like a back and forth and, um, I'm like, well, like, um, this psychiatrist, and he's like, oh, you remind me of me. You're, you have a hot Asian girlfriend, and you're a doctor. Oh, yeah, my God. You make a lot of money. And <laughs> we're just sitting in bed laughing, and then I eventually give him my number. Um, huge mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me ask huge you. Yep. Uh, just a, just a, just an aside here. How often is he reaching out to you? Almost daily, and uh, I, do, I do love the guy, but yeah. I would tell him sometimes, like, Hey Jimmy, like 
I'm with patients. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, we're going to do this thing and this and that. I'm like, Jimmy, but he, I'm, he, uh, he should understand that as a dentist. Yeah. I just, I just have to let the psych ward burn down though. Will, will you tell him one thing and then you'll think he'll understand it. And then five minutes later, he'll just reiterate the same thing. Has that happened to you yet? Yeah, this is group therapy for me and uh, yeah. Zach. We're trauma bonding right yeah. now. Welcome to the Yeah, Okay, so, so you gave him your number, and then so uh, continue. He's texting you all the time. So I had this idea. I'm like, hey, like, uh, I'm going to put the shirt on under my, under my white coat. I'll take a little picture in it. And, like, I was like, um, you want to do, like, a psychiatric evaluation? I, I, brought up, I brought the idea up, and he was like, oh, that's, like a, that's a genius idea. And I'm like all right, this should be interesting. And that call, like most calls with him, ended up being like 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> um, and I've talking, I've spoken to patients who are actively hallucinating. I've spoken to patients who are withdrawing, OD'd on meth, bipolar, manic, off the edge, Kanye West style. I cannot get in a word with this guy. It was, <laughs> huh? Yeah, he, he he's a guy, he's a character, brand. man. He's a he's, character. He God. was a character. And um, during this whole thing, like, I wanted to diagnose him with histrionic personality disorder. Like, a lot of people in my uh, field, uh, patients at least, sometimes they'll use, like, oh, I have this personality disorder so I can act shitty. Like, oh, I have borderline mm. personality. Mm. And sometimes I'll be like, yeah, well, I'm an Aquarius and my wife's a Virgo. So we sometimes I beat her. Like, that's just what it is. And I'm like, nah, you're just an asshole. You know what I mean? So I'm <laughs> yeah. like, let me let me see if like this histrionic thing i don't know where he got this from like it's a very specific thing like people usually know like avoidant personality disorder or borderline personality disorder but i'm like there must be something to this so like i wedged in like into the conversation like trying to fit the diagnostic criteria so i'll just go through the icd-10 which is the diagnostic criteria we use for a personality disorder so we have markedly disharmonious attitudes and behavior uh, affecting functioning, it's pervasive and pervasive and clear patterns, maladaptive to a broad range of personal and social situations. That's for sure. That's true. Um, <laughs> appearing during childhood, sometimes due to some childhood trauma. So I've listened He's, to yeah, your podcast that's true. in the yeah. past, yeah, and yeah. it's caused a considerable personal distress and strains relationships. And um, mm -hmm. so that's just the, the criteria for a personality disorder to, to so, be diagnosed. So then we, now we move on to the, uh, to the, yeah. to the extra stuff. So we're in so the, the gate with, we're in the gate with the personality disorder. Uh, now let's go histrionic. Yeah. So histrionic attention seeking behavior Ding that. Yeah. 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 Dramatic behavior. Hold on. Hold on. So, so dramatic, dramatic behavior. I mean, yeah. Yeah inappropriately yeah. seductive behavior oh my so, god that's yo. one of the worst moments of my life is so, seeing him. like i said in the in the video that i posted uh my girlfriend was there and he made the camel jokes and then he's like yeah hot asian girlfriend how about we go to a steak dinner and like we drop her off in a chinese food place with my wife and Jesus. they can have their thing and then we can kind of switch around Holy you know what i'm saying wait, 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 it's an old timey <laughs> switch Th this this was his opening to you this was his intro to you? First five minutes, dude. You gotta be <laughs> kidding me. You gotta make a good impression. <laughs> there's nobody like this, First man. I'm just five, saying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So there's more. Yeah, keep going. Discomfort with lack of attention. Yeah. Yeah. Excessive yeah. focus on physical appearance. I'm, I'm marking yeah. here for hairline. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Constantly seeking reassurance or approval. So that could be like texting and calling Zach and Cam, shooting ideas and stuff. Or me now. Well, you're welcome, guys. You're I get fucked, like dude. You're, I get you're in the trenches now, buddy. Dude, you're I find on. it interesting. I find it interesting uh, that he's so focused on you because, like, until now, you didn't even have any connection to the show. You're just like an Instagram doctor. Not even a, a no offense, but like relatively small following. And I just find it interesting that he latched onto you, so ha so hardcore that he's been texting you all day. Like he, know, like he'll I take know. anything he'll get in terms of attention. I, I think what he sees is he sees a guy. You are a good-looking dude, and he figures, oh, what? You know, the, the, the the doctor, he's a good-looking yeah. dude. I know, but what he sees, oh, he's a good-looking dude. You know, he 
Let, let's hook up. Let's hang out with this guy. It'll be good for the shtick. You think he's just looking for good looking dudes? To I hang think out with? that's what he's doing. I think you wanted to what? say, I think he just wanted to tell the doctor he's good looking, Zach. <laughs> no. I'm just giving my analysis. You're a good looking dog, dog. Do you, do, Zach, do, Zach, do you Zach, think he I think fucks? Super Zach, good looking. Uh, Does this guy fuck? Oh, yeah, he fucks. Yeah, yeah. He fucks hard, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true, doctor? <laughs> do you fuck hard? Um, yeah. 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 yeah he says, yeah. He said, yes. <laughs> with my with my girlfriend now though. Yeah, yeah. And, and so um, and have we um, have we covered all the categories or is there more? Oh, there's more. Suggestible, easily influenced by others, and believing relationships are closer than they are. That's the last one. Dude, so, yeah, I think you're right. He he hits everyone. He's a perfect score. With peace and love. He has histrionic personality disorder, and I threw in the spectrum disorder uh, in there as well, just to just because of like the disinhibited social engagements and inability to like see social cues sometimes. So, I it's a grab. I it, it's a grab I can't bag. Rule it out. It's a grab I can't bag of mental uh, uh, mental illness. I can't rule a fun it out. bag really. It, it does it, is it incredible to you that he was such a profoundly successful uh, dentist? In the face of this kind of personality disorder, pretty incredible, isn't it? It's, um, I mean, it's an underlying thing that's going to affect a lot of his actions. But with personality disorders, unlike something like a schizophrenia or a bipolar disorder, these people are, they can function normally in society and not mm. have it just affect their like day to day or work life. But it's, it, I, I've had like, surprisingly heart-to-heart -heart conversations with him like after the fact after this whole video but by, by the way when i mentioned that i was going to make a video for him it was non-stop texts and calls until i made the video so that was just like a lot of pressure there but um yeah i mean he at the end of the day is a nice guy and it wouldn't have really he's a great guy he is he's a great guy at his heart he's just got old but i jokes. see i see a little bit of like sadness like under the facade sometimes it's like Oh, like I mentioned, like, oh, like my girlfriend has more followers than you, like as a joke. And he, he kind of like was bothered by that. Or I'll say uh, he'll just text me randomly with pictures of him with fans. He's like, oh, this fame thing is just a crazy thing. Oh, so it's just like a secret. I just, it's incredible that, that that he's latched on to you before you even talk to us. He's he's look. I mean, it's he's spending his whole day trying to Jimmy's a he's a tick. He'll bury his head inside you. It's incredible. Laughing. This this have you ever worked with a histrionic patient before? I've worked with a lot of patients and the number one rule they give me is don't give my phone number out. Oh, so. well, yeah, but he's not a really a patient, <laughs> is he? No, he's I, Jimmy. Um, yeah, he's Jimmy. We typically the personality disorders that would put you in the hospital is like borderline personality disorder. So histrionic, not really. Yeah, but have you worked with a histrionic uh, person before? Oh, no, this is my first one. And I'm uh, maybe I'll do like a presentation for like uh, for the rest of my residents just on like what it is and what this guy looks like. I'm actually doing a um, a presentation like a case conference for like the entire like uh, university that I work at and the hospital on uh, the relationship with sugar and uh, depression. I'm actually playing one of your clips in front of this entire oh. maybe room full of hundreds to even thousands of doctors that are going to be watching this. So I'm, I'm putting your clip in there just like as a meme. What which clip? Of you and just Dr. Aid talking about that, like, depression and sugar thing, but that's just, like, I don't know. So, so are you, do you agree that there's a link between depression and sugar? Oh, 100%. Like, I, oh, I oh. looked into his data and several other studies coming out from, like, China and, like, South Korea and stuff, and I made an awesome presentation. I'm going to show that in there, and, uh, you know. You were influenced by Dr. Aid's. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, but shout out AB, shout out Lebanon. Let's go. Okay, let's, let's go, go Lebanon. Let's go Lebanon. Shout out. Uh, um, so basically, you he you said you're gonna make this video for him. You send it. You post it. This is very interesting that, that how this all came to fruition. Um, yeah. So in a way, when he comes on our show and he's telling super racist jokes and stuff. Can we just be like, it's Jimmy, he's got history on it. Cause he's not gonna change, right? We just gotta embrace he, them as he is. He's, um, it, and if you've had a deep conversation with him too, he's looking for clicks. That's what he wants. And that's his idea of clicks. 
my idea clicks. I love posting doctor content, but people just want to look at pictures and videos of me working out or me running around shirtless. And that's just what I do for clicks. So his thing is the the old tiny jokes. And that's just in line when he knows it's detrimental to his social and personal relationships. He'll still do it for that fame. Like now, doctor, he'll, he'll, um, let me ask you this. How often are you in the gym? I'm in the gym every day. Yeah. How many? How, how many? How much time? Forty-five minutes. You don't really need. That's it. More than. Yeah, yeah, and I listen to the pod while I'm there too. I'm just in and Love out. that. And and and, and then can we can we take off the shirt, please? Can we take a look at the? Oh, you, you know yeah, what? Under the natural lighting and stuff. You know what? You know what? I'm in the hospital now. <laughs> I really hope no one walks in. But we're me doing, too, doctor. We're, me too, we're doctor. Doing a lot. <laughs> it took a lot of convincing. Wow, doctor. Uh, doctor, <laughs> talk to me, baby. I see, I was never cut out for this. Look at that cake. That cakewalk. Women is turning the beautiful world. Mean another life, man. Who's histrionic around here? <laughs> for real. Uh, doctor. Well, <laughs> you and Jimmy might have more in common than you than you uh than you know. <laughs> I do want to say I do want to say one thing about Jimmy. I've had these long uh deep conversations with him. He's really He's he's a good guy, and um, I actually told him that my my brother is applying to dental school, and he, without any favors, and I thought like, oh, no way, Jimmy would help him. He called my brother up, talked to him on the phone, like thirty minutes of advice. What the heck? He put two admissions counselors from dental schools on the call with them, and that's Damn. just like, okay, that's really nice of him. He's just a really, really, really nice he, guy. He will come in clutch like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, and he does have a good heart. Like you're saying, like everyone does. Else is saying. Yeah. Also, something that I could say in his favor is like whenever he's in the, you know, the deli is causing a muck, he's always got long term friends with them. So he, he, he has the ability to keep long term uh, friendships going, which says a lot, you know, about a, a person. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, that was nice. That was, that was great that he did that for your brother. All right. Exciting stuff. So officially not a HIPAA violation. We're, we're, we're calling officially it here. Officially not a HIPAA violation. So what would officially be a HIPAA, HIPAA violation if not this? If he were my actual patient, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. He's not your patient. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Got it. Uh, well, yeah. then then you want to uh, disclose anything else about him that now? Uh, just if you want to give out any other dirt on him since we're on the call. Uh, Not yet. I not mean, yet, okay. We're... He's thinking, uh, I've given the idea of going to New York Comic Con, uh, so that'd be really, really fucking hilarious. So maybe that'll come through. If he wants to go to LA and like meet you guys, but if that's like the backup plan. Also, I want to call out Dr. Mike Pussy. Oh, yeah, he is, he is, he is. let's go. There's a new doc in town, and uh, <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I'll fight you whenever, man. That's what's up. We got to set that up, Whoa. Doctor. Okay. Doctor, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's thank our sponsors. And then, guys, Jimmy Lee was on Newsmax. Did you see this yet? No. They literally <laughs> interviewed Jimmy Lee about cancel culture <laughs> and how comedians are hamstrung and can no longer do the material what? they want. And Jimmy fucking Lee. By the way, uh, is Jimmy on the phone to talk about it? No, he's being a fucking prick. Is dude. he big timing you? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I can't wait around all day for this. Oh. I'm like, what? I'm like, fuck you, dude. Like, like, <laughs> what do you want? Like, I'm so over his shit. Like, well, he, he's so gone to his head. To be fair, I don't know we how long he's say, been waiting. Yeah, we did say we were gonna take a break. No, like between until we have him on again. We yeah, did. he's he. I was gonna give him out of embargo. Oh, yeah. Ethan made a unilateral uh, power play, <laughs> lifting yeah. the embargo and, early. You know, and he's not even gonna accept the invite. Okay, Jimmy. I'm gonna I'm gonna send him the link. And to, we'll see what happens. To be honest, I think it's best that he doesn't see me in this outfit. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Be bad. The camel jokes are coming. So right, I'm sending him the link right now. But it's it's so good. It's like I watched that and I said, "This is my favorite thing all, I've seen all year." Oh this my is God. the best. Video I of didn't year. even know that happened. It's incredible. It's it just so happened. Funny. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so funny. and they even introduced him. He wrote his own intro. They go, "Jimmy Lee, who's been featured on the H3 <laughs> podcast." Oh my God! And you know, News Newsmax is basically like uh, Nazi propaganda. <laughs> so I'm sure they they, they probably it. have done a story about what a fucking 
Yeah, whoever wrote, wrote that segment uh, <laughs> didn't uh, didn't check up on what the HG podcast is. <laughs> okay, let's get to Jimmy Lee and Newsmax. I'm yeah, telling... he's uh, in the waiting room. Oh. All right, let's watch it first. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's watch this, and then we'll have Jimmy Lee call. And we're going to keep it real tight with Jimmy. Don't get worried. I just want to check in. I want to know how this happened. <clears throat> and if you're a Jimmy Lee hater, just wa- you're going to love this. I promise this is good for the no, whole No, I'm time. actually, people know my thoughts on Jimmy Lee. I'm... This is fucking hilarious. This we we got to talk to him about this. <laughs> yeah, so um, Newsmax, I guess you don't know what they are. You never heard of it. Like, <clears throat> they used no. to be on television, but they lost their uh, distribution deal, I think. Uh, is that them? Or I think you might be confusing with OAN, O-A-N. Okay. the other one. But yeah, I mean, are they're... they on TV? Okay, this well, article's whatever. out of date, but yeah, yeah I think they're, they're around. So Newsmax, let me put it this way. They created a news station because Fox News wasn't conservative enough. That's Newsmax. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's Jimmy Lee. Would you take out the trash, please? Would you take out the trash? This guy's the luckiest guy. Three chicks. What? How do you do? I love that they're like, here he is making fun of a minority because he looks like a janitor. I, I'm assuming that's the joke. I mean, yeah, that's what, right up Newsmax. What is Alley. the joke there? It's hard to tell. There's layers. But new, so it's they're an old timey. They joke. hate yeah. immigrants. Mm-hmm. They hate, you know, the whole shtick with the, the conservative shtick. So they love this. So Jamie found his audience. Maybe. He really did, oh. dude. I think you're right. Would you take out the trash, please? <laughs> Would you take out the trash? That guy's this about guy's to kill you, dude. This guy, three chicks. How do you do this, dude? Yeah, you're look, listen, your talent outshines your head. Yeah. It really does. You made a mistake. Well, I have sure. a good divorce lawyer. He works for the law firm. Do we cheat him in hell? Set up for you. It's a lady from the cemetery. Come here. They reincarnated her. What? I, two years ago, she f- back. I thought you died. I went to your f- viewing. Now you're back. <laughs> Holy sh! Canadian. Go home. No one wants you here. That's good material. You're a and that I think that's good. That's a good talking point. They like that. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants you here. I think he found his audience. That's so interesting. Yeah, look at the headline. Comedians <laughs> comedian claims wokeness is killing comedy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, Jim. It's so true. <laughs> Goodness. We had to do a little bit of bleeping there, but overall, uh, you may know that man from uh, many videos from his outrageous online comedy skits and infamous call-ins to the H3. The infamous call-ins. I cannot believe these people are real. Sorry, I got to back it up. I just, he's got like a Simpsons news reporter voice. The infamous call-ins. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, many videos from his outrageous online comedy skits and infamous call-ins to the H3 the infamous podcast. Jimmy Lee, a.k.a. the... I can't believe they talked about us. Well, Jimmy sent that. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's Jimmy's copy. Steve Ross, he sent that. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. His manager. Jersey Outlaw is a comedian, viral YouTube personality, and a dentist by trade. Jimmy, welcome. Thanks for coming on. How'd you get into comedy? Where'd you find your inspiration? <laughs> Uh, well, basically, uh, first, thanks for having me on Zoom, because um, if I had had to come into the studio, I could have get shot on the subway. <laughs> it's tough out there. Crime is... Cr- they love that. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. All those minorities uh, on the subway. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about Crime, that. am I right? <laughs> man. Crime, man. Crime is crazy out there. Crime is crime crazy, crazy out there, folks. <laughs> And there's a lot of obviously report, reporting on that, but there's a lot of uh, folks in the comedy world that kind of want to stay away from talking about politics. I'm surprised you know, he's not wearing his glasses. I got oh, yeah, to look good. Yeah, I'm you shocked. You think they had told him, asked him to take it off? He's oh, making a spectacle maybe. of himself. Let's ask him. At the very least, I'm yeah. surprised that he didn't paint on the hairline there. I know, dude. I'm shocked. Yeah, he came humbled. I think no. he did. Oh, maybe a little bit. Maybe no, he's he's spritz. got the a little. You know, it's the Dracula fucking he pillow there. You know, he cleaned it up. It looks good. It's definitely dyed, but but yeah. Jimmy, I know you're watching. I think you look good like this. Uh, you don't need the whole shtick. You know what I mean? Well, today it's politically correct. Uh, I'm politically incorrect. Um, you know, today you look to the left, they tell you look to the right. You mm-hmm. look up, they tell you look down. Mm-hmm. You can't tell an old guy you died two years ago. You weren't notified. You have to be late and polite. Back in the 80s and 90s, when I was a kid growing up, I did the insults, the one-liners, the zingers, and um, I feel as I'm getting older, I need to keep that 
keep that. This motherfucker just said zingers. <laughs> No. Did he just say he was a kid in the yeah, 90s? Yeah, that's what got me. No, he didn't say that. Let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back. Let me go back. No, wait, fucking wait. He's really keeping up the, the age. Yeah. Wait, I was a kid in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Only 90s kids remember. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Like, uh, you died two years ago. You weren't notified. You have to be like polite. Back in the 80s and 90s when I was a kid. He does say that. The 80s and 90s? When he was a kid. So yeah. I think Jimmy's <laughs> probably. 67, just taking a guess. He's probably about my dad's age. I thought we figured it out. Didn't Wait, we? We did? Yeah, didn't we confirm his age at one point? He's, I don't think we ever did. He's like closer to 70. I think he was born in like 1950. <laughs> like my dad. And so he probably was 1808. a kid. 1950? He'd be 72. Okay, so I think he's about <laughs> my dad's age. This motherfucker grew up in the 50s, 60s. Yeah, for sure. The 80s, he 90s. Was, he was 40 years old in the 80s. <laughs> Wait, that kind of makes sense. I, I feel like he thinks that when he was 40, he was a kid. I think he might be right. Yeah. Right now, he's like... He was still growing up. He's though. like in his 20s now. <laughs> right, Maturity-wise. Right. Wise. <laughs> right. <laughs> growing up, I did the insults, the one-liners, the zingers, and um, I feel as I'm getting older, I need to keep that keep that alive. Uh, nobody's doing what I do anymore, hmm. so I do... There's a reason for that one, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever did what he does. Is that Trump? Trump? Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> Watch the shoe zone. I know, I'm sorry. Just having a Halloween moment. This is how he got on the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> he has two pictures with Trump. Are they shopped? <laughs> oh, they're, they're legit. Yeah. You think it's legit? No, I, I know. It wait, looks, wait. Yeah, you think they're shopped? <laughs> No. Well, I was, the, I'm just no. asking. I don't know. The only thing shopped about it is his face doing in it, but I think they're real. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> they look real to me. Okay, fair enough. The, nice finger. They, they, I guess they, Jimmy belongs to some country club. Is he a Mar-a-Lago member? I no. We gotta ask him. <laughs> I, it's uh, some. We gotta some get his ass in, his, in here. In his hometown. Well, and why I guess, would Trump go to any club or any like golf club but Mar-a-Lago? I don't you know. We gotta ask him. Well, Jimmy's in look, he's New York area, so he's I mean, in Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. I guess that's true. He is, Ela. He's wearing the same shirt. <laughs> as in that photo. <laughs> that's interesting. Sunday's best. Mm -hmm. The lucky shirt. That's his nicest shirt he owns. Because he wears it when he meets Trump. He wears it on Newsmax. Yeah. It's a nice shirt. I'm surprised he's not doing that iconic pose with him. God, we're learning oh. so much about him. <laughs> yeah, you're so right, Ken. Comedy. Uh, wise guy style. And then, I've never seen Don, Donnie with his hair like that. Wait. Mm. I have, and it was only one time. Jimmy was there for that? Hold on. Donald Trump. Because I think, it, yeah, I think Trump was wearing that shirt in that famous photo where his hair is all slicked back. Okay. Yeah, yeah this picture was posted six years ago on our Reddit. So it's not Six recently. Sixty years ago, people, we've been following Jimmy Lee <laughs> like that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were in New York like six, seven years ago. Oh no! And people, people shirt. are saying that I've never seen Donald Trump's hair like that. People yeah. are saying too. It is. It's an extremely rare Trumpy, but uh, it kind of no. looks better. This seems it to be at a better. It looks so that. much better. It, it actually yeah. looks good. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> So this was this was the day. So where what was this? If we could, uh, I actually I think it may have been because it was posted six years ago. Th this was more recent than that. This was like two years ago. Mm. I got a lot of questions for Jimmy. School style. Yeah, you call people out, not afraid to to make fun of them. Uh, which we're in a very PC climate, so I know that that's kind of risky. Uh, clearly, no fears of being canceled. Jimmy, I wanted to ask you though about your views on late night comedy. Uh, why do you think it's changed so much? Well, again, I think people are just politically correct. They're afraid to say anything, and um, people are afraid. So I'm the guy that comes out with no filter, unhinged off the rails, and, Excuse you know, me? just says what's on my mind. And I think it works because nobody nobody will do it. And uh, the comedians... So I love how they have, like, their whole media circus ready. Like, they pull up a picture of James <laughs> <Yeah>. Gordon. <laughs> It's so awesome. So awesome. Is he going to talk some shit on Kimmel? Because he's like obsessed with getting on Kimmel. No, no, he doesn't. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He wouldn't dare. They don't interact with the public like they used to back in the old days. I go out on the street and I interact 
you know, directly with him. In fact, I got to tell you, my TV show is doing Why so Why do they well. have a whole fucking reel of James Corden? Yeah. It's awesome. The only one that knows about it, you know? <laughs> I mean, well, the New York Times, they gave me last week two thumbs down. And the New York Post, they gave me one finger up. It gives you an idea how well I'm doing. Well, you got to be careful. You know, mm. James Corden, we were talking. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to be careful. Let's bring it back to James Corden, that lib. <laughs> Let's smash the libs. James, Cor James Corden's like the, probably the least political out of all of the late night guys. I think they just, they go, oh, he's like. But shouldn't they be mad at like Colbert? Or even, or even good. Kimmel. Kimmel, like, is more of a lib. Like, James yeah. Corden doesn't talk about politics They're at all. running the Corden story he, on the Yeah, CIA. I James guess. Uh, for he's in the news. For mistreatment of restaurant staff. Right. They turn it political. They figure it out. That another comedian, though, but he was under fire of how he treated restaurant staff there. And you know what's so funny? I had a flat... Jimmy was literally in the kitchen yeah. of a deli asking <laughs> the yeah. chefs for their yeah. paper. I was about to say. <laughs> Yeah, he, Jimmy's like, yeah, that's crazy, man. He's a real <laughs> dick. <laughs> he does say that, Wash. Coming out having to apologize, but it gets to this whole point of having to apologize. Yeah. Completely different thing. I don't know how a guy goes in and does that. He should have ordered a salad. Who could do that? No carbs. I mean, he's a big guy. <laughs> and, uh, who would do I can't believe shameless, Jimmy. Shameless. He, what, what, he calls him fat, but like in a super unfunny way, Wash. <laughs> guy goes in and does that. He should have ordered a salad. No carbs. I mean, he's a big guy. Oh. And uh, and not say anything, but he had to order 20 items, and uh, it became a pain in the body. And I'm steamed up about it. I got to tell you, Sean, I'm steamed. He's he's, he's real mad. He's steamed. <laughs> he's real mad about. If there's one thing that steams me up, it's the <laughs> mistreatment <laughs> of restaurant staff. <laughs> <laughs> this is so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I, I, you know, thing. it's uh, it, it's we, we like to treat our restaurant uh, workers well. Oh yeah, uh, I worked <laughs> at a restaurant myself, um, and I, I know that they they definitely work hard. Real quick, I wanted to touch on this too, if we could. Wait, um, did he I say he owns a restaurant yeah. himself? No, he says I used to work in a restaurant. No. Oh, I I heard I own a restaurant myself. No, that's right. Steam. Oh. Mm. Well, I, I you know, thing. it's, uh, it, it's, we, we like to treat our restaurant, uh, workers well. Uh, I worked in a restaurant oh, myself. Oh, wow. okay, okay. Um, <laughs> and I, I know that they, they definitely work hard. Real quick, I wanted to touch on this too, if we could. Um, I know that you met with President Trump, former President Trump there. Uh, I saw some pictures. Do you have a, can you explain that? Well, uh, I met Trump several times. He's I, actually, Sean, I gotta tell you. He's a wonderful person. I mean, you ask him, he'll tell you. He's not shy, Donald Trump. And uh, I, I really think we need a guy like him back in the White House. I really oh, really? Do. Yes, I man. think oh, uh, he's a big we one. need people oh. that are going to allow us our freedom, you know, our autonomy and the right to make informed. Autonomy? Are you talking about, like, because like, he doesn't want autonomy? Why don't we ask him? We got to ask, ask him exactly what he means. Yeah. He, he, he's wow. going down in the same hole as Papa John. Yeah. Oh, they, you know what? I think they get on really well, Jimmy. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> I think they'd be besties. Real they fun. would. Yeah. <laughs> From decisions, and I think we need them back. All right. Maybe you got him to laugh at a few jokes too. Does he have a good sense of humor? He's a nice guy. He really is. He's All a right. good guy. Donald Trump is five thousand times funnier him, than Jimmy Lee will shape. ever be. There we go. Jimmy Lee, thanks for coming on. Appreciate the conversation <laughs> and for making us laugh right. today. Okay, remember this, Emma. Politics is a very tricky business. One week you're on the cover of time, and the next week Biden could be doing time. Wow. Lock him up. <laughs> he edited that for the political hit. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Well, he knows the audience. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Leave it right there. Jimmy Lee joining us live. going to get me in trouble, Jimmy. Sean, you look yeah, you guys are going to get on Hurricane Eye, buddy. Uh, why do you have to bring that up, Jimmy? I'm trying to... Trying not to look absolutely <laughs> marvelous, baby. Trying to bury those. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was a reference to something or if you just confused the guy and he was playing along. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Because he goes, you look just like you did in American Idol, you zinger. Everybody. Don't bury that, man. You still look great. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was a long time ago. Jimmy Lee joining us live. Maybe Good he was on American Idol. Thank, thank you. We got the music playing a song. Uh, it was... <laughs> <laughs> We got the music playing. Uh, uh, we gotta go. All right, let's bring him on, man. All right, let me bring him on right now. Love okay, it. go ahead, yeah.
the whole segment's about cancel culture and people being too sensitive. And then she's like, oh, you're going to give me trouble. Let's play the music. Yeah. his ass off. You know, it's funny. <laughs> I, th I don't know if they were one of the people that got sued by... Uh, Wait, here's... What was the name of the voting company? Dominion. Yeah, did they get sued by Dominion? Maybe. Because they got real tight-lipped about that. And that lawsuit dropped. Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jimmy uh, Lee, you awaken of Newsmax fame. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Hold big on. break there, Jimmy. Let me get it. Let me get situated. This is a new thing I just put on my. Uh, okay, can you see me? Ethan? Absolutely, I can. Yeah. So, um, I, I, so, so, uh, I see you, see you got yourself in a light. dark room there. Do you want it a little lighter? Potentially, well, lights on would be nice, but uh, it's up to you. I mean, it's fine too. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, it we want to sit in the dark. Don't Halloween miss episode. Survive. It is a little spooky well, that I'm way. Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's a spooky. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. That's a good point. So wait, did you turn the lights on or no? I have the light in the other room on. I wanted to give you a little light, but I wanted it <laughs> kind of eerie. But okay. I'm not going to fade okay. out into the darkness like before. Very subtle. Jimmy, first of all, nice to see you. Nice to hear from you. Hi. We're... Happy Halloween. I like your outfits. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Yeah, I like yours I too. Like Dylan, uh... Hey, Jimmy, I like your outfit too. Zing! <laughs> it's the Jersey Outlaw. <laughs> So uh, how you guys doing? Good? Okay, yeah, we're doing great. Uh, so listen, how did- tell me about this Newsmax segment. First of all, how did it come about? How did you- how did this happen? Um, we just have a team of people now on the back end, and you know, we have people helping. Publicity. You have a team of how many people? We have two, three publicity people and four social media people. No, you do not. Wait, what? You have seven people working for you? Yes. Stop it. Oh my god. I mean, you've seen his Instagram. How they're, much you pay on that? Cranking it out. How much does that cost you? Um, just like you gotta pay your crew, I gotta pay my crew. Same thing. Same same thing. Wow. I'm not, no, I'm not making money yet. No, 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 no. Come on. It's just like... I we... mean, the, we see the activity on socials. It's mm -hmm. been wild. Right. So the YouTube videos got way better and the Instagrams and TikToks. So I have, you know, Megan and Mason. Now I have Olivia and Carly. And I have a few PR people, and I have people in New York that really are helping me with uh, media in New York now. We're getting a lot of uh, activity in New York. We may be on another big show. I don't want to say anything. Wow. Yet, wow. I'm, like, like, I'm talking like a late night show, like something really big, to be honest. Okay, so so um, I want to mm -hmm. ask you, uh, did they ask you to remove your glasses? Uh, because I noticed you don't have your glasses on. Um. The producer wants me as a person, not in character. I so I, I had to, you know, wear my regular <laughs> shirt, no glasses, and I had to be a normal person. Like I'm talking to you normally. Yeah, now. yeah. We love that side of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so did you reach out to, like, how does that work? Did you reach out to a bunch of people and Newsmax is the uh, only one that answered? It's almost like a journey when you meet someone. Like, I'll give you an example. Right now we're working thing. what's in the box with, um, a new company it's a youtube series it's coming out in a week or two where i open things in a box and we have crazy reactions i sent zach a picture of one of the funny ones uh and and that comes out in a couple of weeks what? so you know, it, it's a new youtube series that a company in new york's developing oh and then, okay interesting yeah through there we meet people and people know people in new york and one person okay has, so, so so okay back end, so I'll, so do you watch no. Newsmax? Are you a, are you a patron of theirs? Uh, no, I'm not. No. Where do you get your news from? Just out of curiosity. Well, I work 14, 16 hour <laughs> days, Ethan. I don't really have much time got to do it, anything. Got it, work. got it. So I'll be honest. I watch the news at night before I go to bed. What channel? Channel 6, ABC. Oh, the local news. Nah. Ooh. Nah. Yeah, and I, and I watch CNN on weekends, but oh! honestly... Oh, CNN, Jimmy! <laughs> if they they would have they would have given you the boot so fast if they knew your ass was watching CNN. <laughs> so um, that's amazing. I was lucky to get Newsmax, and I want to say thanks to Sean and Emma. They're two hosts, and they were really nice to yes. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweethearts. Just nice people, and I just really appreciated them having me on. Like, I appreciate uh, you guys having me on, and they mentioned you. I heard I that. Yeah. To do that. Yeah. yeah, that was mm -hmm. nice. Appreciate that. Shout out. Yep. Um, 
What about those pictures of Trump? You said you want Trump back in office. Was that a just were you just pl playing to your audience? Well, I am a comedian. I'm not a politician, and um, I don't even want to go there because really? uh, I get in trouble with that. So we're going to leave that one go. Really? But I'm a comedian. I'm not a politician, and and you, you know, you know, I know Trump. Well, you we'll leave that at, at that. You know Trump. Yeah. Yes, of course we know Trump. Why is that of course? That's not of course at all. That. I didn't know that you know Trump. Yeah, yeah, I've met Trump a lot of times. You, does he know your name? Would he see you and say, hey, Jimmy? Probably not. <laughs> but I, uh, probably not. Yeah. I'm not going to ask me, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but, uh, I appreciate that. So you, you know, still, I mean, uh, did you, so are you, you voted for Trump probably a lot in the last election with yes. Joey? Yeah, yeah. Oh. With all yes. of Joey? Okay, that's interesting. You watch CNN, but you're MAGA. What's that? I don't know. i just curious how this all happened. But it's very interesting, Jimmy. I'm happy well, for you. It, it's it's a team of people. Look, I, I look up to you guys a lot. I, I don't talk serious like this, but I mean, what Hill has accomplished with Teddy Fresh, that's amazing what you guys did. Mm -hmm. And what you've done on your fan base and all the work you've done. And you have a, you have a phenomenal team of people. And um, that helped you to accomplish success. And I've done that in Dental, and I'm starting to build that team in entertainment. And actually, mm. it's starting starting to work somewhat. I'm not saying it's working as much as I want, but it's heading in the right direction. I'll say that, to be honest. And that's kind of where we're going. And we're going one step at a time. We're not rushing things. We're doing it kind of in order and strategically, you know. So was there any... Uh, after this interview you did on Newsmax, did you hear any chatter about... This hot new comedian, Jimmy, or anything like that? Well, I did see something up on Hollywood Times uh, today. Really? So up on that. The Hollywood I, Times? Yes. You can Google it. Uh-huh. And, and um, <laughs> we have something in the works for something big late night New York that we heard from today. And um, we don't want to say anything until it happens because we don't we're just like that. My team doesn't want me to say anything, but there's things happening. And then that thing with James Corden and Balazar, we're reaching out to them to try to do some FOMO in that restaurant. And we haven't heard back from them yet. Oh, shit. That's we a mentioned, shame. We mentioned, well, we mentioned it in the, in the newsreel on purpose. And we're waiting to hear back from them because You're I... I thought I thought James Corden was wrong, and you know, I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would never mistreat restaurant staff like him, right? Yeah, never. No, well, I, I, I was a waiter for four years through school, and and I'm extra nice to waiters and over tip them because they have right, yeah. really, and really hard jobs. Yeah, you can't be a waiter. You have to be nice and. Uh, Listen, we went to Felix. We did a FOMO thing in New York a week ago. I did a promotional thing for Adidas. What is the FOMO thing? FOMO Pyramid. is just missing out. Yeah. So we did a promotional thing for Adidas. They gave me, they didn't pay me, they gave me a free sweatsuit. And we went to Felix and um, <laughs> we set up a reservation and we had FOMO there with the GM and the owner. Wait, so, you had FOMO uh, with them? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, wait, what, what do you mean? Wait, 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 what does it mean you had FOMO? <laughs> go, go to my Instagram uh, channel, Sam. Is that Sam on there? No. <laughs> Everybody's here. Oh, I mean, everyone's here, but... Oh, all right. Go to my Instagram and look about a week ago. You'll see some of the posts up. But from, you said we uh, did FOMO with him. I don't know. What does that mean? So when, when I say FOMO, if I'm in a restaurant, I say there's FOMO or, or, or at Adidas, there's, there's excitement and there's fans and there's a lot of activity. And FOMO? Like, so FOMO is a term in entertainment for fear missing out. So, you know, like... You know. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> But, so you had a fear of missing out with them, but you're no. not missing out. You're no. in the action. No, you're you're missing out. If you can create excitement, charisma, and a lot of uh, entertainment style buzz, you mm -hmm. know, it's called FOMO, where a person wants to see you because they have fear of missing out. I see. Oh, but promo, you, but promo. you wouldn't. Right. So right. You. you would, okay. You would be causing other people to have FOMO. You, you Ethan, cause FOMO. You know, People have to watch your show so they don't miss things. When right, I go to a restaurant, right. you know, and I, I make a whole thing oh. and I start taking pictures and I, I, I went up to a table because two of the people recognized, guys, you're on TV. And they all got excited and, 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 and that's up on the Instagram. You're creating that, that excitement where there's fans and, and you know, 
we create that buzz, which is basically what you guys. We need the FOMO. Time. More FOMO, mo problems, perhaps. <laughs> I said more FOMO. Here it is. You got it. Yeah. How'd you get that free Adidas tracksuit, by the way? Cause, cause I did an event for them. They asked me to go in last Saturday. That's a real reason we went in for who? I did, for Adidas. Uh, Mm-hmm. I did a ninety minute. You, you, they said no comment. Wait, 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 wait. You were then, you wait, 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 wait. You did. And at the end, and then at the end, I said I had that yellow sweatshirt. I said, can I keep that? And they said, yeah, yeah. I said, don't pay me. I want this. Can't they drop me. Take, take the wet, take the, <laughs> take the sweatsuit. So I took the sweatsuit. Wait, what did you do for Adidas? They just wanted me as a social media influencer to go in and promote their wear. So there was a bunch of people. So I, I put on about three and a half outfits. Jimmy, and- respectfully, there's no chance that that's happened. <laughs> it, it, did, it did happen because that's that was why we went. The Felix thing was off the cuff. The Adidas thing is because I know the manager that works there. I know the girl. Oh, name is oh so it wasn't like Adidas corporate. It was like Adidas. No, no, it, was, no, it was like it was, Kanye okay. showing up. It was a manager of probably. a store. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, okay, favorite. that I believe. And okay. then so you were doing shtick at Adidas? So you got to create the FOMO, and then they get excited. Right. People come around, they want to take pictures. Like I did my fan for And then at the end, they gave me a free sweatsuit. That's all. It wasn't okay. anything from a corporate. No, absolutely How many not. people showed up to the Adidas store? Well, it's the people that are there. They didn't come. It wasn't a fanfare announce. They just basically <laughs> oh no fanfare. Oh, it's just the- <laughs> media influencer and people come around. Maybe there were thirty. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are track. you just are you just harassing the customers who are there shopping? <laughs> yeah, creating FOMO. FOMO. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, who taught you? Jimmy, FOMO? did you shoplift that tracksuit? <laughs> no, I didn't shoplift it. I would pay. It's two hundred dollars. My God! You walked out of it. Yeah. <laughs> like just keep it. Just go. I said, "Can I have the sweatsuit?" He goes, "Yeah, you helped us out. You, you promoted you whatever some you people. want. I'll take images." And I, no, I didn't ask for the whole store. I just asked for a sweatsuit. Yeah. So. Um, my my team, a couple people took a picture. We put it up on social media. If you look at the Instagram, let me see. Screen, I want to see that. It's in the chat. It's it's, wanna... it's it's there. Black Lives Matter. They put a thing up because Kanye West had problems with Adidas a week ago. You'll see it. It's in Adidas. It's Wait, Adidas. I hadn't heard about that. Here yeah. you are. That's fucking retarded. No, no, no. That's not the one. <laughs> uh, that's not it. No, oh, go to go. What's to this one from, Jimmy? Ago. That's in Las Vegas. That's just when I was in the uh. store. You're just a fan of Adidas and you wanted to pose? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was nothing. Go to the one a week ago in New York from one week ago. You'll see me wearing a yellow sweatsuit. Go back on the in, the Instagram to about Can a week Can you just ago. post me his uh, Instagram, guys? Yeah. Yeah, one sec there, Jim. Jimbo. There you go. <laughs> Ethan, who are you supposed to be? I like your Oh, outfit. the Penguin from Batman. Uh, oh, the Penguin. The, yeah, the Batman. Really Batman. Cool. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> So let's I'm see. To be, um, Bruce Jenner in the oh, this Switch. one was really good, by the way. I like this one. So watch we, this. Oh, watch this one, guys. He oh, just... yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, and what's the really? joke? <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? That, 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 that's a classic one. That's been about three, four years ago. <laughs> yeah, and what's the joke here? <laughs> well, take a look at his stomach. It wasn't a hard one to figure out. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> But you say really, so so you're basically just saying like seriously, you're this fat and disgusting. Well, it's AB's idea, to be honest. Don't blame me. It's a good joke, man. Jimmy, a lot uh, to chew on there. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> what do, what do you think about AB's costume? I'm just curious. Uh, see, <laughs> trick or treat, Charlie. No, okay. trick or treat, Charlie. That's right. <laughs> it wasn't trick or treat, Ahmed. I'll take it. Trick or treat, Charlie. Hey, can you explain this post to me, Jimmy? We out here, bitches. Drip? <laughs> you have to ask my social media people. I don't do them. Wait, uh, do you do you do you like look at the post before it's posted, or do you just let them do so it? Good. You got me. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes so they good, man. Up. I don't even know. I think that's promoting my 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 um and my um Jimmy wear uh, gear. But but to give you an idea, how good my gear's doing. I'm the only one that's buying it right now. Yeah. That's what it's been doing. That's surprising, <laughs> man. I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Oh, is that the yellow suit? <laughs> oh, here it is. Is it this one? No, I linked it for you. Oh, no, no. Go, go. Go further down. Go. Can you unpack this one for me? 
I didn't do it. It says Abby Lee Miller. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, geez, I don't even know what it is. It's FOMO. <laughs> Wait, so you don't you don't you don't know what it is, but you can still post it? I didn't do these. <laughs> Jimmy, can you unpack this one for me? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, that was done by my fan Declan Cross, who does great, great stuff. Declan, thank you. He did that. He's one of our fans. He's a good one. Shout out Declan. He's a good one. Hey, okay, great. what about this one? Nobody's oh. perfect, especially oh. you. <laughs> that was done by Olivia. Go to the one that says Black Lives Matter, the yellow sweatshirt. That's the one they gave me. Dude, you yeah. post so much. I can't find it. You have like 20 uh, posts a day. Go, go back. Go <laughs> back. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What's that? It's Walt fucking Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I didn't post that. <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't post this. <laughs> I didn't do that. My my team oh, does shit. the fight that I have a team with them. The devil gets chills when the nice guy loses his temper. This is the kid from Breaking Bad, right? Yes. You like that? Oh, that, that's Dan, 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 Dan yeah, likes yeah, that. Yeah. Dan like that. What the hell, dude? Oh God, go, that's really funny. Go further. <laughs> further back, Ethan, and you're Oh, God. <laughs> How much do you post? <laughs> well, they're been posting too much. It's One right of my there. New York people said, oh, there you're coming in, Danelle. There. Still, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Can I ask you, wait, before, before I open this, up, I want to... Black Lives I, I, Matter, I, the yellow sweats. <laughs> you got it right there. Is it this that's, one right here? It's the black. It's, no, well, that's the TMZ one they picked up on. From uh, that's when the fans recognize me at Felix. Fans, these are children, <laughs> Jimmy. Well, they recognize me because <laughs> of you. And they said you're from me. No, no, looks no. Like you're taking that yes. picture with them. Why are you taking pictures yes. with kids, Jimmy? Because they, when I went in to say thanks to, to the manager. They go, oh my God, it's Jimmy Lee from H3. So I said, guys, you're on TV. <laughs> and I went in the front and, and, and my photographer took a picture. That's and, how that happened. You, look, you, you didn't call the kids fat or ugly, did you? <laughs> No, they said, you're Jimmy Lee from H3. I said, yeah, you're on TV. Okay, so they all, all right, they cool. go to the one where I have the yellow sweatshirt. Says, this Black one right Black. here? <laughs> no. Jimmy Lee making FOMO at the Fresco New York. <laughs> oh, that's at the restaurant Fresco. That's where we had dinner, Fresco's and Scottos. Mm. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Ethan. That's where I had lunch with you and Hilla. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about this one, Jimmy? Can so we get hard. much higher? Go to the. What's this to, one? I didn't do it. Go oh. to the yellow sweatsuit. <laughs> That's it, Ethan. Go right there. I'm pointing to it. Yeah, no, yellow sweatsuit. B. It, Where? No, go, go, go the other way. See it. Go, go, go. Right, go up. Right there. That's it. You got it. Right there. I don't... No. Black Lives Matter. Is the it the one in the red? No, it's the yellow one. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm not good with tech. Right there. Stop, stop, stop. B L F. I'm Stop. looking down no. here. Oh, BLM. BLM. Go BLM. Go BLM. Jimmy, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bingo. Hey, Bingo. it's me. Hey, it's me, Big Jimmy. Guess what I had for breakfast? The whole buffet. Bingo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let me find this yellow one. I don't know what you're talking stop, about. Stop, stop, stop. BLM. BLM. I don't see it. I don't know what you're on talking about. This one? Here, I mean, this one is yellow. Yeah, under yeah. it, under it now. <laughs> <laughs> that's James Borden. It's okay. No big, that's wait, it. Where, which, it. where is it? Oh, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, yeah. That one, that's the sweatsuit they gave me. Why does that's it say BLM, bro? Black Lives Matter. I know, but like, it just is there. Okay. No, look no, at the top. Oh, I don't give off. a fuck what Ye said. Black Lives Matter for life, forever. <laughs> 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 that was for my social media post. Yeah. the message, bro. Man, for sure. Message. Hey, you're out here looking like a can of Sprite, dude. And that can Adidas. You're out there looking like a can of Sprite. Tell I, me that color's not cool. Do you like the yellow or not? I like it. Interesting colors yeah. to use with this <laughs> color. Yeah. You, cool I mean, color. you look like lemon lime. Yeah. All right. Like Jimmy, spread. you're on embargo technically. <laughs> So I guess it's a good time to wrap it up. But it's been nice to hear from you. Nice to see you're doing well. Um, do you think all lives matter, Jimmy? I think everybody, all kidding aside with my comment, I think everybody matters. Black, white, 
Spanish. Puerto so you Rican, said white lives matter. Chinese, everybody matters. So, okay. so would you say, so which one would you say is more accurate? All lives matter or black lives matter? All lives matter. All okay. lives matter. What was that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. <laughs> no, you're right. All lives do matter. Absolutely. For sure. And would you say, would you say that crime, <laughs> would you say that crime happens when people, as a function of like your class, right? So if oh you're more God. poor, you're more li likely to commit crime? Or do you think it's some yeah. innate quality of people? That they're just bad people and they commit crime. No, I think it's the person. Because what about the wealthy people that do white collar crime? It's the it's okay. the person. True. The person. FOMO, baby. I also saw one that was like a big burning cross. I didn't know if that was appropriate or not. You might want to just ask your team about that. You might want a little more oversight into these. Because <laughs> if you're just posting stuff, then there's no oversight. Well, I think what I may do is post them myself and have them send me. Because yeah, mentioning I'm not. There was one, cause there was one, if you go back, it's like clan members and they're burning a cross. I was like, this is weird, Jimmy. But you're not like a member of the clan, are you? No. Okay, so you should erase that one. So I'm going to have to, I'll take the channel over and let them send me stuff and I'll figure it out. I'm going to work it the way I was before. They've had my channel for two weeks, so obviously, uh, I'll, let me just go Wait, back. Wait, what now. is this one, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Wanted. wanted. Work with me. The Jersey Outlaw does not condone the actions of the wanted domestic terrorist Ezra Miller and hereby offers his name for the recast of Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. The Jersey Outlaw as The Flash. Hashtag. That could probably be one of my fans. That doesn't look like my social media people that way. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that is. Did you see the one with the World Showers? Uh, burning. Yeah, the 9-11, the World Trade that Center. That was tasteless that you posted that on 9-11, Jimmy. Say it again? You posted a picture of not, of the World Trade Center on fire, and, and it was you being like, work with me, and I on 9-11, and I thought that was inappropriate. I did that? I was on your Instagram. Well, somebody page. did. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. Somebody somebody. <laughs> It wasn't me. I mean, it's your name. On well, what thing. about what about the one with all like the euthanized dogs? And you're like, that, work with me. Work with me. Oh. That one was crazy. Yeah. Did you put seriously posted a picture of Auschwitz that said Jimmy Ware is flame retarded? No. <laughs> <laughs> if it's it's there, on it's your there. page. All right. Well, then I have to make a phone call. I didn't do that. I have girls doing it. I let them have the channel. I'm They're wild. I, I'm afraid they might be white supremacists. You might want to check on. Right. That. All right. Listen. Thank so you, can Jimmy. I get you something to eat? When yeah. is this show going on? It's not live tonight. It's... On Monday. On Monday. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. And um, just so you know, there's a chance we may be coming out if there if there's a a TV or big thing out there. I'll give Zach a heads up if we come out and uh, love to see you guys if we come out. That'd be great. Love it. Okay. And I appreciate the love and yeah. I love you all you guys. Thank you. Um, okay. I, I just to let you know, by the way, Jimmy, uh -huh. I know it's been a long time since Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor happened. Yeah. But the edit of you on the, <laughs> on the deck of the Arizona, <laughs> And yeah, then, and then there's a kamikaze <laughs> pilot flying in saying bingo. Oh, was that another post? That's so yeah, fucked up. I mean it's pretty fucked it was up. A picture of Jimmy in a kamikaze plane going bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm learning from you guys my post I have up because I don't even know half of them. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll be in touch with them tonight when I hang out with you. Okay, Jesus, that was fucked up. <laughs> Um, so happy Halloween. -er. Happy Halloween. No, happy Halloween. -er. Oh, like your last name and like a, happy like Halloween a, like a penis. -er. Big bro. Yeah. And by the way, Jimmy, joking about Katrina is kind of a, <laughs> on the line. Like Again. Hurricane Katrina. It's just a tragedy and we shouldn't really poke fun of it. Like that post of you on a boat. <laughs> Okay, so really? I get it. have to go to. Have to and go there's to like the people the swimming in the flood water, and they're trying to get onto the boat, and you're kicking them off, and like there's no room. And it's sorry. A that says, work with, with me. me. Work with me. <laughs> That's fucking insane, Jimmy. Well, don't joke about this. that stuff. 
<laughs> are they posts that you want up because they're funny, or do you want them down? I have well, I mean, they're them. funny, but it's just I, I worry that it's going to get you in a lot of trouble. Like, Newsmax <laughs> doesn't give a shit, obviously, but, you know, if you're trying to go mainstream, this is the kind of stuff that could sink your career. Absolutely. Uh, then I have to make a phone call. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you got to scrub. You got to scrub. Okay, cool. I'll do that. Hey, by the way, <laughs> there was a picture you posted of <laughs> your face. Of the guy shooting Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was it? What was it? You were assassinating <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. You were John Wilkes Booth. Your face was you photoshopped. Face and you said onto bingo, John Wilkes Booth. and you were shouting bingo <laughs> as the gun went off. And, and it was I like graph. I've it, never seen that depiction before, but there's actually like brain matter like flying out. Wait a minute, is that on Instagram? Yes. yes. Yeah, you do fit Instagram with like. You gotta keep down. an eye oh, what gotta, goes on there, Jimmy. All right, I, I'm gonna definitely tonight. I'm um, taking the channel over. You're telling me a lot of posts I don't even know. About. And Abe's wearing a Jimmy Wear shirt. Yeah, well, I mean it's good Abe's promotion, a but Jimmy Wear shirt. right, Abe, Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Oh, real quick, did you guys see some of the Comic Con stuff from two weeks back? We had a really good time. Oh, you were at New York Comic Con, right? We went. It was really good. A lot of people recognized me. Thanks to you guys. Mm -hmm. A lot of lot of H three fans and a lot of people. I would say fifty people knew me there. No way, that's awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love you guys for. Yeah, and just just to be clear, that people are really sensitive about World War Two, and so. During D-Day, or I think it was, where they're all lifting the flag. Oh, uh, uh, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima. Yeah. You put your face on, like, all five of the guys. Yeah. And it's, like, kind of, it, people think that's stolen. It's a little stolen. disrespectful. Yeah. Disrespectful. yeah. On, you, Veterans, on Veterans Day, it's just a little thing. Did you serve in the military? Jimmy? Me? Yeah, were you, are you a veteran? No, I'm not that old. I'm not one dollar. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me like I'm 75 years I'm old. Oh, I just remembered another one. You were flying the plane that dropped the bomb over Hiroshima. No, I wasn't. I yeah, the Enola Gay. The you're, you're, it you says it on the side. And you were like, bingo! <laughs> it literally says the Enola Gay on the side. It's the, the plane that dropped the bomb. It's fucked up. And you're like, Man, is that really I'll, sh my and I'll show you something yeah. else that's gay. That's what you're saying. And then you're dropping the bomb on a bunch of Japanese people. Holy and then shit. below it, it says you're, if you're not gay, you're on the waiting list. Right. Well, that's my joke. But right, stay I didn't put that... I didn't put it up. The girls. Well, the you just said it's your joke. It. Well, no, yeah. it's my joke. Absolutely, I that mean, my joke. But right. I, I didn't put. I didn't put that. that it's your up. page. It's your joke. It sounds I like maybe you post it's just not all those innocents. Yeah. Okay. They I mean, in a minute, well, Jimmy. Yeah. Children, women, or dying painfully from radiation poisoning over weeks, even months. That's Ooh. fucked up. People yeah. still having birth. Jimmy, people are still having birth <laughs> defects from that. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. I, you take I, care. I, I, all right. I love you guys. Keep an eye, okay? Keep an eye on that Instagram page. But it's that nice to catch up, okay, buddy? All right. Stay all right. We love you. Happy Halloween. There. YouTube, I come out. Halloweener. Oh, happy Halloweener. Happy Halloweener. Happy Halloweener. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Take care. Love you too, Jimmy. All right. Take care. Be good. Bye. Be good. I will. You too. All right. That Instagram page is so <laughs> off the rails. I can't believe it's not banned. FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> FOMO. That was just so disgusting. I mean, I love Jimmy, but that shit, way too far. Yeah. 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 Like, why would you put your face on Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey Dahmer's? Jeffrey, D <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer's. This is my hero. Yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah, inappropriate. Yeah. 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 Weird. Anyway, the one with, yeah. that's always Jimmy ends up taking way more too much time. <laughs> well, what about the one he posted of where he's like Har Lee Harvey Oswald at the top of the Texas Book Depository? And I mean, he's, he's shooting JFK and he's like, BINGO! <laughs> <laughs> They're all insane, but I don't think anything will top Walt Jr. for me personally. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, shit. I hope we didn't... I hope we verifies that any of this is real before he fires all Yeah, I was staff. just thinking that. <laughs> they'll figure it out. He'll, they'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, I just wanted to ask, did you post a picture of me as Adolf Hitler pulling a switch? <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! For more info, go to dogsbite.org. <laughs>
uh, we're changing the world for the better over there. <sighs> Moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goddamn. My blood boiling. <clears throat> Yo, I saw. I got an <laughs> email from Jimmy Lee today. <laughs> what day do you not? Well, that's kind of what I was wondering. He <laughs> sent me an email about something like that he was going to be in L.A. and that uh, he's my best friend and uh, let's do something exciting together. And I decided to search his email, and lo and behold, since I've known Jimmy, he's, he's emailed me 374 times as Jimmy Lee. And that then seems at, low. Really? I don't know. I had pages and pages and pages, bro. That's 50 emails per page. I had to click a lot of times to get to the back. Sure, but I mean, that you've known him for what, five, six years now? Something like that? I guess well, maybe even longer? Steve oh. Rossi has emailed me 44 times. Oh, of course, of course. Of His course. Uh, elusive publicist. Mm -hmm. For a total of, like, what is that? 430 or something? Okay, yeah, we're getting... That's a lot of fucking emails, dude. He must have called me uh, 20 times over the weekend. See, this is why really? I'm saying it seems low. It's based he off the volume of... Uh, Calls he really called Zach you gets. that many times? He's Open your missed call. Do you answer them or do you? Fuck do you... no. Yeah. <laughs> he he was he was in town. Um, you know I'll text him. I'll keep tabs on him, but you'll never be able to get off. So how many missed calls you get from him? Go. Um, let's get the exact number. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's an old timey thing. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. I was exaggerating, but okay. five is a five lot. is still a five lot. missed calls. <laughs> five. So, um, and then an un like just kept texting me pictures, memes that he posts. So he'll like send it to me after he posts it. Yeah, he he emails me the memes a lot. Yeah, Zach, you you actually respond <coughs> to him, but I don't, and he still sends me on the mailing list there. So like I get everything <laughs> he posts on his Instagram. He's so it. fantastic. How can you dislike Jimmy Lee? The man is like. <laughs> He's a force awesome. of nature. There's nobody like him in the whole planet. So <laughs> this he, man has emailed me like 430 times, bro. So he messaged me. Saturday was, "Are you going out tonight with gang?" I said, "Are you in LA?" He's all, "Come today. Need FOMO with you. <laughs> <laughs> come out. Come with us tonight. Big Daddy need the Zacker." Then he sent me a picture. <laughs> Big I, Daddy need the. Zacker. I said, "Who's going?" He said, "I got Polly and Pat." My buddy. It's Polly and it's Pat. Polly hey, Pat. hey, meet me at the hey, Italian. Zagarino. Oh, I remember the email he sent me. He said, bring the cameras. Let's go to a restaurant. I'm going to tear that place up. I'm going <laughs> to go in the kitchen and make a crazy FOMO for you guys. Then he said, bring one of your buddies, probably Shoshone's, which is the restaurant he was going to. Need Zach on team, kid. Get AB. We're going to Shoney's. Get the team together. <laughs> We're gonna create some FOMO. Did he refer? Did I understand that he referred to himself as Big Big Daddy in one of those? Uh, come out with us tonight, Big Daddy. I think he called Zach. He was referring to me as Big yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then it, I said, "I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted." <laughs> he said, "Dope it is. Dope on a rope with some soap." He's always on, even in text. And then the last text was FOMO Hotel made that Craig's tonight major FOMO. <laughs> no, Zach, you're missing out on our group chat one, too. Oh, shit, there's another yeah. chat, too. He says, Zach, we're insulting all the customers, and they're dying laughing. Where are you? <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is just... major FOMO. Major. All caps major. What? What is this? Why is it saying more posts from Jimmy Lee? I just want Jimmy Lee. Hold it. I click in this link you sent, AB, and it... Did he rate? Okay, here. Goddamn. Why does it do that? You see that? Yeah. So you guys saw that. Sub I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. I saw it. Getting FOMO over here. Yeah. See it? What the fuck? What kind of FOMO just is this? Go to his profile. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just sent you his profile link. Yeah, Jimmy's been posting. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't missed a day on the memes, man. Although, Jimmy, if I'm being honest, dude, and I know you're probably watching this, listen, you on horseback ushering Native Americans on the Trail of Tears is yeah. not funny. The wounded knee is not something that you like, want to joke about. You have to know that. The Native Americans is the probably the single biggest genocide in American history. So let's not laugh about the Trail of Tears, okay? Yeah. It's just not cool. Listen, Jimmy, you handing a a blanket with smallpox <laughs> is really not a good vibe, bro. He has a new Breaking Bad post with Walter Jr. now <laughs> becoming Heisenberg. Dude, this guy posts so much. Like, what the fuck? Where's the one? You gotta keep going. Look at this shit. The Jake Paul Andrew Tate meetup. 
What the fuck, man? How are you so active on here? He's got a team of like 20 people, he said. He does. Dude, That's like insane. <laughs> but these people he's hired are actually like really internet savvy. That's the weird part. I know they're fans no, I think of it's ours. just fans. Yeah. I think it's just fans sending it in. It, it's definitely fans, see. but the, they're really deep fried high level memes. You handled the chip, Dan. Have you tried D's? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I shot I that like one awake. <clears throat> Get in, loser. We're making FOMO. So there, there was another text he sent me that I'd like to read. I said, I, after the, I'll keep you posted, he said, come on, pal, how many times can you say you hang out with a real celebrity? Referring to him? Referring to him. He's kidding. He's gotta be. I don't know anymore, dude. <laughs> it's, it is hard to tell. I forgive you for all the things you never apologize for. Uh, Dan, he forgives you for saying you don't like him. Me? Let me yeah. see. Which one are you looking at? Right here. He says, I forgive you for all the things you never apologize for. <laughs> Sorry. These are all, okay. Oh, I actually, I, I actually really like the, uh, Yo, the God it, of War one that he posted. I wait, put it, it on my story. It will not let me open this image. This is the one that bugged out. It's cursed. Okay, I'll Maybe just go zoom to the in. One next to it. Look, I'll just zoom in. There it is. <laughs> it's awesome. Bro, we can't play it. It's cursed. It's too much. You know what would be epic if Jimmy paid to promote this? Oh yeah. Oh, that'd yeah. be a high level play. No, he's going to do that. <laughs> do it, man. <laughs> Where's the God of War one? I'll just look at one more here. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Right there. there in the middle. God uh, of FOMO. God of FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> Cease these old timey jokes, boy. Father, when can I go out on my own? I've got the whole it's world the to spread FOMO. It's the Pinocchio. It's uh... Father, when Father? can I go out on my own? <laughs> Dude, these meme makers are wild as shit. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. But okay, there it is. So shout out Jimmy. Is he still in LA, uh, Zach? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, I can feel his presence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he knows where we work. Is he going to show up and just shout our names? Now he's going to. <laughs> I mean, that's, I'll let him in if he does that. Uh oh. You're not invited, but if you can post up outside and get our attention, you can come in. Wait a minute. He <laughs> check out Jimmy Lee's story. <laughs> Looks like he's posing up with Zach. His story? Oh. Can I look at stories on on? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like a sack look alike. Oh, every time. Well, yeah. He, Wait, he got a replacement sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a sack look alike, dude. <laughs> He gets he gets recognized a lot now in public because uh, <laughs> his time on the show and he just yeah he he likes to hit the buzz. <gasps> That's funny. Oh God. <laughs> One more before we get into the main segment. Jimmy Lee's Wildin on Insta. We we like this one. Jimmy Lee is back in H three Studios. A B, get me some camel milk on the rocks and a Viagra for Danny Boy. Yep. He's been posting bangers lately. Let's see. This one was good. Really good. <laughs> Source, the voice is in my head. It's actually a good joke. <laughs> it's a common motif, too. Um, this one was pretty interesting. Where did they find... I've never even seen this photo. Where did they get this, Dan? Well, it's, I'm not. It's a manipulated photo, as you can probably imagine. Oh, I thought it was real. Is that no. weird? It looks so real. Holy shit. I thought that would, they got just like a young photo of you. No. Yeah, I was like, damn, you took a selfie early in life. <laughs> I never had hair like that. No. <laughs> so proud of my son, Dan Lee, passing his driver test today. Can we get some lands in chat? Here's, of course, uh, Jay Leno uh, crashing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, proud dad. Is that, is that Bobby's hair? No, no okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Back it off. This one, this one actually pissed you off, Cam, with the commissioner creating FOMO. Dude, with Roger I fucking Goodell. hate Roger Goodell. Fuck you, Roger Goodell. I know <laughs> you're watching. Eat shit, Roger Goodell. I agree with that. <clears throat> Looks like he painted his hairline on to meet Roger Goodell. So he texted me these photos, and I immediately sent it to our uh, our chat. And there's a side profile one that his hairline is, is so bad. Whoa, look at that one. Like, the paint. It, why, Jimmy? Dude, he goes out like so that. Insane. 
Jimmy, you can't go out like that. It's so much worse. It looked worse than this? No, I'm saying it, it looked oh, yeah. worse him yeah. doing that than but, not, you know? Yeah. Like, if he's doing, like, street comedy, doing his shtick, whatever, I get it. But, like, going out like this with your family, dude... It's funny, this is like the first post that's real, but somehow he made it look fake in the first in the first photo. Right. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can't be serious with that. You Looking know, Jimmy, like, everybody knows what you're doing. Like Gary Oldman and Dracula, dude. Like, swear <laughs> straight up. <laughs> it's just, no, you're not, everybody look, is like just looking at your hairline. It's not, hap it's not good. Do you think he keeps those sunglasses in his back pocket wherever he goes? For like, sure, he just yeah. busts them out for the photos. For sure. This guy. Is... Oh my God! Somebody said he looks like RoboCop without the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Can you pull up a picture? Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> the hairline. He got that Robo. <laughs> he got that RoboCop hairline. <laughs> oh my God! That's such a good one. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of a good thing. RoboCop hairline's kind of fire. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> That's awesome. I gotta find who said that. I just briefly <laughs> saw it fly by in the chat. Oh, that's funny. That's good, man. You just know there's gonna be RoboCop memes on his page now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Oh, that's good. Hold so, it. So there it is. Uh, the Merchant of Venom. Where art thine camel, Sir Abdullah? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this one. The first time I've seen. Yo, the Merchant of Venom. Hey, but you know, he spelled my name right. No one spells my name right, so. Abdullah. He nailed it. I love how it's just all H3 related memes. Well, dude, I'm telling you, whoever makes these memes is like an absolute meme genius. It's un. It's Mason. Real. Look at this shit. Oh, that that's the one. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Jimmy, you cannot. You reviewed uh, these pictures. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. You hit it with that the double just for men, man. He just this man. We did a bit. We did the special episode with my dad and him, and we did like goofy hairlines. That's what we did on him. Yeah. Well, He's that, wearing that, it for real now. That's what Olivia yeah. was saying. She's like, "Oh my god, he liked my work so much." That <laughs> yeah. he's continuing on with it. Mm -hmm. He liked what I did for him. Oh, brother Jimmy. Made him beautiful. I love that one. I'm coming out as FOMO sexual. Yeah, that one's good. I appreciate him joining the LGBTQ plus FOMO sexual. See, this looks much better. I mean, I mean, it's a normal hairline. He does. Yeah, it's better than putting fucking you know polish on your hair. Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. At least he uses a straight edge, you know. Why not just get a toupee at that point? Just right. Get a hair. He pays like thousands and thousands of dollars a month on this shit. Bro, he is paying someone. This just get a hair, dude. He should yeah, what get about a the toupee. hairline surgery. Like he can afford that, right? I think he's too he old. He should go to Turkey. He doesn't. I don't think he has enough hair for it to work. I see. Yeah. I mean, he's eighty years old. You know, there's only you know so yeah. much he can do. I think age, genuinely but... he should get a hair a hair piece. There, the hair pieces of getting so freaking good. I see some guys on TikTok. Yeah, that, those uh, they look videos. amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but do you think he needs a tube though? Like, like a tube, like a toupee. A well, tube? well, do you like it, the paint? If <laughs> if it's nothing. such a big deal, if, I don't think he needs it. But if it's so important to him that he's willing to walk around with paint on his head, then maybe yeah, you know maybe I mean? it's a better option. I, I think it looks fine, but yeah, he just wear a hat too. I mean, if it really bothers him that much, he'd look sick in like a Kangol or some shit like that. I love this one. Detention. Why haven't you fixed your comedy? I forgore. <laughs> <laughs> I for gore. I don't get it. It's just, it's just, it's just a ship. It's just yeah. A, yeah. It's an old timey joke, us. Ethan. Wait, what's yeah, for gore? gore. I it's forgot. just, I forgot, I forgot, but it's it's wrong. Just that is wrong. also wrong. It's like a deep fried meat. Okay, okay. It's a button on the joke. You can only choose one. What is your choice? Pain of discipline, pain of regret. Wow. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> yeah. That's some Sigma male stuff right there. He could also wear a bandana. I know someone that does that. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's true. That'd be a good look. And, and just get the like whole the, outlaw and, aesthetic, you know? And just like oh, the yeah. other guy, Bad he, boy. he's Probably an old guy boy. trying to look young, so, you know, it works for him. 
<laughs> oh shit. We hide your girls. Me and my son are on the prowl. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, what do you think about um, Pete going with the Jimmy Lee hairline? Like one day? Yeah, one. I mean, he did this. No, he went out like this. He this is the way. Jimmy Lee. I like it. Wow. Okay, he can't do no wrong. It's a good look on him. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I there think it uh, there it is. It's okay. We know you love him. You're not the only one. Not to be embarrassed about. For the record. All right. Um, I'm still undecided for the so record. So we have a, a comedian who's a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. He's an up-and-comer, and I use that in the most generous terms possible. Sure, he's shitty at comedy. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> is, is that what you mean? In some circles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, your words, not mine. Yeah, I, I don't know, him, but I'm going to guess yeah. yes. So his you name's know? Gimme Lee. Okay. He's, his, the moniker is the Jersey Outlaw. Moniker is already a big problem. You do not need a moniker to do stand-up He's the comedy. Jersey outlaw. Okay. He's got right. a whole persona. Okay, I mean, no Holy. chance he's good. So he's going to call <laughs> in at 2.30. Okay. And I was hoping that you as a professional comedian could give him feedback. Sure. He has a set prepared for us. He's going to do a set over the phone? Yeah, he on Zoom. We'll see on a Zoom. video. Yeah. Okay, great. And so, you know, and he's, like I said, he's a friend of the show. He knows everything we do, so you don't have to feel bad. I won't. Just break, I will you know, not. give him the whole, <laughs> the whole stuff. I won't pull my punches for the Jersey outlaw. All right, we got Jimmy on the on the phone. This oh. is our comedian that needs help. I can't wait. So let's bring on Jimmy Lee. Let's bring on Jimmy. He's a fan favorite. Yeah, stand by. <laughs> well, fan fan. Fa <laughs> <laughs> They're torn. There's yeah. two camps. <laughs> a very mixed reception with the fans. <laughs> Jimmy's a hot dog. He's a dentist, by the way. Okay. He's actually a very successful dentist. He owns different dentistry offices and. Uh, wow. The way we f there he is. Oh, Howdy. all right. Hey, pinks. Say, there he is. Pinks hot dog. Wait, why? Whoa, where's the hair, Jimmy? Where's the iconic hair? Uh, he has not connected his audio yet. <laughs> audio, He's audio, a very audio. Successful dentist. Okay. The way that we found him is that he had a comedy uh, sketch that he filmed that he was passing out to his clients. On a disc? Yeah, on a, <laughs> on a DVD. <laughs> and one of our fans sent it to us. That's awesome. And this was years ago, and uh, we've been close friends ever since. I love it. Jimmy, you there? Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Yeah. Hold Jim on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get ready. I'm here. I got to get the audio. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That <laughs> Hell, wait, yeah. Wait, Jimmy, what's with the hat? Where's the hairline? No hairline. Pink's. Pink's hot dogs today. Wait. We're, Did, we're celebrating pinks. Was your makeup person not available? What happened? The he makeup person didn't mm. show. Don't uh. push on the hairline. Nobody knows. <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep it a secret. Yeah. Pinks oh. is the best. Pinks, Ethan's the best hot dog place in L.A. They got all different flavors of hot dogs. It's the best place. He's with doing pinks. an ad right now. <laughs> he's doing, yeah. He's no, doing, no, no, no. Pinks paid him. That's, that's, that's uh, what Mr. Pink asked me to say. <laughs> I'm reading Pink. off the sheet. <laughs> okay, well, shout out uh, Pink's Hot Dogs, apparently. Yeah. Um, Pink's Hot Dogs rules. It sure does. <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> so, so, Jimmy, this here is Stavros. How we doing, Jimmy? Uh, well, I want to thank you guys for having me on. That was a very a nice surprise. Merry Christmas and very nice to meet you. Yeah, so, <laughs> Jimmy, we love you, Jimmy. We're always happy to have you on. Where are you from, Jimmy? Uh, I'm sorry, the accents. Uh, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey outlaw, yeah. Okay. Philadelphia accent. Yeah, 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 that's interesting. I'm from Baltimore. It's a little <laughs> twinges that mid-Atlantic accent. Yeah. Just a little bit over there, yeah. Yeah, so, Go ahead. so um, Stavros <laughs> is actually a very successful comedian. I don't know if you know him, but he has a special out. It's going viral on YouTube right now, Jimmy. It has wow. 4.1 million views. Mm -hmm. That's 4. Point million views more than I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get there, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping before uh, he doesn't I have my, as much time as you. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm okay. running you're, out of time. Yeah, but, but you're making good. You're speeding along. Huge strides. So, Jim, you know how uh, good I'm doing. You know how good my show's doing. How's that? No, I'm the only guy that knows about it. Right. Not <laughs> no, anymore. <okay. laughs> A little old timey humor. I see. Okay, so Jimmy, um, how would you describe your brand of comedy for Stavros? Offensive, old style, mm. uh, insult comedy. Oh, all right. Insult old comic. Uh, yeah. Let's hear it, bro. I'm you ready wanna, to go. You want to try? Um, do you want to maybe try roasting Stavros yeah, first? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or before your set? Well, I. 
I, I watched them earlier, and I, I, I would tell you nothing gets by them, especially carbohydrates. That I could tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. You got me there. All Jimmy. right. Roasted. <laughs> you got me there. I'm roasted. <laughs> what's, what's your first name? Stavros. Is, so, Stavros, you want to hear something cool about Las Vegas? Uh, I'd love to. <laughs> if you don't bring your girl, they actually send one up. It's pretty cool. Zach tried it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's just prostitution. Yeah. No, no. I didn't yep. say that. You said that. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure you have to ask well, for that. Well, wait a minute. You know the cool thing about, about hookers in Vegas? Oh, what's that? They can drop it, drape it, and droop it. <laughs> drop it, drape it, and droop it. Would yeah, that be their it. pussies? Is that what you're kind of relating? It, their pussy? Their do don't, no, don't push. Don't push. Oh, I don't. Oh, he, he doesn't like follow up questions. Oh, he doesn't like follow up questions. <laughs> <laughs> because it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to explain. Right, right. I yeah. see. I exactly. see. Exactly. The, per- the, the mark of a good joke. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, so- it, it stands up to zero scrutiny whatsoever. <laughs> exactly. I was telling AB I had so much gas list that I thought I was being followed by Arabs. <laughs> Wow. You actually were. We were following you. Yeah, he tells that one a lot. We tell him, don't. We, tell, we keep telling him, cut that one from your repertoire. But he keeps bringing Work it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get Work you. Well, they were, I guess they were trying to take the gas from you because typically the Arabs have the gas. But again, we don't have to follow up. It's That's all good. an interesting observation, you know what, Jimmy. You know what Ethan said? You know what Ethan said? What's that? He said, let me, let me get this straight. The Arabs get the oil and the Jews cut off the tips of their what? Right. That's just, that's really, there's no punchline. That's just what the way it is. Well, you know, uh, Arabs are circumcised too, Jimmy. I don't know if you knew that. Correct. Are you kidding me? Yep. <laughs> no, they no, do it also. What's your cock look, look like, Jimmy? <laughs> He's, uh, you clipped? Well, you know, when, I, when I come out there, I'll show it to you. Tell me what you think. It's not that difficult. It's about two inches hard. <laughs> two inches hard. <laughs> You're in good company, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Jesus You'll Christ. fit right in. <laughs> I'm a little pissed off at Kanye West about all those Jewish jokes, you know. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Yeah, he, well, he's anti-Semitic. I don't know if you heard. I yeah, did I hear that. that. I, he could be German. Okay. He may wear the armband. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. He doesn't like Jewish there... people. I happen to be Jewish. I don't oh, think that oh, we're was just very funny. Now See, we're just, it's, hard when it's hard to tell because your rhythm is so natural and conversational now, uh, when you're joking and when you're just having a chat. So, Jimmy, actually, yeah. speaking of Kanye, we discovered today... There is a Ratatouille situation going on with him. I don't know if you, have you seen the movie Ratatouille? Yeah. With so there's the a Nazi mouse. mouse controlling his every move. So that might clear things up for you a little bit. It's not his now, fault. I'm, now I fully understand. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So so I guess we're done roasting Stavros. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I, had, I had another one. I had another one. Oh, you got more. Okay. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, when he gets on a scale, a car comes out one at a time. Oh, that's good. Wait, what happened? A card comes out. It says one at a time. You know how there's oh, cards and scales? No. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know the top hey, of scales, a, a card comes out? It doesn't, the scale was... doesn't say that, by the way. A <laughs> like, card comes out. Wait, how does a card come out of the scale? <laughs> <laughs> don't push, Ethan. I got I'll no don't push. Don't push. That should be your slogan. Don't yeah, push. Don't, don't push is good. Don't push is good. Don't push. Listen, he was on the corner the other day. The cops tried to get him to break it up. That's, That's a little. You're pushing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pushing it. I just told you, don't push. Just break him up because he's too big, right? Right, right. right. Pushing, oh, can I tell you, you're Ethan? Pushing. Can I tell you something that happened to me when I was 12? Yeah. Is My it? father taught me how to swim. He put me in a canoe on a lake, and the canoe capsized. And I got to tell you, Ethan, it was tough getting out of that burlap bag. <laughs> Tried right. to drown you, huh? <laughs> Right. Stop with those damn crickets. <laughs> How about them? <laughs> uh, that was actually fun. Crickets. That's tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so so we're done. We're going to move past the Stavros ro- roast. Very good. So let's right. do this set. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I, got got a, I, I forgot to tell you something. What's that? Do you like my hat from Pink's Hot Dogs? I don't know if I mentioned it. You didn't. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, uh, I eat at Pink's when I got to L.A. They got really great hot dogs. And um, all different flavors, and it's a great place. I mean, that's how Mr. Wait. Pinky asked me to read it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this isn't a joke. <laughs> no, he, he, we missed it. Mr. Pink asked him to read it. Yeah, it was how uh, Mr. Pink asked me to read it. I don't, I don't know if I told. The, the I don't know if I told. Wait, I don't get it. Punch on is he? This is an ad, after all. Is that? Am I? <laughs> am I on? Am I close? Wait. Oh. No, you you missed. You oh, missed I missed it. it. 
You're right. I'm the one who doesn't understand. Wait, unpack it, please. <laughs> I, gotta know the pink thing. I gotta know the pinks thing. Tell me, please, Jimmy. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, Ethan, Ethan. Did I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Yeah, I'm wearing please. my pinks. I'm wearing my pinks hat today. I don't know if you saw it. I didn't know. I, I, I like. It. Yeah, I didn't know if I mentioned it to you, but I'm wearing my pinks hat today. They have really good hot dogs in L.A. Really good place to go eat. Right. Yeah, you okay. mentioned that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you said that. Oh, I did times. mention I wasn't sure I mentioned it. I apologize. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is like anti-comedy. <laughs> I get yeah, it. You're killing it today. All right, let's get, so you got a set, right? So oh, yeah. I'm. So now, Jimmy, remember, you're here for feedback, okay? Okay. Because we want you to be successful, and we want you to perfect your craft. Now, I think you would admit you're not a perfect stand-up comedian. You have some oh, stuff no. to learn right i have so much to learn according to zach that i should be a dentist not a comedian that's what he keeps saying to me right. stick to your dental job right so i'm trying to and he is right by the way but go ahead and he and, is go, right by the way i think i think anyone would tell you that and if they're not they're they don't like you but wait anyone minute, in your life telling you to to give up your uh, very successful dental practice to pursue stand-up comedy is actually your enemy <laughs> i want you I need know. to understand <laughs> that <laughs> but, <laughs> hey you'll be proud of me though i signed a five-year deal with harris casino last week in, in vegas did you yeah now i'm waiting for them to sign right that's okay. funny that's funny i like that all right okay. yeah so, so let's no. get to this so hold on hold your horses there oh wait a minute ethan i no, signed no, you wait a minute a Jimmy. <laughs> no you wait a minute i gotta i gotta put this train back on the rails yeah okay, okay so oh, we have we here off the rails we have here a great very funny, very talented. You've been in comedy for how long? Ten years? Plus? Uh, yeah, thirteen years. Thirteen years okay. of experience. So, Jimmy, I want you to do your set, but what I'll ask is that you be a little receptive. If he has feedback or criticism, or we're, okay. we're not here to criticize, we're no, here to uplift. To uplift. So, so, but, but if if Stavros wants to stop and give commentary, let's just try to learn. Okay, that's why we're here. <laughs> this is a learning. Can I tell him about my doctor? Okay, so please, so we're starting. Okay, go ahead. Yes, my can. doctor, I said, is my heart strong enough for sex? He said, not if I join in. Because <laughs> right. you'd be so attracted to your doctor it would make your heart beat so fast. Is that what you're getting at? You, you're exactly, a closeted homosexual? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I tried to come out of the closet. Zach followed me out. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so you are. Oh, you're out. Well, gotcha. when Zach and I fly, we sit in the cockpit. So you go figure. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so in the cockpit, while the, while the pilot's trying to fly, you're, you and Zach are sucking each other's cocks, is what you're saying? No, no. Playing with each other's, not sucking. Oh, just playing. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Good. I would make that clear. Zach but that's doesn't good. like doesn't that, Zach doesn't like that other thing. Whatever yeah. you call that. Oh, and yeah. believe me, bit, he's tried. A bit of a pillow princess, Zach. Is that Stavros, right? Stavros, I, took, I think I, took, I think we need to give Jimmy uh, some poppers. You know. Yeah, I, I, I think. Listen up, that asshole, Jimmy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I took Zach, Zach don't like a, it. I, I took Zach on a vacation, though. <laughs> okay, how'd that go? You know the cool. Well, everybody comes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I've heard that joke <laughs> yeah. a lot of times. Yeah, for the record. yeah. That one he takes yeah, on the road. I like that one. So, so I have another joke. <laughs> Please, that's good. <laughs> By the way, I would so, say uh, try and make it a little more seamless and not in terms of transitions. Okay. But hold oh, on, hold on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jimmy, hold on to that thought. Jimmy, hold on. Dude, what is going on with you and Pink? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> Jimmy, there's some there's something Pink's going on. Jimmy Lee. Oh, I don't know if I told you I'm wearing my Pink's hat today. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was that just Did posted? I mention it? No. Yeah, you Yeah, you mentioned it. I did mention it. So, so but, I have to tell you what happened last night to me. Okay, so go on. You, you were, yeah. What happened last night? Yeah. Well, I came home, and my wife was in her nightgown, and at the end table in the entree was a cigar, Ethan, but it was lit. It was a lit cigar, and I said, honey, where'd that cigar come from? And the voice in the closet said, would you believe Havana? <laughs> right. Okay, that's okay. pretty good. By the way, I'll give uh, you that one. <laughs> I think Stavros gave you um, useful feedback that we kind of glossed over. You said you finished one joke, and then to set up the other one, you said, I have another joke. And right. did you think maybe as a transition score? I would say that's a, I would rate that transition zero out of ten. And then I would say what you want to do is kind of maybe tack it onto your the the last idea into the next one. I just just tr like so for example, Havana, we all laughed, go into the next joke naturally. Let's see what you got. Oh, I could tell you what uh what uh, Tyson said to Holyfield. <laughs> okay, great. He said I ain't going down without a snack. 
That's good. I like that because it's topical. That's probably no, my minute. favorite part of it. Holyfield, <laughs> yeah. Holyfield, Holyfield said, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Tyson handed him his ear. He said, could you hear me now? Could you hear me now? <laughs> right. right. That's good because it's topical. And I think also referencing a cell phone commercial from uh, 10 years after <laughs> that happened. <laughs> That's kind yeah. of a nice a nice little yeah. mix Clinton, of uh, eras there. You know what Bill, you know what Bill Clinton said? What? <laughs> Another time. Wow. No. Well, I want to tell you, Bill Clinton was the only president to come between two bushes. <laughs> that's that's that can't be true. <laughs> yeah. Stavros, would, be true, Stavros would you believe that Jimmy just finished college during the Clinton administration? He was Is around twenty five. So? Yeah, <laughs> according to Jimmy. Do you know what Bill Clinton said, Zach? He said, "I'm not wearing any pants, Monica. How do you like me now?" That's just factual. <laughs> that's that not even a joke. Happy. <laughs> that's just a, you're just a yeah. historian right, right now. Right, right, right. Hey, Jimmy, how old are you again? 49? Don't start. Don't no, start. No, no, no. What was the age you told us? I'm not asking for your real number. I'm in my mid-50s. Don't push. I, I don't finally push. Let, See, let it See, don't go. You really got something with don't push, by the way. That's oh, what it is. is that, when is you're don't push. Don't push. I is like that. that. be a new T-shirt? Yes, absolutely. We need merch. Oh, don't oh, push. Can I tell you, <laughs> Zach, Zach, can I tell you something? Sure, Jimmy. Uh, I got my Pink's hat on today. That was a Pink's <laughs> hot dog yesterday. That joke's <laughs> I do like the Pink <laughs> show. You know what? Jimmy. This is good because the I only reason you. he's on here is to get paid from Pink's without Wait, a doubt. Hold the fucking phone. <laughs> Here's Jimmy outside Pink's. Hold oh, on. Oh, it's the mouth. Oh, oh, oh. It's the mouth. He's got a ratatouille. <laughs> He usually has this incredible hairline. Oh, uh, and yeah. Hands, but I was gonna say I, I, a hairline would really help this act. I think. I don't really. Do you think you I like think, my hair? I'd love to see your hair. Yeah, yeah. I think no, you're I you're doing everyone a disservice hiding it under the pink's hat. I can't do it because because I I, I was at pink's. I had to wear their hat today. I don't know if I <laughs> okay, they don't serve a hot dog unless you're wearing the hat. <laughs> Jimmy uh, Jimmy got his hairline done because he met Roger Goodell. So wow. he had yeah. a full, full makeup done. We met Roger Goodell at Michael's restaurant. Big <laughs> shout out to Michael. And he has a restaurant out in Santa Monica. We had a beautiful lunch. We were invited in. And next Another to plug. the other table was Brenda Vicaro, who was an actress many years ago, who I didn't know she was, but uh, my photographer, who's quite a bit older, mentioned she was a famous actress. Wow. So we had a, a lot of FOMO at Michael's. About two wow, weeks back, he had a lot of FOMO. He, <laughs> a lot of FOMO. Learned, so you travel FOMO. with a photographer? You have like a, a traveling entourage? We when you're do. going out a huge of... team, legit. <laughs> we, he does. We have he a, has a whole team. social team. He's spending a lot of money to make this <laughs> dream happen. Can I tell you something? Stop. <laughs> I'm, going absolutely, I'm going absolutely nowhere quick. He's literally spending <laughs> his life savings to make this you have dream children? happen. Yeah. $23 million on this, and my wife says, maybe you should quit because you're not going anywhere. And I said, I'm $23 million in. Maybe you're right. I may have to quit. Yeah, yeah. No, you're, she's right. You're right. That's uh, not a real number. <laughs> How much you spend on this? 22, 22, 22 million. Yeah. 22 million. Yeah. That's a little better. That's uh, a lot better yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I well, would Hold say on. Let me see that cup, Jimmy. Hold it. They asked me to be the centerfold for Reader's Digest. Let me see the cup. <laughs> Wait a minute! They asked me to be the center. I asked you first. I asked you. I, I, like I asked you something. I don't like where they put those damn staples. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Oh right, they put them on your cock. I see. Don't uh, say it in front of Ethan. <laughs> what do you got there? Water. He's an Orthodox Jew. <laughs> What is that brand? Oh, I think it's Wawa. You know, Wawa. Wawa. You know, Ethan. I got a guy working for me twelve years, and one year he gets bar mitzvahed. You you're working with a child, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm That's working illegal. with a kid. Twelve years. One more year, he gets bar mitzvahed. Thank you for the rep right, repetition. He's a child, you work now. Love, you do child slave <laughs> labor, Jimmy. Where do you see this going ultimately? Where do you think is like? Uh, well, let's, let's shift to Zach our gears. And Ethan, nowhere. Huh? I'm trying to get famous doing street comedy, and uh, right. I'm having a rough time. Yeah. I think my stuff's too too old school. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I keep hearing the same three words from everybody. You're not funny. Right. Uh, constantly here. And then I hear, keep hearing Zach and Ethan text me. Three words. Quit the business. <laughs> That's not so true. I don't know what to do. I didn't give my number. <laughs> because, and it's no offense, Jimmy. He texts no, he, Zach yeah, and yeah. Cam gave him his number. And he texts them like 10 times a day. 
I gave Jimmy my email. I looked recently. He's emailed me like 450 times. Jimmy, do you have an empty personal life or what's going on here? What, what's... I, I grew up with uh, parents that were kind of there for me. I didn't get the love as a kid. So I now see. as an adult, so now you're, yes. I, I, I have that void. And we talked about that uh, on Ethan's podcast it. in May. <laughs> Yeah, we may have we diagnosed him with histrionic personality. <laughs> histrionic <laughs> personality <laughs> disorder. It's not an yeah. And uh, and not no, an wait official. a minute, we had the psychiatrist do that, right? Yeah, we sh you should meet a psychiatrist for sure. Have you gone to therapy ever, Jimmy? This is, by the way, uh, he cruises around H when I'm on H Security. <laughs> for <a> street comedy. <laughs> so it's a big budget production. Are you? Is this some kind? <laughs> you, you're not in charge of this. You're part of like a prank that someone's pulling. Is that what's going on, Jimmy? This Probably. can't be your According idea. To Zach, huh? According to Zach, yes. <laughs> yeah. Stavros, he spends thousands on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, dude. That's a, I mean, so Jimmy's let me, a Can I ask the comedian him. honest? Can I ask him an honest question? Because I want Please. an honest answer. Um, am I going anywhere with this or am I going into the crapper? What do you I, think? I would say what's most interesting. The crapper? As performance art. You're doing something really interesting, right. Right? right? A man ruining his life and and putting his savings down the drain for a dr that you're not even doing. The thing is, you're not even doing comedy. You understand that, right, Jimmy? You're just sort of. What am I doing? You're just kind of go. You're just kind of. You've hired people and you speak out outside, right? Like, have you been on a stage or anything like that? Well, would you like to see? I a did stand comedy? up. I did stand up for four years. Oh, you did for four years. Would you like to see some of his? I, I would like. You know what? Maybe I'm being harsh. I would like to see the street comedy. Pull up Show some the of the really comedy. good ones. You guys yeah. know what I'm talking I about. I sent you two new reels, Ethan. Put them up. I just <laughs> sent you a couple okay. new ones. Juice the reels, Ethan. Yeah. Come on. the fuck? <laughs> By the way, thank you, Bella Simmons, legend. Um, so, Jimmy, but but that that's actually true, because the comedy dream has negatively affected your professional life, hasn't it? Well, my wife says sometimes you're focused too much on it and you lose track of your job. But I, I compartmentalize and I... I do my best, but I really, <laughs> I am a dreamer. I'm a very good business guy, and I'm a dreamer, yeah. you know, and Didn't I always wanted to be a celebrity. you say over the antics or something? No, I oh. had said to you a while back that um, a dentist we interviewed had seen the street comedy, and he said he didn't want to work for me because it was offensive. I go, it's a joke. <laughs> it's comedy on the street. That's all it is. And the guy took it serious. He didn't realize it was just a joke and a character. So wait, how did he see the street comedy? He knew you before he came in, or did you show it to him? I no, I didn't show it to him. I well, think when people words Google getting my name, out. it cross cross contaminates into the Jimmy Lee. All right, uh, so so let's take a look here. The complete FOMO of Jimmy Lee. If you want, no, uh, that's not jokes though. Don't use that reel. Do a street comedy reel so he can see. Do the best <laughs> do New York street roast. comedy reel that you don't want do the, the complete FOMO. Well, that's FOMO, but it's not jokes. That just shows FOMO and a celebrity. <laughs> that's celebrity. <laughs> that's a celebrity FOMO, style. Huh? All right, well, <laughs> as they. <laughs> As they pull up a clip, <laughs> I'll I'll just show this to stop. St yes. Oh, you got one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Some of these are. So I mean, he asked you, "Do I have a shot?" Right. Let's sh at least be fair. You're right. You're right. I'm. You YouTube, know. I'm. You son of a bitch. You All right. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just is this a good time? Let him see my con. Now Let you have chapters, Jimmy. You know you have chapters. This one's called Black Chicks. <laughs> Black Chicks. No, I'm I telling don't. you. <laughs> I don't know I if you knew not. that. I love that one. I do not stop. I swear, this time I'm not joking. It actually says. It literally black says black chicks. <laughs> oh jeez, I don't know how that came up, but First. play it for him. Let's see it. <laughs> Costume jewelry, <laughs> immigration <laughs> paper. Oh, that one's gonna be rough. Ted Kennedy, Ted Kennedy. honeymoon. The New Queen. York, the Queen. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Okay, Nazi. Nazi attack. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, let's, you, know, you guys Jesus. know Eddie Jimmy Murphy. Jimmy really wants us to see the reels, right? Jimmy, right. is that what you'd like? I want the comedian to see if I have a yeah, yeah. shot to just be honest. Because if I don't like So should I watch the Black Chick segment here, guys? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and watch that. Go, go to the go Best New York Roast. That's a really funny reel. Best New York Roast. All right, I've already got one best, open. The be okay, fine. Let's start with this. Let's start with this, and then I want to see hey. Best New York I, I, Roast. You, can you turn it up, please? The Let's, best New York roast. The best gonna, NYC roast. Best NYC roast. Yeah, can we get some more volume, please? Yeah, it's up. Can like we get some more? You guys like my pink hat? <laughs> I actually am trying I to do. really like it. I do, honestly. Yeah. I didn't know if I mentioned it. 
That's good. <laughs> this is a good bit. Yeah, it is. This is a good bit, Jimmy. <laughs> um, um, Maybe I can make it's not it. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, hold on. We're gonna have to. You're gonna have to give us a minute to watch this, okay? If you do. Now, if you don't fool around on the first date, I'll drop you off, go around the corner, and pick you up. It'll be our second date. You want to do that? <laughs> we could do it, Shania. Okay. Respect. Should I give the jersey out a little love? Oh. Oh. oh, the black chick's got a little rhythm in her. Get your hand out of your pocket. You got a hair in your pocket. Yeah. So Shania, how old are you? 19 will get you 20. You know, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 42. Matt's like, yeah, right. And Keith, get your hand out of your pocket. You got hair in your palm. Stop doing that. So Shania, you ever, you ever hear of a sandwich shop? You ever eat in a sandwich shop? Okay, we're going to... Sandwich shop. Sandwich shop. Oh, this, is a this is the Jimmy Lee sandwich shop. <laughs> right here, we got we got the black pumpernickel bread, the white bread, and we got the dark meat, and it works. And the dark you know why meat. The dark Damn, meat works bro. good because you see teeth coming this at you is three really in the morning. He's got damn fingers and ivory. Piece of art, it really and you is. Go for the element gun. But what's nice with the Shania is, if you make a nice lunch for Shania in the morning, she makes you pancakes. You can't go wrong. The black chick makes you pancakes. Go get it. What are you what even talking? Okay, here we go. Wait, I want to see the one where where he made fun of the old lady with the bandage over her eye. <laughs> and her husband got angry. That, that was from our... We went out and did a shoot with her. <laughs> that was from ours. <laughs> we, Beverly Hills we went out Beverly with Hills real. Okay, so so let's talk about the black chicks segment as you as you titled it. No, right. show, them, show, them, show them the best NYC roast. It's this year. It's really I'd good. Love to, I'd love to see that one. Do you have any comments that on, on that segment? Yes, I think... Go Absolutely. Ahead. That's it. That's it. Let him watch that real quick. Well, hold on. Okay. Okay. Right, Let's right. do some feedback. So from f just off the beginning, I would say, Jimmy, that you, there is something, there is a quality I'm enjoying to these videos, right? <laughs> I don't think it's something you're doing on purpose as of right now. And I think if you can harness that, you know what? I almost think you are on the right track for the absolute wrong reasons, right? Like that video mm. is kind of like the producers. You know how they tried to make, like if mm. I tried to make shitty comedy... I would do everything you're doing, right? If I if I had to sit mm. down and write, oh, but it turns out it's very interesting, and you're you mm. are because you have no um, filter. I wouldn't the filter. Sure, let's say filter. Yeah, because it's so unfiltered. Because you're telling such truths. <laughs> um, the, because you have no, I'm going to say shame more than filter was kind of Act. what I was looking for. Tact. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You're willing to bust bust past the. Uh, uh, you know, common decent. I would say the decency. The politeness. The politeness. Yeah. Yes, and you would get in there. So that is something that's interesting because there was a you were tapping into an interesting energy, an uncomfortable energy for sure. But right, something very interesting happened in the, for example, making those two people <clears throat> that were either glasses shopping or working at the glasses store uh, simulate having a threesome with you <laughs> was pretty funny. Um, but they were, but there was, I, again, I wouldn't, the joke was in and of itself was not very good, but there was some kind of special, interesting quality, quality of watching you do it. It's you like know? a Nathan Show. Fielder kind of thing. There is a Nathan Fielder situation, which is good. Don't get me wrong. You yeah. might be onto some, uh, uh, Jimmy. Uh, show them, show them the best NYC roast from this year. I, get wanna, that, I would love to see the best I want NYC the comedian roast. to see it. Yeah, please. Okay, but, Cause but, I value your but, opinion. But I'll I, say I, this, I'll say this, Jimmy. You're more on to something than I thought you would be, but thank you. But it's we also got to look at the P and L statement, right? Because if if well, you that's could do, a problem. well, that's that's where we're starting <laughs> to have problems, okay? Because are, is this sustainable? And if not, I actually think it makes it funnier, but it's bad for you. For me, it's funny because mm. you might be draining your you know life savings in the pursuit of. I'm not draining my life savings. Oh, not Ethan yet. Is, I'm a good business guy. But, <laughs> not yet. But, 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 no, no, no. But I, I'm a dreamer as well as a business guy, <laughs> sure. and I, I, I have that dream. And listen, if this is your art and you're your own, uh, you're. The problem is, and Ethan said it was more like a nightmare. That's the problem. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let me, Jim. But Jimmy, are you, are you, are you hearing him? Like, are you hearing stuff? I, I listen to what he said. I'd like yeah. to see the best NYC okay, roast, and we then go. we'll we'll come back. The best so this, NYC roast. That's please. right. So this is your this is your your magnum. It's a new reel. Oh, yes, yeah, my this new is reel. Hot. This, this is year. hot. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look. <laughs> please. The best NYC roast. The best laugh. 
<laughs> the best reaction. <laughs> Faith in humanity equals restored. restored. <laughs> Let's hop right in. Go guys, guys, bridge, I don't know if Jim, three it's too like quiet. Is it up all the way? You got, yeah. You got to listen. It, it, you got, yeah, just play the video. You'll be fine. I think I'm, I'm telling you, I can't hear it good. What do you mean I'll be fine? All right. Make, make it louder. <laughs> oh, no, no, Jimmy's louder. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy, louder. tell Zach what to do. Zach has problems. Ethan, if you, you play the Zach's video, Zach's louder. Fine. Jimmy you, knows the solution. If you play the video, I think he's fine. writing it. So, yeah. He'll... Right. We have to this part. It's hype. I love hype. the music. That you better not get me playing. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Brooklyn. Go over the bridge and then drown the three kids and collect the insurance money. It's not that Jeez. difficult to do. Are these the kids? That, yes. Put them in a home. <laughs> now that, you do that me affects me as a little Right bit. off the jump, you're telling these people to kill their kids? <laughs> Jimmy, that's, that's hilarious. Again, Jimmy, really funny and insane thing to say to someone. But I'll give it to you. That is really... I'll, I'll give it to you because you're doing let things that should more. get you let fucked up. <laughs> That's let him see more. <laughs> let's let's see more. I love this. Uh, favor. You stay out of gay bars, I'll stay in them. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you. Do you see this guy? Me and this guy represent the largest penis size differential in the history of New York City today. Listen to me, you're shrinking. Wow. Did you take preparation H? Okay, you do. <laughs> I got a blow up doll now, takes my breath away. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let the air out of her. She flies around the room. She plays slick. hard to get. Really? I found out my daughter's a lesbian. I took her to the mall. She got designer Dikeys. Dikeys? Yep. <laughs> Dikeys? I don't think you can say that word like that anymore. Can you? <laughs> I don't think so, no. Yeah. But she returned them. So, There's what are you. Oh, God. There's I'm still enjoying lesbian. myself. Let's keep watching. Yeah, I'm, I am too. It's weren't long enough. Oh, my goodness. Do you know Osama oh bin Laden? I did. Back in the day. <laughs> no, wait. You, you didn't get to the punch. Start, start, start it. Start it. Start it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You're right. Okay. We didn't get to the punch. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. it's really, you know who edits these? This is good editing. Rob, Rob Weiss, he's excellent. He's, he's my New York guy. He pays really him about 12, 10 grand a pop. <laughs> yeah, these are these Zach, are you count my money. Zach counts my money more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, here, here, here we go. Here we go. Well, I did. Well, back in the day. It was right there. Oh my. You see him? Joey, come here. Put the camera yeah. down, Joe. They want to. They want to see you. So Sam have been drinking. Right. He's right here behind the camera. Oh. I bet you when you guys talk, oh, that your dad can hear you. Take a look at these goddamn ears. I bet everything you. <laughs> say he can hear everything you say i know so and that's my favorite when he finds people and then just basically just bullies them for right, physical right, attributes. right 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 yeah i find that to be competitive that was, that about her you don't know tell me she used to like the quarter founder but when she met you she fell in love with the whopper <laughs> 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 Who is this guy? My husband. Is oh, it... I'm our father, yeah. You made some bad decisions. Let's talk. <laughs> uh, what made you jump in? Was it the money? Because it's not worth all the money in the world to sleep with this guy, all right? He's a premature ejaculate. Every time I hang out with him, he leaves early. Yeah. Which one's available for the celebrity <laughs> to be you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So is he? So is group sex. Hello. The problem with that is I won't know who to thank. Oh, okay, let's, okay. I think, here's a question I have for you, Jimmy. Ultimately, yes, where sir. do you see street comedy taking you right because this let's say I, p l pro I get back to the p l <laughs> this is not applicable to the stage right you can't charge tickets for this no, so no, are you no. hoping to make money hoping, on the internet i was hoping because the comedy is different than anybody does today it's more like the don rickles comedy on the street <laughs> sure, that sure. because it's so <laughs> different with no filter and no one does it and it's not accepted anymore. Right. That some sons of bitch would grab it and get me famous. I don't right. know. Don't seem to be working too well. Like it's, a network. That, that is a. Let me tell you right now. That will never work. That is a. That mm. plan is doomed. And I would say, um, you got to think about building your own base here if it's going to work for you, Jimmy. You need hardcore Jimmy heads because no one's. And I got. I hate to tell you, I work in comedy. There's actually so many people that do exactly this much better than you do it right okay <laughs> I, so you should be honest That's i hate okay. to tell you that there are the dom rickles thing is around how much comedy do you watch uh, let's start there 
Well, I'm old school, so I'm always watching the older ones. So my stuff stated. So I don't watch comedy with the newer guys. I watch a lot of the old roast and a lot of the stuff when I was a kid. Sure. And so, I'm being honest with you. So, so that's I, why you see that old style. What I would say, and the, I love the old style. I have no problem with the old style. I think you are onto something, but you got to let go of uh, anyone picking it up and just figure out that you have to carve out your own niche here. These are hilarious okay. videos, and I will watch these. Um, well, that's a compliment. You actually are a comedian like it. So do you want me to just try to go viral on social media? Is I that don't, what you're thinking? No, no, no. I want you to do more root canals and never do comedy again. <laughs> but what, mm. what, what, what I... What Jeez. I, <laughs> hurt, the, hurt, hurt the Jewish <laughs> no, guy I'm when kidding, he's down I'm a kidding, bit. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's for, that's for the carb it's joke, you fucking like, piece of it's shit. Bad, it's bad enough huh? I got screwed out of Christmas. Huh? What's you know? that? It's bad enough that you screwed me out of Christmas, you know. <laughs> I don't get that. But we one. get you. To... We get hey, you. Don't back. push. You the, yeah, I'm not gonna push. <laughs> Here's what I say. We sell you the tree, so we get back at you. <laughs> Am I Santa in that? Uh, anyway. Um, oh, I got something to tell you. I got something to tell you. I forgot. Please. I'm wearing my pink hat. There I wasn't pink today. Good. Keep <laughs> doing that. No, hold I that was thought. there. Honestly, God, hold, hold, I was there. Uh, Jimmy, hold that thought. So this is the video we made with him. We, we went out on the street and filmed the whole Jimmy on the street special, and this is one moment from it that really got me good. Okay, great. Yeah. Just, we have to eat this till you end up in the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> Table tw 37, leave. <laughs> you got my eye on you, hon. Got my eye on you. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, dude. <laughs> see, this is, see, Jimmy, this is funny, right? But it's so rude. <laughs> and the, the key so difference between I you is... and Dom Rickles is that those people paid money to see Dom Rickles. <laughs> this is some lady with an infection that's trying to have brunch. <laughs> and some fucking asshole shows up and she's like, hey, you dumb bitch, you can't even see. And then he films it for some reason. <laughs> so that's what to me is interesting artistically, that this shouldn't no, exist. <laughs> now, wait a minute, let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. try to be so off the wall and off the rails, so it's funny uh, as hell, so somebody will will like it and grab it because it is offensive. Yes. And I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it to garner attention and get famous and, and be different. I know what I'm doing and I, I know all the things you said. I'm not a dumb dumb. Sure, I don't but, think you are. And and you're and you're laughing. So it's got to be somewhat entertaining. It Ethan is calls me once in a while and has me on. But can you go anywhere with it and get an ROI? But how That's does it scale, question. brother? Let's talk. Let's talk realistically. What's what's the next step? Mm. What and you, let's say, you keep me. saying someone picks it up? Who and where do they put it? Is it just like are you saying <laughs> Netflix is gonna is doing like a special of you on the street? Is that how you see it? I I see it that I'm on a journey and I'm hoping to get. <laughs> It ends up in a good spot. That's okay. that's what I see. But it doesn't sound like it's going there. Now, when you start, when you were in dental school, were they like, hey, just fucking, you'll figure it out? <laughs> or were there like, was there steps you had to do step by there step? There were steps. Right. Step by He's step. on a comedy odyssey. So I, I'm just telling you, you can't, you need a little bit more of a plan. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Keep making this. This is great stuff, right? I appreciate I'm, that. I'm enjoying it, you, but honestly. you got to enjoy the process because... You know how they say you're on a journey and it's about the journey, not the destination? Um, okay. Enjoy the journey, right? Who knows where mm -hmm. the destination is? My guess, probably on your YouTube page. I think we're already at the destination. But just keep okay. it going. Just keep enjoying it, you know? if this if Is this, it too too fresh for, like, TV and stuff, just too offensive and I people get upset? <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I think that actually is interesting, that it is... And also, it's interesting what you consider to be very offensive, right? Um, because it's not... I mean, it's, some of it is bad, but I've definitely seen more offensive than this. It's just kind of like your mix of... Like you said, your, uh, all your references and everything you remember is all the old They're school all stuff. Older. They are older, correct. So there is mm -hmm. something very interesting to you doing this style of comedy poorly in 2023, right? Or 2022. Mm. <laughs> because that's the other thing. You... Okay. you it takes a long time to master this. You have not, you're, you're not even close, right? Okay, so you at least you're being honest with but, me. I got but, you. But, 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 but that but. is interesting that you have, because the imbalance between your confidence and your abilities is so high that it makes a mm. very interesting piece of art. And your willingness, what I will give you credit for, is your willingness to just mix it up, get in there, fuck with people. 
again, not they didn't deserve it. They're just on the street. <laughs> right, you're not, right, you're right. Not, they didn't pay to see you. And I'd also right. like to see you try different, for, different. you know, let's not, let's take it out of the street. Let's we've fucking, tried that. It's not, it's it not good. doesn't, yeah. we've tried that. <laughs> I, I'd like you to. Reverse. He always reverts. He always, you, you're meant, you're, I you're, do. I you're do meant revert. to be on the yeah. street. Yeah, you always revert. I'm but a here, street guy, yeah. Hold on one sec. Mm. Uh, this actually has a good ending. Your hairline's worse than mine. What's your name? <laughs> hey, Jewish kid. Lawyer, count, or doctor? What do you Auto think? parts. Auto parts. Yeah. Really. I've seen better cool. bodies on used car lots, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I'll give you that one. He's just talking to his wife. He's just saying his wife looks like shit. I love that. <laughs> Zach, wants, Zach wants to say you something some to you. You Zach's hair. I know, Zach. I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Back. We're back and to the he, well. He's angry, right? And rightfully so. <laughs> right. No, I and he says pissed. keep it off. Exactly. But that Zach makes it Zach, funny. Zach, hold on, Jimmy. Funny Jimmy, hold on. Jimmy, Jimmy, hold he on. He wants to say you something some to you. Zach's hair. I know. Zach, I told him that earlier. I got my eye on her. Yeah, keep it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, we can't. It wouldn't yeah. be awesome if that guy fucked you up, Jimmy. I got to be honest with you. I would have loved that. Yeah, That's but, why we got the security. Have you, oh, wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> He knows. Have you, have you ever been in, in danger? Has anyone ever tried to fight you? Not really. It's just to make me look famous. I sure, got problems. Sure, I, sure. I got histrionic personality disorder. <laughs> Self-diagnosed. Self-diagnosed. And recently no, diagnosed. No, Dr. Fidel. Dr. Fidel. Oh, Fidel. Poor Dr. Fidel. Poor Dr. There was a Fidel. fan of the Dr. show who was a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. And he called in to d diagnose Jimmy. <laughs> and uh, he I think got he got fired. <laughs> he almost got fired. I think he we ruined, ruined his life. Get him back. <laughs> That's awesome. Show. See, everything Jimmy touches turns to shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> Like it's that guy's life, <laughs> fucking. You know, I think the doctor might have had a little histrionic though, because he was like taking off his shirt and flexing, he took oh. his and he's like, "I'm in flex. the hospital right now." <laughs> That's great. I love That's the what idea. Got him in trouble. I love That's the idea of the trouble. Jimmy Lee extended universe, where it's okay. like you got that doctor, you got the security guys. All right, well there it is, uh, Jimmy. Uh, uh, I've gotten you all the feedback. Yes. It's been, I mean, I hope it's worth its weight in gold. No, you. you it, it, it really is because now I know I got to focus on dental. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I keep making this, so, Jimmy, but I'm just saying, you know, it, I well, wouldn't bet my life on this becoming a moneymaker. You got to do it for the love of the game. And once. It, okay. And I appreciate if, you being honest. And if it does, who knows? Well, kudos to you're you. Not but doing, don't you're not doing. You know, it. you're doing pretty good numbers here, but. I got a feeling no. that you're spending a lot of money for, you know, I don't know how much ad revenue you're bringing Lee, the jerk. Wait, you got to watch. This one is so iconic. This is the Which first one? video of his I think I saw, or the second, this is the first street comedy one, where you're walking around Let with the two it. models in uh, Miami. Oh, the, the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a long time ago. Oh, but it's that such a gem. That was South Beach. Show it. Your hairline looks good, by the way, back then. I, I had a little more hair. Yeah. New Jersey motherfucking Diablo hell. Diablo Live, Miami Beach, South Beach, Florida. We're here shooting today our comedy TV reality yeah. show, Dangerously <laughs> Funny. The Jersey Outlaw has arrived. I am a funny guy. <laughs> oh, what happened to that? You, you used to have a slogan, I'm a funny guy. Did you drop that? I'm a funny guy. <laughs> Did you drop it? What happened? Listen well, to that muscle memory. That he brought it right out. Zach has, uh, you know, work with me and, you know, don't push. Don't push is it. These... I'm telling you, don't push is what you need. All uh, right, Carly, get a shirt going. Don't push. <laughs> Carly, watch. All right, All right. hold on, push. hold on, hold on. Let's watch a little bit, okay? Let's watch this a bit. Guy. I'm a funny guy. He's a funny guy. How much you pay these women? Guy. Do you remember how much plenty, you paid them? Plenty, plenty, plenty. <laughs> right, look how his hair came <laughs> <guy. laughs> <laughs> Hey, this yeah, is I, awesome. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that music. Is that's so Jimmy. Awesome. That's actually Jimmy playing. That's, that's, cool. Cool. that's my song I wrote too. Uh, <laughs> four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. He's actually four. a talented musician. Yeah, yeah, no, you clearly do have. Yeah, there's talent All right, here. This video is second. What maybe you were? Four, four minutes, twenty six seconds. It's legendary moment this whole thing is uh, yeah I, the whole thing is but this you, thing is incredible okay. yeah. how's that ankle bracelet doing good oh, man. Uh, bring mommy and my uncle you know uncle tom Get the oh my over. god <laughs> <laughs> your uncle <laughs> that's insane Jimmy. <laughs> but again it's that's awesome <laughs> you would say it's crazy you would say that 
Why but I wouldn't would... I say it? I'm the Jersey outlaw. <laughs> the Jersey I am the fucking outlaw. Jersey outlaw. <laughs> and I do what the Jersey outlaw needs to I do. I love this. Create I love, so crazy I love this because you have no, you don't understand comedy at all. But you, you completely, why. you that's have like I'm a gonna, love of it. the worst parts of it. And that's what's awesome. That's again, as an art piece, this is incredibly compelling. Because you have taken away the craftsmanship, the joke writing, the like, creative, and all you have is trying to offend people and being out of pocket. And it does make for compelling shit, but it is, again, not. Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah, there you go. Netflix. <laughs> okay, wait, let's keep right going because this, this is the first show. Yeah. <laughs> This whole video is just <laughs> iconic. And do you just have these stored in your head? Is there like a preparation for this? Do you write these down? Do you have, what do you have do? Do you have a database? Writing, yeah, writing for years, but I have a photographic memory. You so whatever the situation memory. is, they pop right out. Ready to go. Love it. Yeah. The big, All the money you got, you buy $2.99 cut costume jewelry. All the fucking money. The black guy's a multi-millionaire. And look what he comes up with. $2.99 costume jewelry. <laughs> Going on here. Take the glasses off. You're making a spectacle of yourself. <laughs> and then that's what a beautiful juxtaposition. He calls a black guy <laughs> Uncle Tom, and then he makes a spectacle pun right afterwards. That's the different, like the highs and lows are unbelievable. <laughs> the corniest, most bullshit jokes you've ever heard in your life, and just the most offensive shit for no reason. <laughs> You're a beautiful blend, Jimmy. I'll give you that. Well, I am again. I am compelled of every moment I'm watching. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you like my pink set? <laughs> That's really good. Oh god. I thought, the, I I thought you said it in yeah, the video. Yeah, I thought it in That would have been awesome. Too. Oh! I went to a discount massage parlor. I found it was self-service. Oh! Say hello to my mom. Cheers! You guys want to drink or what? I was with her last night. I dropped my pants. She dropped her price. It was a bad night. I asked her for a hand job. She gave me a manicure. I had a rough time. You definitely did. I went fishing. I catch nothing. I go orgies. I catch everything. It's tough. Are you, Are you doing a Rodney Dangerfield impression during that? You kind of no, fell, no. fell into that rhythm. I think you were. I don't think I was, pal. Let's fucking relax here for a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't push, don't, don't push, push, please. Don't push. Don't push. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Zach, well, Gavin, one of the Zach things that is fascinating bite. to me about Jimmy, too, is that he's kind, he's rather sensitive. Yes. And so, but he comes out and he's guns blazing. Yeah, 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 then, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't push. <laughs> don't push. Again, that's another, another beautiful, another beautiful, you know, contradiction in the hey. whole, in the, in the oh. Jimmy. <laughs> In the Netflix, here we come. You follow me? That's right. I follow you. you follow you... me, I'll call the cops, you son of a bitch. Don't even try. <laughs> I love the stings between. Hold up. Hold up. Where are we going? What's up? What is, what is it? The last time I went to this place, I ordered the shrimp and came home with the crab. I'm not going back. Jimmy, that's a car. That's not a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's, You're getting to be funnier no than me, you sons of bitch. Uh, I thought it was push. a restaurant. Don't, don't push. push. I thought that was a restaurant, Zach. Right, I, I mean, Ethan. I understand. I understand. <laughs> the food was so bad. Yeah, you. Yeah. I gave up my citizenship and I moved to Czechoslovakia. <laughs> and I like you. You're really good. The more I think you, the less I think you. You're gonna be all right. Look, I never forget a face. I'm like, you case I'm gonna make an exception. <laughs> hey, I shot an elephant once in my pajamas. Now, how he got my pajamas, I have absolutely no <laughs> idea. Mark's joke. <laughs> and I went to Paris two years <laughs> I love that cars are that beeping. That's awesome. That's a Groucho Marx joke. <laughs> Wait, are you selling Groucho Marx material, Jimmy? I snuck a couple in. And he knows. The comedian knows. Yeah, but Groucho Marx is not. I don't know if it translates. Oh, fuck. Snuck that, a again, that's another in. element. It's like it's like Cornish bullshit, racist He's over up the top. Traffic, by the way. Yeah, yeah holding up And then just plagiarism. It's like. It's, it's the mix of everything you couldn't do. And that's why it's so good. It's, that's why I'm the Jersey that's Apple. That's why you're the fucking outlaw, outlaw brother. You I'm don't the fucking, fucking Jersey Apple. Fuck the conventions. Fuck the conventional shit. I'm H3H3's radar. Jimmy Lee. Oh, shit. Oh, man.
years ago. Son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 you're on I found out his was bigger than mine, so I left. <laughs> and then I dated a French girl. She showed up at the date with pigtails on under her arms. Oh, no. Yeah, it's easy. Big bag. I'm having a rough time. French? Oh. <laughs> You're all right. Let me see your immigration. You're all right. <laughs> hey, you're all right. <laughs> That's literally exactly. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go, Zachary. <laughs> There's some really special moments in this. <laughs> Wait, is that the restaurant or? Yeah, let's cut that. Music. That's a little bar, and I got the model to the one side, and I'm just doing a, I'm doing basically, you know, a, a vaudeville, just to, like, you know. It's like a. It's a B. It's, it's like, like a Charlie yeah. Yeah, Chaplin thing. A visual, it's a visual. Yeah, I got you. I got your brother you. Host visual B. art. Just a visual, uh, visual, visual. Yeah, like yeah. slapstick. Visual art. Visual art. Do you know what slapstick is? What is slapstick? <laughs> but what about that with slapstick? You sit, sitting next to a hot woman. What, what was the joke? No, it was the other person. You have to watch oh, okay. it. Okay, I, I missed it. You're right. it the no, no, one. again, yeah, I yeah. was the one who missed it. Well, You're hold right. on. Should I go back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's go it's back. It's not that good. <laughs> oh, no, it's oh, now it's not that good. Wait, I want to know. A what... fucking second ago, I missed it. <laughs> okay. Well, which one is it, Jimmy? <laughs> no, wait, Jimmy. Fair to Midland. Fair to Midland. <laughs> so, am I watching him on the right? No, I like this. And then he either. Should it's I don't... slow it down? Yeah, yeah. Let's go slow. Just watch the other person. All right, I'm gonna slow it down, Jimmy. Don't miss a second. And you can break this down for us. Oh, come on. Can you break now you're going to bust them. <laughs> no, don't go slow motion. Just watch the other guy. The normal. Well, I don't want to miss it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Now, this is a vaudeville slapstick. Couldn't you break it down? Break it down. You sound like P. Diddy. Break it down. <laughs> Off the cuff. <laughs> no no riffing's going to save you here, Jimmy. No, I'm, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. What's the joke? Here. You gotta watch it regular speed. <laughs> no, now we're fucking up. <laughs> He's crafty. I'll give him that I'll one. All right, let's start from the beginning at regular speed, Jimmy. Is that what you really want? <laughs> Fine, we'll give it to you. All right, let's go regular speed. There we go. One more time from the top. <laughs> from the top. Okay. Uh, so watch the person on the right, not the girl, not the good-looking girl. Watch. I'm watching him. But really, there wasn't much of a react. <laughs> Wait, wait, there's no reaction, Jimmy. <laughs> Nothing happened, Jimmy. <laughs> wait, wait, you okay. sons of bitches, you're caught. You're caught. He had a reaction? <laughs> you're caught, mate. You're caught. <laughs> you're Why did that sense. make the edit, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. Because it was so bad that it was good. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> now I like, oh, no! I like, I like oh, what he's oh, got. Jimmy. I like this oh, new level of Jimmy. Oh, no! Jimmy Unleashed. <laughs> you thought he was the outlaw before. Just watch him now. Oh, shit. Where's Hose B? Where's your brother Hose B? The Spanish fireman. He is. He's still, still slipping. Don't worry about it. You're him. Spanish guy? I Let am. Let me see your papers. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You're really funny. Yeah, funny is. looking. Don't be a wise yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, we're back. Part two. Part two. Part two. <laughs> part two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm hey, keeping an baby, eye on him. It's, you're back. How you been? <laughs> it's Shaft. Look who's here. Isaac Hayes. Okay. Oh. Isaac Hayes. <laughs> you look like a black guy I know. You don't want to see you. Like guy, now that's you know? funny. That's funny. <laughs> uh, Isaac Hayes is bald, isn't he? No, but you gotta watch. You yes, gotta watch he is. the rest yeah. of it. It's really funny. Watch and he's the rest dead, of that actually. skin. You look like a black guy, I know. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Bomo! Yeah. Isaac Hayes died. Bomo. Isaac Hayes died in 2008, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Holy God. Uh, your white guy? The son. The son. Yeah, I got All a right. good tan. What's her name? That's Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. What's your name? And okay. like everyone's like energy, it. no one, he doesn't want to be here at all. Oh, <laughs> like the, the contempt. On camera, the contempt they have for Jimmy oh, wait, is hilarious. Wait to what I, wait to what I say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I can't wait. <laughs> Jasmine, can I ask you a question? When you guys make love, do you, would you say you make love on a daily basis or weekly basis? <laughs> I want to ask you, I want to see if you're on it. Would you say you make love on a daily basis or weekly basis? It depends on the week, I suppose. 
on a, an average week. God. You say you make love on a daily basis or weekly Depends basis. Depends on if I'm in a good mood or not. So if you're in a good mood, daily? Oh, daily. And when he makes love, Jasmine, would you say he's one of these boom, boom, booms quickies or is he one of these passionate lovers? No, oh, it's very passionate. Really? Do you have any videos? Because the girls are a little kinky <laughs> and they want to, they want to. Jimmy, wanna, where are we going with this? That's, that's it. You, just you can watch. tell. Look how that's that's the wild. Look there how is. pleased there he is. is. That, that long wild. setup to ask them, hey, by the way, can I see any videos of you fucking? <laughs> Why did you ask about the daily and the weekly thing? There was no quicker way to get to that. Uh, I know punch. what a setup set is, up Jimmy. <laughs> you you got to work on setup economy. A little too long. A oh, little too, too long. long. Oh. Yeah. Because you see, you see how people think there's going to be some joke about the weekly versus daily thing, but that's kind of a red herring. And it's really just a way to ask them to see a video of them fucking. You understand how the setup doesn't really connect to the punchline. That's all I'm saying. I would Honestly. consider a setup economy, but I also don't want to. I don't want to step in and give you any pointers because what you do is perfect it's as is. Idea. Yeah, yeah. For it's you, it's not your nature. It's not your nature to talk about people. What's that? <laughs> it's not your nature to talk about people. No, no, it's not. Not, <laughs> not my nature at all. All right, this is great, Jimmy. What do you think? think? Enough, we'll, we'll, we'll watch one more part. I understand what Joe Rogan is. Ethan, what are you? <laughs> what are you eating, Ethan? What are you eating? A cookie. Ooh, sons of bitch. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, dude. That's get good the, material. Get the camera. Get the, the, the effects in. All right, here we go. Oh, we got South We're here. This is Fellow great. Fellow black girls. You black girls. Here we go. Here we go. Fellow black girls. This whole scene in this store is you're off the chain, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Off the chain. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Fellow black girls, you black. I took a guess. How long you been black? You were right. How long you been black? Oh, no, <laughs> sides of this one. I'm half white. She went into the 7-Eleven. She didn't leave till 6:10. You big girl. <laughs> she was on the corner. The cops went told her to break it up. She just starts calling her fat. <laughs> yeah, it's so wild. It Jimmy. completely ruins the, the good, uh, the good <laughs> fucking will he had with those women <laughs> by calling her fat. <laughs> She was on the corner. The cops went told her to break it up. She's Wait a, a second, girl. Jimmy. You just asked me to say You said that about me. Is it me or what? her? What, what do you mean? The cops breaking it up. Both. <laughs> okay, respect. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want? Like? Timey oh, joke. <laughs> what do you weigh? Is that what you asked? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Jimmy? You got to finish it. It's not done. <laughs> All right, we gotta get through this. Oh God, she's a Finish big girl. Yeah, what, what do you want? I'm black and white. You're black and white. You're all right. Let me do the funny stuff. Where'd you take that? What's your name? Why do you have your back to me? What are you racial? I'm a black guy too. I just I didn't get enough sun. How you doing, honey? You look good. I want to make passionate love to you on a cheap on a bumpy road so we can have a bouncing baby. What do you think about that? Come on over here. Look at that. Two, two good reasons to see you. Hey, Two good reasons to see her. Come on, Nina. Repeat it. Hey, 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 you get her. Look at this. Momo. Momo. That would be easy to finish, huh, Jimmy? Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Is this where they take your food? My wife's so Chinese. She's Hawaiian. She's from the island of I Like a Dicky. And wait a minute. Her sister. Her sister is from the island of I Like a Big Dicky. And her Stopping. <laughs> stopping or reading the room whatsoever. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, it's awesome. anyway, there's one where he starts eating their food, but uh, oh, you like I that think one? We got Ethan. it. Yeah, we got it. We watched. I think it we got enough of Jimmy. So yeah, where so, am I so, going? Where am I going with my career? South of the border? <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think your humor is uh, could. Ma no, I don't think. I think it's too subtle for uh, Telemundo, if that's what you're asking. Actually, maybe Too you subtle. should go. Maybe you should go to <laughs> try and become a, a mogul in, in Telemundo. Start dressing in <laughs> ladies' clothing. Maybe a horny... You become a horny clown. 
There's a lot of stuff you could do. You could branch out if you're going to go more vaudeville. But I think what you're doing is great, Jimmy. Honestly, I've turned, I've, I've, I've done a complete 180. I think you should stay really? with exactly what you're doing. Like really? I said, Thank it's, you. as an art project, it's very interesting. One more clip. Mm-hmm. This one, Avery. Yeah. Out of that court, two hot chicks, two hot mamas, what? two <laughs> milfs, two milfs, <laughs> married, pull over, <laughs> pull over. <laughs> People are scared. <laughs> no, pull in here. Oh this is famous. ZZ Top, pull over here. Get out of the bus. Let's go. Everybody out. <laughs> Everybody out. Let's Zach go. We're, loves this. we're doing comedy. Zach Everybody loves out. This. Let's go. Everybody out. What the fuck Everybody is this? Everybody out. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's go. So this is my <laughs> grandfather, Jimmy Lee. We take him out here every Tuesday. Look, he's <laughs> off his meds and he's been drinking, so I apologize. <laughs> ZZ Top is here, guys. What song are we doing? Tush. What? If you're having a good time, let me hear what? you say yay. Yay! yay. Try to doll. Stop trying to doll. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Why did they Come listen on, to him? I don't know. What? Like, you have some weird charisma. <laughs> that, 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 like, that is just, people are confused and they listen for some reason. So, St- Stavros, so we, we went out with him and he totally hijacked. Anything we had planned. <laughs> this was supposed to be a bit where I was like his protege, right? And he was going right, to show right. me around. But the, you can't. Oh, you right. can't. Listen, listen, no listen, 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 You can't keep Jimmy. You can't keep the outlaw Jimmy, within listen. the law, dude. The outlaw is going to break out. Listen, Jimmy. <laughs> so I, I yes. got you this time. I hope it was helpful. It was. It actually really okay, was. I, I what did think you learn? I know my. I think I learned that I'm doing what I enjoy. It's probably not going to work in today's climate. And according to your. Your nice comedian friend, he said, stay with it because it's fun, but don't expect an ROI. And I'll stay with it because I'm a dreamer and I like it. You got it. The, the love you gave me and the honesty, you know, and all sincerity is appreciated. And I kind of knew that answer, but to hear it from a professional comedian validates it. But it's a hard thing for a guy like me to let go of something I enjoy. Doing. Sure. You know, and listen, that's just me. If you're going to make it happen, it's got to be with yourself. Don't think that anyone is going to make it happen for you. You know I know, and I was talking to my team this weekend about it, because <laughs> we don't get bounce back from media, <laughs> you know? Well, These my fucking team's people me. are robbing like, you, <laughs> whatever like, your team I is. I, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm okay Jim, with Jimmy, that. Jimmy, how many people do you employ on your team? Five. Five. Okay, <laughs> what, what are their roles? What's that? Videographer, what do we got? Editor? Who do no, you have? The, uh, that's the social media people. I'm not oh. talking about the, the Oh, you just, this is just your day to day. We're These are my day-to-day people. Your, your manager? Who, do we, who are we talking? Steve Rossi, Zach's friend. Okay. <laughs> he is Steve Rossi. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Okay, you know what, Jimmy? I'm going to end it on one wholesome moment here. Okay. This is from our edit, and I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, uh. Oh, we, I know made, this. we had this big moment where you got—they were about to get out of the limousine, <laughs> and here is like the kind of the big famous moment. quote. They had—they had, they had a, a crowd gathered. They're like <laughs> someone famous is coming out. So here's Jimmy's big. He moment. let the limo like stir a little bit. Zonka. No, I don't like that. <laughs> here it is. This is the biggie. This is the biggie. <laughs> the biggie. Hold it. I want to check audio, audio on. Dave, you have my audio. Where's he? You have audio? All right. I want you guys to meet my gay, my gay friend, Zach. We're, we're, we're gay. And last year, I took him on a vacation, and everybody came. Where are you from? English? How come you don't eat the muffins? Listen. Yeah. That's all, see, bit. that's what's, again, so beautiful, right? Because you have this, like... <laughs> Unstoppable charisma when you're just <laughs> ruining people's lunches, but they have this moment set up, right? Now's the time to shine, and you come out bumbling, <laughs> oh, yes. and fucking asking, telling everyone your friend is gay, and just, <laughs> just it's, aw- it's incredible. That was awesome. That was so good. So, right. you're, a right, you're a beautiful paradox, Jimmy. You're a beautiful paradox. Jimmy, we have Can to I say goodbye one? now. Okay, I just had one question. Okay, go ahead. Does the charisma and the outrageousness count for anything to get anywhere? Absolutely. Because you kept mentioning you, charisma. You got to stop talking about the get anywhere aspect. <laughs> what What do you, again, in your mind's eye, tell me what mm. you, th- what does get anywhere mean to you? Well, I just want to get famous with it. <laughs> but, what is, but what does that mean to you? You're on TV, you're on Netflix, you get stopped like on the street. Like to get on Jimmy Kimmel, like to get Jimmy stopped Kimmel. on the street. You're on you got, podcast. You, yeah, you're, you, first of all, you've made it. 
this is a huge show. That's number I one. Know. But you have I know, to. And I appreciate. Here's you guys what you need. Here's lot. what you need. Say it's Jimmy Kimmel. You need one goal, and you got to figure out how do I get there. Instead of this, like, just firing on in all different directions. Well, he he was recently invited on Newsmax to do. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to do, he did a bit about how all uh, press is comedians, good press. Comedians can no longer do jokes or they're <laughs> getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> and they that were is so true. into it. <laughs> <laughs> they were so into it. <laughs> that's awesome. It was. Again, that's another beautiful, <laughs> yeah. another beautiful chapter in the Jimmy, in the Jimmy, uh, a fucking magnum opus. Okay, all right, that's this awesome, Jimmy. We got to say goodbye. I love you guys. I really love appreciate you. Too, buddy. you. It's Great job, gorgeous. Jimmy. Great Thank work. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you take too, care. brother. All right. Yeah, Bye. So. The whole Jimmy Lee saga is <laughs> awesome from stuff. beginning to end. No, he rocks. He's been in my life for goddamn got to be a decade. <laughs> That's awesome. Salute to Jimmy. <laughs> but I can't tell. Some people, they go, oh, no more Jimmy. But I love him. I, I, yeah. It's like, I just can't resist. No, he's an incredibly fascinating guy. And yeah, you're right. It's like <laughs> One a, of Nathan, a kind. Nathan Fielder S. But again... Fielder is like a genius, and Jimmy is the exact he's like, opposite. Well, he's like he's Nathan, Nathan Fielder's Fielder. character, how other people see his character. Right, right, that's true. Yeah, he's kind of he's Bizarro Nathan Fielder is what <laughs> yeah, it is. He's he, it's like he but real yeah, yeah. Nathan yeah exactly yeah, he rules. So there that is. Uh, Wally. Okay, so here uh, is Jimmy Lee ready. I was just I was just messing. There is the funniest fucking Jimmy Lee developments, you guys. And I know y'all probably don't want a long call, so I'm not going to, but I promise this shit is very funny. Okay, you want me to bring him in? Wait, is he ready? I gotta pee first. There's somebody's iPhone <laughs> in the lobby. <laughs> it's so Jimmy. You gotta assume okay, it's, I'm gonna it's go Jimmy. pee, and we're just gonna come back and do a quick Jimmy Lee hit. It's super funny, you guys, trust me. Okay, I'm bringing him in. Old timey. All right. Don't push! <laughs> All different flavors. <laughs> All different flavors. I wonder if he'll have his pink hat today. Pink's oh, did you hear Pink's? What, what was he kept saying? I got Ethan. my Pink's hat on. I'm wearing my Pink's hat today, Ethan. <laughs> Jimmy, you there? Pink's hot dog. There he is. There he oh, is. we got Dr. Lee today. Wow. Oh, wait, yeah, what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, Dr. We, Lee. Oh, Can wow. we speak to Dr. Lee? Is this how you do your dentistry, Dr. Lee? Oh, yeah, we, we can't, can't hear you, though. Dr. His audio is... Hello. Oh, there, there you is. go. See, you know what's... You, <laughs> Jimmy, you know what's there. funny? I wouldn't even, there like... I would totally there. believe it if you walked in looking like that to work on my teeth. I'd be, like, totally fine. <laughs> How about oh, this? Oh. Um, oh, that would be a problem. Are you a bandana guy now? That, that would be an issue. Uh, I'm wearing my pink hat. All right, Jimmy, listen, we don't have a lot of time, so I just want to cut to the chase. Flavors. First of all, <laughs> congratulations. Didn't Joe Rogan watch your clip? Uh, yeah, he did, and I have to tell you, Ethan, guess where I'm at? Where? The world-famous Elena Wu restaurant in Voorhees, where the rich meet the famous. Wait, you're actually in a restaurant right now? Yes. Oh, fuck. And <laughs> eat here. here we go. If you eat here, all your dreams, Ethan, turn to shit. Oh, well, don't eat really? there. I Put the food ate. down. Can, let me I see. I ate already. Can I look around? Just move the phone around. I want to see the, the environment you're in. The, all the different well, flavors. I'm, I'm in a private room because there's diners okay, in the other okay. room. Okay, good idea. Let's not send you but in I the kitchen. I don't want to interrupt time. them. Oh, no. Let's just assume for the time being that all the kitchen staff are legally uh, here. Don't start that again. Don't push. <laughs> don't, don't, push. push. don't push. <laughs> don't push. <laughs> All right. Well, don't here, push. I wanted to watch the clip of you on Joe Rogan. This is super exciting, and congratulations. Uh, here's Jimmy. And Hilla, thank you for the nice email regarding that. Hilla sent me a beautiful email, and Hilla, I appreciate your support. Cool. I did. That was really nice of you, Hilla. Uh, <laughs> you know, you want to read the According email? According to her, yeah. What was, what what was the, the email, email say? <laughs> thank you, Hilla. <laughs> I don't Okay. I don't know what email we're talking about. I guess were you tr I guess he's making a joke. Do you see I'm wearing my Elena Wu hat? <laughs> <laughs> I did, Jimmy, don't Jimmy. Start I don't know. <laughs> Stop All right, Jimmy, crap. Jimmy, Jimmy. Let's watch the Joe Rogan thing. This is great. Congrats, yeah, man. You must be fans. buzzing. This fucker goes out into the streets and just says hilarious shit. He's implementing free speech in a way that's just brilliant. I saw him make fun of this bitch with one eye. It was crazy. This guy is a fucking Jersey outlaw. Love him. I got my eye on you, hon. Got my eye on you. 
Got my eye on her. Yes, you know. <laughs> Oh my God! Did you? Can you believe Joe Rogan <laughs> talked about you? I mean, you must be buzzing. Um, uh, I haven't slept for days, Ethan, over this. <laughs> well, and also, what what corresponds with that is I I don't know if you've noticed, but you gained a ton of Instagram followers recently. <laughs> I think I think what I was telling Zach, not that he cared, that I think the Instagram followers went up. Uh, because of Joe Rogan and Zach said, no, no, it's because I know him and he did his music show. And he, we had a little fight over that because Zach said, no, 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 your follows went up because you're friendly with me and I'm, I'm a big famous music guy. And I said, no, it's Joe Rogan. And we, we, we figured it out. We, we broke bread and ate nails and everything's good. This is crazy because just, um, what, what, I can't tell the date, <laughs> but there's like a crazy jump. Like you gained 130,000 new followers. So it's all, it, it yeah. was all within the last 30 days. All within the last 30 really, days. Really, it was within like. We were growing very slow till that, but also we had the Newsmax and the Fox thing, but it wasn't growing right. as quick as that hit. Well, actually, um, so this, the growth actually started before Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan talked about you. So it's just been well, buzzing. You're, you're paying more attention than me. I just realized it started moving quick. And uh, Mason and Carly thought it was because of, of Joe Rogan. Yeah. Hmm. Really? Uh, do you like my Elena Wu hat, Hilla? My Elena Wu hat? I don't know. My new hat. It's my new I, hat. What do you think, think of the hat? Racist. I don't know. Is I, it racist? I don't know what the know. reference is. I feel like it I must no be. Idea. I think it is racist. Yeah, it must I be. I don't yeah. have my pink hat. I didn't have my pink hat. Do they have all must different be. flavors there? <laughs> uh, I think Elena Wu is just Don't the name push. of the restaurant that he's at, and so he's just I'm saying I'm at the it's... famous Elena Wu restaurant in right. okay. okay. No, but this is crazy. On, on the 8th, which was a f like t uh, last Sunday, you gained, you gained almost 15,000 new followers <laughs> in a single day. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Let me watch huh. this Joe Rogan clip again. Yeah. Huh. Hey, do you, do you, have you seen the full episode of Joe talking about you? No, I, I got <laughs> said that by somebody on a DM on my Instagram. And right. then I told oh. that. This is crazy. So I didn't even say it. Here, I just got that clip sent. Here, let me watch it again. Because uh. he's speaking so highly of you. He loves me. It was just banana. When are you going to go on his show is the question. This Here, let's, let's watch. Fucker goes out um, into the streets and just says hilarious shit. He's implementing free speech in a way that's just brilliant. I saw him make fun of this bitch with one eye. It was crazy. This guy. He really, that, that's a little out of line though. Joe went a little harsh on there. Yeah. That I saw him the make neighbors. fun of this bitch with one eye. I mean, that's out of pocket. He liked, he liked that viral <laughs> clip of the one eye lady. Yeah, I mean, I, li hey, I did laugh. Now I work at In-N-Out Burger. Look, Ethan, now I work at In-N-Out Burger now. Look. You really are the king of your craft. There, I'm glad Jimmy. that you keep trying different angles on the hat yeah. gag. Like yeah. you didn't really, you weren't really able All to sell it that first time, but <laughs> you keep, you persistent, man. Yeah. Hey, Dan, last time I was on with Ethan Shaw, I was wearing my pink hat. Do you remember? I do. I do. Remember. Well, anyway, I just yeah. wanted to congratulate you on your huge Thank break you. with Joe Rogan, which definitely is a real clip and definitely happened. Oh, Ethan, I love you. And thanks for your support and love. And, uh, you guys are super people. I love you to death. You know oh, well, that. Well, you'll always be a part of the family. Mm -hmm. And I just want to congratulate you on your 100% completely organic <laughs> Instagram <laughs> growth. Massive it surge. I mean, 130,000 new followers in one month. That's like, that is, that's super organic yeah. and totally Some people natural. pay really a lot of money for that, you know? So that amount pay, of followers and that short amount of time. Yeah. 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 Did you pay for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would never get I'm that sure. many followers in such a short amount of time without paying for it. Did you pay for mine? <laughs> no. Not Why me. would Dan pay for your followers? I didn't. Yeah. Neighbors. Wait, do you know something I about these followers, Dan Jimmy? Paid. No, but Dan sounds like he paid for them the way he was saying that. No, I, I was just Dan saying was it's... Being nice and, and bought them for me. Normally, you have to pay big money to get that many followers. Well, unless you're a superstar. Well, I don't have well, that kind of money. Yeah, As I'm going through these followers, I'm seeing uh, it's Joe Rogan must be huge in India because there's a lot of uh, Indian followers here. He is. Oh, I have a lot of Indian fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, huge I, in India. I, I see that. <laughs> you you know who one of my Indian fans is, Dan? Huh? Do you, you got? connect with, with them? Oh, you, know, you know Can all I of tell them? you one of my Indian fans, their name? Uh -oh. Sure. No. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Here we go. No, no, no. no. Yeah. No, no, let's, no, no. No? Okay, no, actually, no. don't. I, I don't want to know. I don't know where this is going, Jimmy. It's up, it's up to Ethan. If he wants, I'll tell Ethan the I name. I think we got to hear it. We got to hear it. She spoke a lot of twat. He's one of my fans from India. Okay, first of all, that's... I think that's a, that's a Native, Native American, American joke. joke. Yeah. Oh. So first of all, shame on you. Crickets. Super racist. 
And then we're talking about India the country, not Native Americans. <laughs> What was his name again? Oh my god, the layers. Wait, what was his <laughs> name again? <laughs> the layers of being wrong. Pocalata Twat? He's been married four times, Ethan. Yes. Cheap Pocalata Twat. He's an old friend of the families. Uh. Neighbors. Very good friend with love. Yeah. We are right. We are talking about the country of in India. Yeah. Oh, you're not talking about Native American Indians. No. No. Right. No. Now you tell me. <clears throat> now. <laughs> but I see your social media is buzzing, so I'm surprised. You have 154,000 followers. You're dropping memes like this. I'm not surprised. God damn it, I'm still not signed in. You posted a you picture. you like my memes? My new memes? Dude, this one's insane. I mean, you have a picture of, of you with Andrew Callahan. You're the police, and you're about to apprehend him. It says, I don't beg for pussy. I only ask 17 times, and that's it. Correct. 18, now, actually. Now, did you make... Now, now I'm just going to say it. It's a little... So today's MLK Day. I thought it was a little insensitive to post a picture of someone graffitiing on his mural. That was super out of pocket. Because we, oh, sh we, we should that. be celebrating him today. You saw that. Yeah, why are you defacing MLK? Why are you celebrating defacing MLK's statue? It was Zach that did that. I didn't mm. do that. Okay. All right. There was one that was like a Holocaust denial post. And I thought that was like, okay. Well, that was um, that was Ian. Okay, all right. Well, congratulations on all your success, Jimmy. I just I wanted to... You, buddy. Guess what? I got some good news. What's that? Yeah. I'm coming out to L.A. in March. <laughs> all right. Okay. And, and I want the cameras in the restaurant, and I want all you guys to come to the restaurant. I want to create FOMO at <laughs> one of the restaurants called Chinconi's, and I need Dan to come, too, even though he don't like me. Let's who's to, we got to sacrifice there, one of y'all. I know that place. We what need, are you gonna do for me, Jimmy? You know what we should do because last uh, time maybe, 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 maybe get your hair piece. I don't know. Whatever you want me to get you, Dan, I'll do. Ooh, listen, to yeah, I'd last, love to talk to your guy. <laughs> I'm getting, hey, Dan, I'm getting one. I can get you a deal. Yeah, a we can go a one. little two for one. Yeah, two From for one. Okay. Listen, I think the last time we tried to do Man on the Street with Jimmy, we were under this misguided perception that uh -huh. we could actually control this unstoppable force. <laughs> yeah. I think the ticket is to just go with him and just film the chaos and madness. Just let him be himself. He's going to do it anyway, right? So don't get mad at us. We're just there to observe. You know, it's like it's like when you're watching a nature documentary and like a tiger's mm -hmm. eating like a defenseless baby deer and you're like, "Well, why don't you help the deer?" This is the this is the cycle of life. This is nature playing out. And so I think in much of the way we can document Jimmy like a nature documentary. Mm -hmm. Can we, Ethan, get everybody to a restaurant where they would let us film and we could rip it up? Would you do that or are you nervous to do that? <laughs> what do you mean rip it up, though? Uh, create FOMO, as Zach would say. Uh, Ethan, I'm sorry to interrupt. Jimmy just uh, posted a meme, uh, him and Anne Frank saying we're creating FOMO. What? No, that uh, was done by Cam. Wait. Oh, Cam? Wait, that's Can't disgusting, bro. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's what is out there, man. All right. All right, Jimmy, listen, Stop we got to go. Congratulations. It's all happening meet. for you, buddy. We love you. We'll see you in March. All right. Let's keep those followers Flavors. coming up. Flavors? All right. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Take care, Thank buddy. You. Have happy, a good day. happy for you. Love you. Bye. Bye. There it is. Jimmy Lee was on uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, okay, so the backstory here is. Zach told me that there was a, this deep fake of Joe Rogan, and then Jimmy thought it was genuinely thought it was real, and I was like, "There's no fucking way." So I had to, I had to see for myself. Guy is a fucking Jersey outlaw. <laughs> Love it. This is like there's apps where you so can. This is a deep fake. Yeah, oh. there's apps. It's really easy to do, right? Yeah. It's just, it's like, it does it over your face and covers your face and mouth movement. Wow. Because you can see it's. I got my eye on you, hon. Got my eye on you. <laughs> I thought Got it was just taken out of context. Yeah, it? yeah, no, it's just a deep fake. <laughs> he he, he uh, and shit. I, 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 I guess. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I was talking to him on the phone uh, last week, and he was telling me about this, and um, 
He's like, can you believe it? I just, I didn't want to burst his bubble, man. Oh my god! Oh, you couldn't break it, though. I couldn't break. And he's like, I'm getting all these new followers. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I mean, obviously, he's buying like a lot of followers. It's not just followers, too. Whenever he posts within like one minute, he'll have two thousand likes, too. And then, <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. I love that he's just, you know. <laughs> I love the dedication, man. It's all the different yeah, flavors. It's happening. I flavors? love the theory. If he's like, I, if somebody can watch this, if I can convince them that other people like it, then maybe they'll <laughs> fall in line and he's, like it. He's creating FOMO, literally, that doing it. Right. Yeah. Well, the chat is, as always, entirely uh, divided on the Jimmy Lee <laughs> content, as I knew they would be. <laughs> but I made an exception today uh, for Jimmy, and I'm just so happy for his continued success there. What do you think he means? Tear up a restaurant together? It's just—it's an old timey oh. expression, dude. He's he tear it up, what, what get is, a bunch of laughter. What does he uh, want to do in the restaurant? He do what to, he does: go walk yeah. around to the patrons and the uh, and harass them. The Take some food from a guy with an why, oxygen. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting about these bot accounts is that the pictures don't line up. Like, there's like multiple pictures of different people on these accounts. Like, it's the worst fake accounts I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, what's happening is he's getting, um, he's been taken for a ride by these PR people because we he always talks about how much oh. he's paying and he's got this huge yeah. team, and they're just like, they're like, look. Because he's so clueless. You oh, I, I mean, if so, that's fucked up. We should, oh yeah, we no, should they're, warn him. they're straight up stealing from him. If that's like what's him. really happening, it has to be. I don't think Jimmy know. He, Jimmy doesn't know shit. He probably doesn't even know you can buy followers on Instagram. Yeah, and so I think they're like, "Yo, look how big you're getting on Instagram," oh, and he's like, "Okay, I guess the twenty thousand dollars a month I'm paying them I, is I think worth spot it." On. Yeah, flavors. They, they made the deep fake. They're they are. <laughs> he's being. You should actually tip him off. Yeah, we should definitely warn him if that's really what's. I, I think. He, I just thought he's just buying followers because. Think about it. Jimmy doesn't know how to do that. But he would. No, he personally wouldn't. But I thought maybe he, he told you know his okay people to do it. Doing it. Yeah, exactly, or something like that. But what you're I saying actually makes. I don't sense. know how much it would cost to buy followers. It's expensive. So wouldn't he would have to know because that would be like a huge. No, he's paying them a shitload of money. If he's paying this PR firm a bunch of money and they're like, "Look, we're doing our job so well. Look how many followers you're getting, and it's all fake." Yeah, like if he's paying them ten thousand dollars a month and then they spend like a thousand a month or. Hmm. Whatever, yeah. A month. To Interesting. Make it look like his followers are big. Huh. Mm. See, there some some websites are like ten thousand for sixty five dollars. So, oh, oh so ten thousand for sixty five dollars? Yeah. Send me that link, boy. <laughs> I'm about to be. A, I'm about to be more <laughs> followed than Kim K. <laughs> Ethan Klein, the flavors. biggest followed account on Instagram, with a hundred trillion followers. Um. It's straight up elder abuse. <laughs> oh my I mean, God. I mean, no just, way. I think he's being elderly abused. Somebody said he's a job creator. Shut up. Yeah, that's true. He's. <laughs> I think there's a crime happening. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you should tip him off, Zach. Okay. Let him just let him down lightly that he might be on the receiving Getting end of elder here. abuse. Let's move on here. Jimmy was banned on Instagram, but he got it back. So whatever. Not that interesting, I guess. I figured Jimmy got banned for botting. All different that flavors. That was my assumption. But he's back, so. Huh. How did Jimmy get Instagram to respond? Instagram don't respond to anybody. Yeah. Flavors. Well, he is Jimmy's, a big, he has yeah. 200,000 followers. He's back with 200K. <laughs> yeah. It could be the service that he bought the bots from. Could have held his account hostage for a certain amount. They it, do that sometimes. Because, you know what, dude? I think it was something like that. Because when you visit it, it wasn't like some punitive thing. It was just like somebody hid the account. Yep. Flavors. Can did you ask him, Zach? What? Was he held hostage or something? Um, according to him, I didn't hear anything about <laughs> held hostage. Um, as far as the bots go, he said it was uh, not him, but someone on his team. Oh, uh, Joey Joey Palazzo. <laughs> oh, dude, I got it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. So Jimmy was panicking and emailing me all weekend. Uh, I have never responded to one of his emails ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess he knows I read them. Different flavors. So he sent me an email um, asking if I have a contact at Instagram. And as Ian knows, I don't really. <laughs> but he sent me an email from a new alias. <laughs> so 
So he was emailing me from Jimmy Lee, Stevie <laughs> Ross, and then I got one from a new guy. Can we show this? Yeah, this, yeah, please. Yeah, look, oh, well, just, just don't show his email. Yeah, just, it doesn't know. say it anywhere. Check it out. I got one from Joey Del Palazzo. <laughs> Del Palazzo. <laughs> It's me, Joey Del Palazzo. He tried to come up with the most Italian sounding name he possibly could. Hey, uh, uh, but he doesn't even pretend. He's just like, it's me, Jimmy Lee. I think he thinks... I like the double se- uh, send from my iPhone send off there. <laughs> Wait, why does it do that? Why does he get two of them? He probably copy pasted the same email. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I think he thinks if he sends it from a new name, maybe I'll think it's something interesting and look at it. Who's Joey Del Palazzo? I think that's his PR guy. He's got oh, Steve Ross, he's got his manager. Team. He's got Joey, the PR guy. I've got all different flavors of PR guys. Different flavors. So <laughs> that's the guy that uh, bought the bots for him, Joey Del Palazzo. <laughs> yeah, Joey Del Palazzo. Actually, <laughs> you know, I missed this screenshot. That's exactly what happened. He had to put in his login to buy those followers, and then they took his his account. Can we ask him? I want to know what happened. How he, we got will, he will not tell us the truth. He will die on a pedestal for this one. Yeah. I, I can try what? and get it out of him. Jimmy's an honest guy. He'll be honest with us. Not when it comes to this shit, man. He just... he. Ask been, him how he got his account Jimmy's back. an honest guy. He's lied to our face so many times. Really? About what? His age. His age. Well, but that that's How like, many fans he has, the fact that he's not buying bots. Who he voted I mean, for president. Who he voted yeah. for president. <laughs> the fact that he's not Steve Rossi. Uh, do I keep well, going? Is that <laughs> not I, enough? I just text him, how did you get your account back? It's not enough. Jimmy wouldn't so, lie to me. One of the girls who made an, who I made an article with on uh, Secret LA actually emailed me the day after we talked about it and said that Steve Rossi emailed her. I'm no! Like, oh, yeah, Steve yeah. Rossi! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Rossi! He's the best Wait. manager in the game, dude. Wait, he's really paying attention. Yeah, she said the devil works harder, but Steve Rossi works <laughs> even harder. <laughs> Wait, so Steve Rossi reached out and was like, hey, I've got this guy, Jimmy yeah, yeah, Lee. Yeah, yeah. You want to <laughs> yeah. do a write-up? So, yeah. do you live in L.A.? He's like, nah, I live in New Jersey. <laughs> so, I text him. He, he responded instantly, by the way. I said, how'd you get your account back? He's all trying. I said, it's back. He said, I know, can't get an app to post. Ethan, help, question mark. What? Ethan, help. Help him. I don't understand Help anything him, you just said. I, I think AB might be right. They're holding it hostage. <laughs> well, if that's the case, this tell we can, you know, let, 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 let's get the story because this is compelling stuff. What the fuck? Um, but Zach, go ahead. Tell me what happened with Jimmy Lee. You you want me to proceed with it? Like, okay. Um, so I heard from him. Um, I, I feel really bad. Um, I said... Um, I said, I think when you were purchasing the followers, uh, someone is holding your account hostage. And he said, it's not them. I was dumb. Someone offered me a fake blue check mark. It was someone else. So someone did hijack. Oh but then how did he get it back? Did he have to pay them off or something? I, he, I don't think he knows what's going on. I asked him if he wants to call please, in. Please. Oh, Jimmy, well, stop doing interesting stuff because I don't necessarily <laughs> want to keep talking to you, but I'm so interested in what happened. Um, did he have to pay them off? Why would they give it back to him? He's not giving me that detail. <laughs> um, he said, not a good day for me to call in once I restore okay. Not Thank a God. good day. Maybe Wednesday. Please upset. I'm so upset. And I said, I'm sorry. You got to be careful Jimmy, out there. Not that serious. Jimmy, if you're watching, why, by the way, Jimmy's working in someone's mouth and he's got this open on the TV. Jimmy, it's not that serious, bro. Trust me. It's like if you, we could make you a new account and get you back to where you were in a second. Okay. And Don't feel bad. It's just, and also, but all your followers are fake anyway. So it's fine. You said, I said, you got to stop buying followers. He said, okay, I'm not that person, Zach. It's someone else. <laughs> and I said, what person? <laughs> I said, and then he said, let me know if Ethan maybe knows someone at Instagram. Uh, I said, I'll ask, but what person are you talking about? Please. Somebody's just wasting their money. Don't buying push. Jimmy Lee followers. Don't push. Uh, and then he said, a hacker. I don't, don't know. Don't push. There's a hacker. Oh, there's a hacker. Fire. They got. They hacked me. Don't push. Zachy, I got hacked. Well, it was hacked by uh, Steve De Plaza. What, what's his name? <laughs> Joey De Plaza. Joey De Rossi. I, yeah. I googled that name. That's apparently his Jackson Galaxy looking goofball friend there who wears the captain's hats. Oh, that's his name. That's yeah. That's Joey. I guess. Oh. 
<laughs> wait, it's a real wait, does his person? friend know wait, that why he's did he steal him? his friend's name? Yeah. Well, yeah, Joey Joey called in with him once that one time. Wait, right. why the fuck is he stealing his why homie's stealing his identity? identity? <laughs> That's so it's, weird. It's Shakespearean play in the making right now. This betrayal. Wow. Jimmy, you're doing too much, bro. He's like, just chill. Maybe just spend time with your kids Different or something. Different flavors. Like, he told me he wants a break. Yeah, you need a break, bro. Please. <laughs> Wait, this yeah. is him, Cam? He's doing way too much. That's what ha that's what comes up when you Google Joey Bada Bing Bada Bing. <laughs> Wait, <this> is, <laughs> oh, no wonder they hang out. He looks so normal. And he was <laughs> at the restaurant with them. Of course <laughs> Jimmy Fallon <laughs> looks like this. Yeah, it's the Jackson Galaxy looking guy. He looks like an ad for Just For Men hair dye, man. This is a wild pick, man. He's on the train track with a Navy hat, right? The Navy? <laughs> He's Take creating FOMO. Marines, yeah. Creating oh. FOMO right there, man. Hoorah. Oh, just hopefully he creates FOMO somewhere else when that train comes. <laughs> I, also Googled, I also Googled Steve Rossi, who was apparently a famous comedian back in the day. So he's just oh. so Jimmy's stealing oh, identities okay. himself. Oh, Everything's got sense. meaning with yeah. Jimmy. Everything's Hold a it. secret nod. Hold it. Yeah, Hold Jimmy, it. please take a break. You're, you're doing too much. It's not that serious. You're upset. It, it, trust me, you don't have that much time left. Just enjoy it with, <laughs> with your family and shit. You don't need to be stressed. What are you talking about? He's, he's, like, <laughs> he's like 31 years old or something. Yeah, he was in high school. Yeah, he was in high school in 1994. The 90s kid. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jimmy. I'm just trying to be honest with you. Yeah, he. Why is he wearing a navy hat on a train track with the? It, 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 okay, all right. I think he goes his other nickname for. Uh, it goes by the captain. That's that's what he calls him, the captain. All right, let's watch some Aiden Ross stuff now. Let's get to some fun stuff. His uh, his hunting ground and see if we run that's into a good him. Idea. Let's stalk him. Him and Jimmy Lee should go around together and take turns with their bits for their improv. I class. think Jimmy would turn on Eddie. It wouldn't be good. <laughs> I'm over Jimmy. Really? I'm over it. Every morning I wake up and he posts five fucking things. It's the first thing I look at. I look at J Jimmy Lee every morning when I wake up. And it's hell. Just saying. He doesn't that's actually, post them. Yeah, that's like a shared experience. I also, Jimmy is the first person I see I on Instagram every morning. I can't fucking stand it anymore. I have him muted. You guys know you can do that. I like right? it. I love I did posts. do that, but I unmuted. I well, only, I only I follow... The Jersey Lawman? The, Jer the Jersey <laughs> Lawman. Yeah, shout out his, Jersey his, Lawman. His shadow personality. I mean, to your, to your credit, he doesn't have my phone number. Oh, dude, he... I almost went off on him, like, pretty hardcore uh, over the weekend because he, I won't get into too much detail, but he must have texted me at least 30 times. I love Why don't that. you mute him? You can block him. Well, I think it was Friday. I don't know if you told the story, Zach, how he kept texting you that he has a problem and it's serious. Oh, yeah, he, he wants to do this restaurant bit, and he thinks it's like the end-all, be-all. No, not that. How he, he, how he was texting you, like, I got a serious problem, Zach. It's serious. Oh, yeah, then I calls called him. To him. Check on him. And he goes, hey, I got a problem. My doctor said this. My proctologist yeah. told me. Uh, right. Didn't, yeah, you know, that type of Jimmy. He did. kept saying, I've got problems, Zach. Yeah, that's his new, like, over uh, and over it's again. just like, you fucking asshole. So he's so desperate to get your attention now. Well, He's that making it seem like there's an emergency crisis. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought initially, but oh. now this is his new punchline. So I, I got problems. For, forgive me for having a good heart, you know, and actually caring about people, but I should have just not answered. <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? What you don't understand about Zach is that he makes cashiers' days better. Right, Jimmy makes them worse. You talk with the cashier. You ask them how they're doing, and you wish them a good day. Amen, brother. Because we all know his videos are fake, and he steals. This is the dude. That's him. Hey, H3, take off the mask. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. Hey, take off the mask, you ugly fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you, bro? I'll have you know that I'm very insecure about my looks. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. Freddy's um, crying. You know, when Ethan mentioned Jimmy Lee potentially making a, a joke, an uh, insensitive joke about weight, I just happened to look it up on Reddit to see if I found anything. And the first result I found is Jimmy saying, hey, who let the air out of your titties? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That is so mean. That is so fucking mean. <laughs>
It's so beyond Holy fucked up. Holy crap. I thought you were going to take a little longer, so I was just trying to fill the dead air. But yeah, who let the air out your titties? That is vile. That is just fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. Just to a random person on the street, no less. Yep. Yeah. That's our boy, Jimmy Lee. He's an outlaw for a reason. He's wanted for sexual harassment. <laughs> and, and 40 On the states. run. Yeah, he's on the run. Dumpy. We love Dumpy. He used to be a fan, and we could, we'll always have that. Yeah. Smile because Just it happened. Remem remember Paris, as they said in yeah. Casablanca. If only you hadn't stolen that Fupa Fun money and... Uh, what else? Filthy Frank. If you didn't bully, uh, stole stole <laughs> from Filthy Frank, and uh, if you didn't bully say? that poor old man Jimmy Lee, let oh him yeah, make his if, jokes if, about if the really air. Jimmy Lee. Have we thought about Jimmy Lee's yeah. feelings? Like so, what he told some random girl that, hey, who let the air out your titties? That's so funny <laughs> that that was like one of the top talking points of like why Ethan sucks back uh -huh. then. Uh -huh. Knowing what we like, how the Jimmy Lee thing has played out over the last two years. Oh yeah. I like, remember there was lots of comments about like I was felt so bad for that poor man. <laughs> <laughs> How so, times uh, have changed. <laughs> yeah, but even then, me and Jimmy were on the same term. We were, yeah, it was never a problem, yeah, but we, it's just funny. Yeah, me and Jimmy go way back, and we've been making co content since I lived in New York. Right. <laughs> we're old friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the Jersey Outlaw updates, <laughs> dude. <clears throat> so this is. This is Jimmy Lee posted this to his Instagram. The angry old man, he titled it. <clears throat> this is crazy, dude. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, here, let me play it. Oops, we need some volume here. You didn't tell me that last time. You last time you I sat we talked. I never saw you in my life. How's the soup? Listen, I want to sit here alone. You didn't tell me that last time. You last time you I sat we talked. I never saw you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a that's. He uploaded that <clears throat> very funny interaction of uh, aggravating an old man. <laughs> very funny content by Jimmy Lee. <laughs> Actually, did you guys find the full clip? Because I felt like it was more. There was, uh, yeah, there was just a slightly longer version posted to, was it on TikTok? Do we have that one? Jimmy thinks that when he like genuinely angers people that that's good content. I texted him asking about where the full clip was too, and he proceeded to... Do the same five jokes we've heard a lot. Oh, he hit you with his regular routine? Yeah, he told me to go on a vacation. Everyone comes. <laughs> uh, Spectacle? Yeah. Alpha All that soup. jazz. Here. Oh. Oh, you guys got it. Yeah, we got it. <clears throat> so here's Jimmy Lee working the streets, doing his Alpha. thing. Alpha soup. Listen, I want to sit here alone. You didn't Wait, this got a lot of views. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 600,000. Wait, what? He, he, had had a a viral viral moment. Moment. he had a viral moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Um, it's Are happening. You, this has curb energy. Uh, Bernie, Whoa! Bernie Sanders versus Arnold. This is Arnold. crazy. Jimmy Lee has found an audience on TikTok. Well, at least with that video. They don't understand the forces that they're dealing with. <laughs> These people have no idea. Holy fuck. That last time, you last time you I sat me door. I never saw you in my life. You told me last time to have lunch with you. Now you change your mind. That wasn't nice. So, so what's interesting is, <laughs> it looks like Jimmy actually isn't joking. No, he looks mad. Like they had, they had a genuine <laughs> argument. It looked like, <laughs> like, Listen, I want to sit like, alone. like I genuinely feel that Jimmy remembers him inviting him, and then he didn't appreciate the talk back. This is a real moment. Could be. You didn't tell me that last time. You last time you I sat with door. I never saw you in my life. You told me last time to have lunch with you. Now you change your mind. Two uh, nice. old New York Jews battling. Look at this. He's not joking. He's not doing the jazz fingers. That's a serious moment. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy's oh. upset. <laughs> oh my God. That's probably the funniest moment I've ever seen, dude. Dude, I was dying. I, I, I find it interesting Incredible. that he even had the presence of mind to upload that because, like, it's not funny. It's weird. It is, though. <laughs> it I is. think it's really fucking funny. It's one of the funniest weird. things I've ever done. I think it's the only funny thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But isn't it just more bizarre, though, like, without any context? They're just yelling at each other. Well, ask Eddie. <laughs> he doesn't have any of the context. Okay, Eddie, give me your unfiltered take on this. How's the soup? Listen, I want to sit here alone. You didn't tell me that last time. You last time you I sat with door. I never saw you in my life. You told me last time to have lunch with you. Now you change your mind. Yeah, he's that wasn't nice. really getting... Uh, the realness, you know, and 
like, you know, he didn't really plan this and he's giving uh, a lot of sure. forcibility on it so that, you know, it doesn't seem like the person that he's with, you know, was in on it with him. And oh, no, like, no, no. That's as real as it gets. Oh, yeah. And I mean, Bernie Sanders has been through a lot. Uh, enough. Oh, my God, let the man enjoy his soup by himself, <laughs> yeah. for Christ's mm-hmm. sake. You're doing too much, Jimmy. But the people yeah. love it. Yeah, I'll have to get some ideas from that. <laughs> That's good, yeah. yeah probably not good the angle. best place to get ideas, <laughs> to be totally frank with you. <laughs> Jimmy Lee was on Instagram Live causing absolute mayhem. I had not, I just want to say I had nothing to do with this. In fact, he went live, he didn't tell us, and I think one of y'all just caught the live and started recording it, right? Oh, it was Ian, yeah. Okay, I have questions. He posted this picture. Um, he says FOMO <laughs> is contagious. This is unbelievable. So, this so what is happening here? <laughs> that's Super he, Saiyan Jimmy. He's playing Dracula, that's what's happening here. He's in Bram Stoker's movie. Like, they have the same hair. His hair is actually incredible when you consider that this is a painted on hairline, like all of this. Like, imagine what it would look like without that. It would be crazy, dude. But the fluff is like none other. <laughs> is this photoshopped? So we were we were searching because we were we were debating before the show. It's not because I, if you look ow. at if you look at other shots from that night, which is on his Instagram, it, it's it's. There. <laughs> it's very consistent. I, I have a I have a little bit of a theory. I think he's using the ultra wide lens. Yeah. It's distorting it a little bit. Mm. A little bit at top. There's some pull. All right, Jimmy. Slay. Well, he was in um a restaurant. He had that one good bit in the restaurant that we all liked. And now he can't give up on the idea. Uh, he's trying to get us to do film a restaurant scene with him, right, Zach? Yeah. Um, so he frequents a place which he he talks about publicly. It's called Cipriani's in New York, and um, it, it's a really upscale restaurant. He wants us to come fly to New York for this shit. No, no, no. So there's another place in LA that someone owns that is a part of Cipriani's, and he called me and he's like, "I know the manager," blah blah blah, and I'm like, "Okay, fine." You know, that's cool. Good for you, bud. But imagine going to this nice restaurant and this fucking asshole <laughs> comes up to you when you're trying to enjoy your meal <laughs> with his fucking uh, cotton candy, <laughs> cotton hey, brown, whatever. That's how you talk about your uncle? <sighs> I have one. Oh, well, I don't have to imagine, Zach. I can see it right here. Right. Right. Exactly. My broad television is brown fingernails. Wait a second, they're calling us over here. I like watching from a distance because I can't be blamed for this. <laughs> I like that Ian's in the chat. Oh, yeah. Ian said, Doctor, I've got a case of FOMO. Oh, no, this is the birthday girls. Okay, I'm going to give an extreme cringe warning. This is fucking horrible. He ruins this girl's birthday. This is definitely extreme. <laughs> I love Ian's commentary on it in the chat. Jimmy Neutron? Because of the hair? Oh, no, no. I was talking about in, in this video, Ian's commenting. Ian, he's live. Tell, he's telling him to stop. <laughs> he's trying to get him. He's trying to tell him not to push. I like that you said that because it gives us plausible deniability. Mm-hmm. Smart, yeah, Ian. Yeah, but you can't not stop a, the push. Mm-mm. It's like a big old dump. You can't stop the push. Mm-hmm. Anyway, extreme cringe warning. I'm telling you, he's in the... <laughs> I don't think they're calling you, James. Don't push. Happy birthday, buddy. You're a good man. What's your name? What's your first name? He's doing all this for 50 people watching. (laughs) Oh. Better, also, better than three. I don't understand the phone situation. I, yeah. I can't tell if he's on a call or... He's recording his audio, I think. Oh, audio, 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 of course. Well, why? He's on a live stream. Well, the, he may have a... <laughs> I, I, I think he has a video camera as well. But also in mm. other... Uh, I think it was the same day when he went to the other <laughs> restaurant, he had a, a, a lav mic on. So Ask yeah. him. Text him. He'll answer you. Oh, he definitely will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he put. <laughs> Bro, no shot. Look at that hair. 
Wait, hold on. There's a. He's <laughs> just talking to himself. Too. Look at Look that hair. Nobody else really in the chat. Look at. <laughs> How is that better? How is that better? <laughs> That's like a full inch of black paint. <laughs> Jimmy, how is that better? It's not better. Wow, wouldn't it be nice if Look at that shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a headband. Dude, that's crazy. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, he just responded. Uh, no, using for audio since it's loud. That's what I thought. He must have recorded <laughs> but, a video. Yeah. He's, he's recording a video separately. He has a whole this, this is just a page it, there. Got it. Yeah. He's got, there's two people behind filming the scenes. It. See the magic in the making. Hey, you're the outlaw. Yeah, he's not going to, I, he's definitely recording a video because he has that hairline. I don't think he would do all that mm. just for an Instagram live. Dude, he has a clam squad. Right. Well, I can't go over he pays someone to do that to him. <laughs> That's not a paying gig. Someone just painted black on your forehead. Like I don't get it. He also uh, uses a product to fill in the top. It's like um, it's like a powder almost on the on the keep up part. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like a little sod you know, on the lawn. Well, that's that, that. At least is not. I'm not noticing. Is that like yet. the hair hair in a can shit that yeah. used to be on infomercials? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Use that? Yeah, pretty much. Yo. But yeah, the the hairline. I mean, I, dude. This come is, on. This is unreal. What he'd walk around like. <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, no one will notice. <laughs> Bro, it's an inch of paint. Everybody's noticing. We need to get him a wig or something. I, I would like to do a hair system for him. Yeah, we could find we could <laughs> find the system that works for him. Because I feel like he's still trying to figure it out. One time he used a napkin the entire call. He just held it there. Oh, really? Because he's so <laughs> self-conscious? Yeah. You, like, question him, why aren't you wearing your, like, where's your line? And he literally put up a brown napkin and held it for the rest of the call. Didn't talk about it. Mm. He just kept it there. Ask him if he would get a hair system. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> It'd be nice if Shalon just said, Jimmy Lee, help yourself. But I didn't hear it yet. And listen, get a room. And tonight, uh, Asher. Asher, tonight when you're with the lady, she can be on the bottom. <laughs> Listen to me, Asher. This is so inappropriate. You be on the top. I'll tell you how you do it. Buy a bunk bed. <laughs> Dude, she is like God. ready to scream like help. So fucking like inappropriate. He pushed. Like he, he pushed when he, he should have pulled. He like almost like he, I'm almost gonna say he should be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. Well, he gets, he gets bounced out of the restaurant, right? Legend says that his hairline recedes with every bad joke. Says H three H three Lore. <laughs> Who is H three H three Lore? I like their name. It's the fan, I think. We need more lore. Have a good day. Eat that before it gets cold. <laughs> See you later. Happy birthday. Okay, we are stirring up at the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly shocked he didn't right. go in for the ice cream because he's done that before. He but, almost did. He was like, hey, why aren't you offering me a bite? He, uh, he got kicked out right after this. Oh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, good. <sighs> yeah, I think he needs to be arrested, to be honest. Because <laughs> it's just not right what he's doing, going into restaurants like that. He's gonna. How has he not got his ass beat too? You would think. Oh, the cameras. It's the cameras. That's why. And the bodyguards that he rolls around with. Right. <laughs> right. Like ex-Israeli fucking special forces. <laughs> yeah, one of the guys wanted to kill me. So there's FOMO activity out there in uh. There's so much FOMO activity out there in uh. Well, Hard Rock Cafe is that Vegas or they have they have those other other elsewhere. They're all elsewhere. different flavors. All different flavors of hard rock. Okay. Dude, this Mason chapter is pretty crazy. <laughs> this is Jimmy Lee lore, so I'll try to blast through it. Mm -hmm. But so Jimmy Lee. Yes. Social media account <laughs> is like crazy internet deep fake or like deep fried memes. Like crazy. Mm, yeah. And so we've always been like, who is behind this? Yeah. He's always told us. All different flavors. There's a person named Mason who posts for him. Right. And we've always doubted, does Mason exist or not? Because Jimmy, 
he's known for creating aliases for himself to <laughs> try to trick us. For example, the um, the great Steve Rossi. Steve Rossi. Steve Rossi. The, <laughs> the great Steve Rossi His manager was a manager figure he <laughs> created to try to, I guess, make himself seem more important. I don't know. He Love still that. uses that name. <laughs> he emails me from yeah. Steve Rossi and Jimmy Lee. I think we calculate he, he's emailed you over 400 times or something. I think, it, from, yeah. Wow. From the Rossi account or something. Just like from that. the Rossi yeah. account. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Flavors. And so Flavors. I got this today. This is the first time Jimmy Lee's ever. Oh, well, I guess there's something above. I don't remember. But this is the first time I remember something like this. It's just Ethan. Wow. <laughs> Okay, someone's there. I said, who is this? I know it ain't Jimmy. <laughs> and then he just said, Mason. So I said, okay. We made contact with Mason, potentially. <laughs> I want to know who he is. He said, send me a pic of you with a piece of paper with dates so we know you're real. Okay. And then Mason, quote unquote, says, Ethan, will you consider to put Jimmy on live in that Wednesday when he's in LA, would appreciate that. That's definitely Jimmy. Now. That's Jimmy. That's not Mason. So here's how I, I know that it, it is Jimmy doing this, um, other than whatever what else we have in the in this uh, album. Yeah. I told him a million times what we want to do with him. Yeah. And he still doesn't get fucking through to him. He's trying to um, break the chain of command. Right. But he's going over I, I'm head. like the these are the boss's orders. Like he doesn't I, believe you. I can't <laughs> I can't make it any more fucking clear for him. He wants to speak to the manager. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny. The minute I read that, I was like, okay, Mace imagine some young the kid. Weird spacing and everything, you know that's dreaming. It's boomer talk. Very boomer. <laughs> the double space after yeah, a period is a, nobody <laughs> under fifty. No, the, the guy can't text. What's an iPhone? <laughs> so then, <laughs> hey, uh, so this is a, now a DM he sent Zach. Correct. <laughs> hey, I heard Ethan wanted to see if I was real. I think Jimmy sent him a photo of me this morning on Instagram. I didn't send that. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> so it, when you keep scrolling, this is, this is Mason on Twitter. This is him. Is this Mason? Yes. Who's the person who's... Okay, so... You responded to that. Is this Mason? Yes. Now, who, where is this taking place? On the same uh, Twitter account? Yes. Or, I mean, Instagram yeah, yeah, account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, who no, is this, the person? This, this is on Twitter. This is on Twitter. You were talking to him on Instagram. Then on Twitter, <laughs> Zach received this DM. You, so on a different platform. You were, but it's through the Jimmy Lee moniker. Right. Yeah. You, you were talking to Jimmy on Instagram. I was talking to Mason. Mm -hmm. So you do believe Mason's real? He's, he sent me some proof. Okay, so, yeah. is this Mason? Yes, so who's the person in the photo set? How did Jimmy send that? All these specific photos. Yes, it's Mason. But why is he talking like that? <laughs> that <laughs> threw me off. I wondering that, too. That threw me off, too. Um, but if you keep if, scrolling. If he's a young man, he ain't talking like a fucking six-year-old finger poker to type. My other theory <laughs> is that there might be two people talking from this Twitter account. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure Jimmy has access. And I'm sure, you know, I know Mason has access, too. Okay, so you said, but how does Jimmy have a photo of you? Something weird is going on here. Lol, he asked for a photo of me this morning with my name written out. <laughs> so there's a lot of intrigue going on behind the scenes. Yeah. If there is a Mason, right. Jimmy is keeping him from us. <laughs> right. Why is that? And he, he, <laughs> so he sent us a picture of him without him knowing what it was. <laughs> We blurred his face because I don't know if he wants to be public or not. Okay. But it was a real photo of a guy and mm. the um And that's what he sent you. That that Jimmy twenty like year old dude, maybe. Right. So but that where, when did you get that photo? Because you didn't show that. This morning. This is the photo I got. Mm. When you were talking to Jimmy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then it gets interesting. So if you keep scrolling, these are text messages that I received on Twitter from quote unquote Mason. This is a conversation between Mason and Jimmy. Jimmy asking Mason for a picture of himself. So he okay. sent the D the messages he had with Jimmy. <laughs> okay, so this is okay. 
Ethan asked me to s- ask you to take a pic of yourself and write your name on it so they know you're real. Sure, I'll send it over. Give me a second. So here he sends the photo. Okay. This is all very strange. <laughs> like, I'm not getting... the Ma- Mason is... There's something off about Mason. Right. If he's a 20-year-old and he's like a slick internet user, because you see these deep these memes he posts are like deep, deep, deep yeah. cuts. <laughs> right. Yeah. And he's pretty good on Photoshop and all that shit. He's competent. Yeah. So why is he talking like this? Cam, Cam uh, blurred the photos. I'm curious what his opinion you guys keep is. Saying, uh, the audience is confused because you guys keep saying he blurred the photos. He didn't blur the photos. He put Jimmy's face over the real Mason. We did. We put that that's was what confu- I'm saying. Yeah. That was confusing. The, audi- yeah. the audience is very lost right yeah, now. Yeah, I think you probably should just blur his face because yeah, this is very odd. Just put a sensor very odd. on there. It's too good of a Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be- I but, thought at first that it was not a Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> that, so behind that mask, send the blurred one, Cam. Okay, hold on one sec. Behind that mask is Mason. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we, so you, Ethan, got a picture of a real guy. Yes. But Jimmy was talking to you, but there is that real guy. But right. Jimmy, seemingly so, so. So Jimmy never confessed in our DMs that it was him. Mm-hmm. He was always presuming to be Mason. Only to Zach did he. Confess that he asked Mason. Well, I, I, from what I believe and from my understanding is I was speaking to Mason on Twitter. I don't think so. That, like, why is he talking like that? Why wouldn't he be saying more, spe- talking more eloquently, or mm. typing more? I mean, the, this, this, you know, he's probably a super fast typer, whoever this Mason is. What if Mason's not authorized to speak? To us <laughs> by Jimmy, and we've actually just That's, got him fired with well, all of this. Well, I think Jimmy is keeping us from Mason because mm-hmm. he's afraid of us getting in touch, perhaps. Right. Uh, there could be something there that he doesn't want. Hmm. Mason is trapped in a fucking basement. Locked up, forced to make Jimmy Lee memes all there day. There you go. Okay. Bu- <laughs> Buffalo Jimmy style. Hopefully this clears up any, what if anybody who's still really confused. The this, this, is, this is a blurred photo of Mason. So This is what he sent me, though. Yeah. So just a piece of paper that said Mason and this guy. It's very odd. It's just very odd. <laughs> so I don't know what to believe. <clears throat> I thought I was going to get clarity, and now I'm more confused than ever. Let me see if there's any new DMs from from the Jimmy Lee account. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look too. I do have a new one. Okay. So I said, okay, this is fucking weird. <laughs> Why not? So after the photo, I said, is this Mason or Jimmy typing? And then they responded, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> We've introduced a whole new character. And I said, who is Vicky? <laughs> And then they said, new social media, New York City. Hi, guys, it's me. Oh, my God. People are saying in chat that that blurred photo of Mason looks like me. It's not, I promise no, you. No, no, no. Uh, here, yeah. Ela, here's the photo he sent me. Yeah, no. Thank it's you for It's like a, a real guy. It's not Kim. I'm not a real guy. Not, not <laughs> okay, so I know, I know <laughs> Vicky exists. She, she is a new <laughs> photographer person. That but he, that's Jimmy <laughs> Lee typing that. Right. So, but I'm saying the person Vicky does exist because he's <laughs> tagged her on Instagram when he does his bullshit out in New York, whatever. I know that there's a person okay. named Vicky. But they're not typing to me. They, me t- you know, they, they ve- <laughs> I'm thinking that it's such a clusterfuck that there's like three people at once typing on an account. I love how like hands on this whole. Op- <laughs> He's like a high level manager. Yeah. He's being managed on a very high level, like I an A list celebrity. Team like that to manage me. Mm-hmm. So I I'm going to say, hey, Vicky, nice to meet you. <laughs> Can you send a photo of you <laughs> with your name and date on it? Yeah, yeah. Do it. <laughs> and watch, there's going to be a message. Uh, oh my God. Of you with your name and date. You know, I, I've, I, I think it truly is Mason on Twitter because I vaguely remember something Jimmy telling me that this guy started his Twitter for him and he's taken it over. Um, so I do believe the person I'm talking to on Twitter is Mason. Okay. All right. You'd think he'd be more excited to talk to someone on the crew. He spends his whole fucking day 
making super deep cut memes. I think he's just fucking jaded from dealing with Jimmy, dude. Well, there's that, and again, he might not be authorized to speak to us. I cannot speak. I cannot John, speak. I uh, get in big you know, trouble. Call it cream. Yeah, they're all different flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Chat saying that Vicky is the one who films his Instagram lives when he goes out and. That, oh, that is her. Yeah, that is that her. That poor, makes sense. Poor his, soul. She does that. His camera. Yeah. You go- could not pay someone enough money to do that. <laughs> I was just watching yesterday, and he was running across the street in tra- uh, when they didn't have the cross signal, almost getting hit by cars in New York. And the weird thing is, he'll just what? he'll scream my name to people who have no like who ge- no idea who the fuck I am. <laughs> He's all oh, you're Zach Bernstein. Oh my god. And he uses my full name, and I've told him extensively, <laughs> don't use my full <laughs> fucking name. <laughs> And he's like, oh, that's Zach Bernstein. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I cannot believe that there is a person, a woman, <laughs> Vicky, who is paying to film that shit. <laughs> now I gotta know who Vicky is. And also, is, isn't he supposed to be working? Does he have a job? Isn't this is what I'm starting to really question is the whole, like... Oh, he's also a successful dentist who has multiple practices or whatever. Is is that just on autopilot? Did you have somebody else? <laughs> I think he. Yeah, I, I think, think it, it seems like it's a full time job. Mason's now, running it. Mason's I'll be honest running. with you guys. Based on some conversations I had with Jimmy last time he was here, I think he is literally throwing his life away to pursue his career in <laughs> entertainment. <Yeah. laughs> Because he's like, the dentistry stuff slowed down, it's not so so good. My whole family's telling me to give up the comedian thing, but it's my dream, I can't right. give it up. I think he has truly moved on from dentistry. But he's gotta have bucks. I mean, he must Yeah, he's real. I mean, yeah. yeah, he's probably he's like, you know, at this point, just pursuing his passion. He could probably retire. Yeah. I think he <laughs> intends to pass on the business to his son, too, who's... Training to be a dentist right now. I mean, again, he drives a Rolls Royce. So <laughs> yes. He's, we know he's not broke. Okay, so I found out we got conned on that. Really? Yeah. How? What do you mean? It was a picture of him with a uh, hotel car. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, wait. So he... Hmm. He's capable of deception. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he got us there, the motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, he's going all in. I agree. He's full sending. He's. I have a theory that he has a special that's going to be played at like his will or something. Jimmy after death or something. I think he's setting up for some big <laughs> at the will reading. They the will roll out a TV and it's like a two-hour comedy special. Yeah. Jimmy Lee. It's going to start the greatest off, thing you've ever seen. Right. You and can't keep... cancel me now. That's what he's going to start with. <laughs> As all good stand-ups begin. Yeah. All right. Enough. Enough, Jimmy Lee. Let's move on, shall we? So let's see here. Jimmy Lee's about to call in at two. As you guys may or may not know, Jimmy is in Los Angeles right now. Little old timey, getting a little old timey. And um, I propositioned Jimmy. He's been on all of us. He wants to come in and be on the podcast. As you guys know, there's kind of a low threshold for Jimmy tolerance these days on the show. And we kind of gave him, we said like once every six months was kind of the quota we gave him. Well, he's in L.A. and he says, I want to come on the show. So I said, okay, Jimmy, I'll give you a chance. And so here's what we're going to do. He's going to call in at 2 o'clock. He's going to plead his case. And then at the end of that, we'll all take a vote as a community and decide if he can come into the studio on Wednesday. Chocolate mocha, you know, colored cream, you know, they're all different flavors. I leave it to the people. I am I am only a man of the people, like the Emperor, like the Emperor Palpatine or whoever it was from Gladiator. <laughs> yeah, I think that was him. Hey, you nailed it. Unlike him, I do not want to fuck my sister. Unlike him, yeah. That's our, the one difference between us. What's your argument? <laughs> I just don't want to fuck my sister, dude. <laughs> I mean, Prager, it's not that complicated. <laughs> so um, I leave it to everybody. But what's interesting leading up to this, actually, is that Jimmy has been tearing up Los Angeles. There's been a tons of 
posts of people who have ran into him, him getting kicked out of restaurants, creating FOMO all over the place. And I do feel as if he's become kind of a pseudo celebrity out, especially out here in LA. Everybody, Neighbors. like people are stopping in and saying hi all the time. It's kind of like he's living his dream out here, isn't it? I mean, yes, kind, kind of, sort of, but I'm, I'm happy for him on that. But there's a lot of things that are set up um, with FOMO with fans. He frames it a certain way. Let's go ahead as we lead up. As we lead up to the call with Jimmy, I want to show you some of my favorite moments. Apparently, he said he spent over twenty thousand dollars on this trip. Hotel crew. <laughs> He's got. Yeah. He has three people with him all all uh, all the time, right? Yeah, limo. Um, limo, you this, know. You know, he's Mr. Hollywood. He should move here. He should fucking leave his family in <laughs> New Jersey. I can't afford it. His kids are old enough. I got to pay for it. colleges. I can't afford it. He can, but he can afford to fly out here for on like a well, the midlife trip every couple months. The end of the life crisis never stops. He no, he right. has a he has a End life, end of life crisis fund. End of life. That's fucked up. <laughs> well, toward, toward, Sounds like he's on la, hospice care. Last quarter. Last end quarter. Of life. The last quarter. Because we all know, you know, he's pushing he's 80, got, no, pushing eighty five, and you know, he's a nineties kid. He's got plenty of time. He's yeah, a nineties he kid like me. He was twenty five. You know the Rugrats, uh, Dan. <laughs> he was twenty five uh, in nineteen ninety three. How old do we actually think he is? He's six. We know. Yeah. No, he's older than that. He's in his seventies, I think. No, he he's mid sixties. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. Mid sixties? Nah. Yeah, I think he's sixty-six. Yeah. Nah, I think he's older. <laughs> older. Uh, early seventies, in my opinion. Nah, he's too spry. Well, we, he could resolve this by sending his license to Zach, <laughs> which he, he said he would. It. He won't do it, and then when I'll ask him again, <laughs> he'll say, "Don't push." <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love him. I'm sorry, guys. I just do. Uh, we know. I mean, we. I better we talk enough about him on the show. Mm -hmm. So here's Jimmy Lee uh, sightings. Here he is. This guy said he was getting kicked out of a restaurant. Jimmy, what happened? We got oh, come on. <laughs> Where do we go now? I don't know. Look how many people he's got with him. What the fuck? That's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six people with him? Yeah. Holy shit. That's why, you know, people see that whole camera crew. So they're like, oh, this guy's got to be someone. Sure. Who so. else would waste that much money? <laughs> Six people. This got to be the PR girl. There's another Mel's. Saddle Ranch. Get two camera people, the security. Saddle Ranch. I love he's like, we need another FOMO place. You can walk. How far? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two blocks. Yeah. Can we just drive and park? Go go to Saddle Ranch. All right. God. You know, we've created a monster, kind of. This man yeah. is out there we. doing this. No, we, Dan. You're here. You're just following orders. Don't say. We just talked about how that's not an excuse. You're not getting out of this. Hell no. Well, he also, I noted, like, he posted it. He'll post memes on his Instagram or whoever the fuck will um, of just things that are related to the show, like memes on the show, that I know he has no idea what the fuck they are. Yeah, we definitely established yeah. that. Yeah, so he, like, posted a Shavola <laughs> meme. He Shavola. doesn't know what the <laughs> fuck that is. Wait, like, what's Shavola? That's what Keemstar calls Chernobyl. Oh, of course not. Of course yeah. not. He doesn't, dude. Of course not. Um, let's see. My parents are in Los Angeles. Look at the celebrity that they ran into from the subreddit. Jimmy Lee fucking gave him some old timing treatment at the table, and they took a photo with him. This man is. He is terrorizing the entire city of Los Angeles. He's in Hollywood. He's in Venice. Nobody's safe. The camera's right in their face. They're just trying to enjoy a meal. Hey, hey, lady. Pretty, looking pretty fat there. Ugly. They're just eating like french fries. Hey, tubby. Oh, fuck me. Jimmy was cr back at Pink's creating FOMO, as we know he loves Pink's. His name is on the wall. Guys, come, couple kids. Come here, hon. Your kid. Come here. Look Jimmy, of course, live to 20 people on TikTok. <laughs> couple of the kids. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey outlaw. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Two. Okay. One, two. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, Pink's Hot Dogs, LA. This is a staple. This is an institution. What happened? <laughs> I love this. We get to see him giving notes. He wants the hype to stay up. <laughs> Guys, keep the hype keep going. Keep wiggling your fucking fingers. You're not paying them, Jimmy. They don't even know who the stop. fuck you are. Jimmy Lee, the Jersey Outlaw, Pink's Hot Dogs. Place to be right now. Get a hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. It's <laughs> pinks, baby. I will say I do dig his jacket. I'll give him that. Uh, He's the outlaw, you know. Yeah. Fuck. I can't believe there's so many videos of him out there. This is here. I bumped into a huge celebrity today. Another one from the subreddit. An outlaw. Fucking Jersey an outlaw. outlaw out here. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, what you mean? Uh, oh, I'm gonna eat the <laughs> He really yeah, looks famous in the Hey! H3H3, we fucking love you, you rat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jimmy goes, how do you know me? As if there's any other, uh, <laughs> there's any other street that leads to Jimmy but Mars. <laughs> You're the, at the end of a cul-de-sac, my friend. <laughs> and that street is called the H3 Podcast. <laughs> Jimmy Lee delivers an important message in front of Dobricks, is that right? Dobrik's Peach in Hollywood, the Jersey Outlaws here, we are all Team Jeff, we're all in. Oh. Team Jeff it is. <laughs> okay. That was good. Somebody's giving him good ideas out there, that, that, that I like. Team Jeff. They recorded for, uh, he told me, 19 hours yesterday. <laughs> what the what? fuck does that mean? 19 hours. Those poor That's people with him. <laughs> Come I on. tell you what, man, Jimmy really, <laughs> I wish I could bottle that energy that that guy has. I think he, no, never mind. You don't want that bottled? It causes cancer. I was going to say, that energy is bottled. Causes an end-of-life crisis. Yeah, mm, that, it's dangerous energies to play with. <laughs> okay, uh, Jimmy ate someone's food again? Oh, I hate when he does this. Does this, this is obnoxious. Dude. I hate when you do this, Jimmy. It's not cool to eat people's food, man. <laughs> it's a classic, though. Ew, brother. That's her spoon, too. Oh, come on. What, what flavor? Oh, what flavor? <laughs> oh, new flavor. New flavor just dropped. What, what flavor? <laughs> Jimmy, that's not funny. It's not. I hate when you do that. Such an asshole. Didn't we ask him if he buys them a new one afterwards, and he said no. Yeah, we yeah, did. He says, no, I don't. He just walks away, dude. That's, a, that's uh. his stick. <laughs> that's what I thought he did, but some of y'all were like, no way, he's that big of a dick. He, he uh, gives them a free cup of FOMO. Hey, they, <laughs> hey, come on. Sip on this. This is, a, what, this is how I imagine a Monday being... Here today. So wait, I, we need to save some of these before we watch all these Jimmy flavors. I need I need some of these to be viewed after he gives his sob story of why he <laughs> wants to Dan, come on the show. Dan wants to make sure that one of these videos of him being a dick is last <laughs> to reduce the likelihood that you guys vote for him to come. I'm just saying, I feel like a sandwich is okay, there. Here, We've watched here. some, now we should talk to him and give us the whole sob story, everybody will feel bad for him, want him on, and then we'll show a few more. <laughs> I think you're giving him too much credit. I think, I think so the too. sob story may make him look worse. Okay. Right. I think yeah. so too. And also we can show, I'll tell you what I'll do for you, Dan. <laughs> I'll show the origins of the new flavor soundbite. Oh no. <laughs> At the end. Well, that, that Here, would seal the deal. Yeah, the Los Angeles Marathon happened, and he's there creating FOMO, of course. <laughs> of course. Here they are. Hey, hey, hey. All our people I'm from rich, the L.A. Marathon. I'm rich and famous. I'm Elvis. I'm on Here they are. Here they are. My pizza is Jimmy Lee. Oh, Jimmy. Look at his hand, it just it's always like Put spread open. Come here. Okay, not that interesting. Well, he's been doing it for 19 hours. He's always <laughs> he's locked in. 
I also want to point out that Jimmy is also uh, almost at 400,000 on Instagram. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, he's going to pass. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. This man's about to pass Selena Gomez. He's blowing up. Um, here is actually, so he's got a new catchphrase, which you guys are going to love. Is he ready to call in? Because this is a good segue. I told him to call in. Oh, yeah. I see him in the lobby. So here's his new, his old, um, Catchphrase was work with me or don't uh, he's push. got don't work push. with me, don't push, I got problems. Um, <laughs> this is a new one. Bingo. Though. This one combines Bingo. all of them. It's so here's it's his new one he's working on. You guys tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Where Trevor was born. When, when Trevor was born, they cut the cord and the mother hung So, so Trevor is his limo driver, who's also a black man. Correct. Yeah. And so Jimmy thinks it's funny to just shout Uganda. So every time uh, Jimmy does come out to LA, he uses Trevor's services or his limo company or whatever. Um, and every time the camera's rolling, he Jimmy's like, "Where's my wallet?" Oh, that's like, so fucked. In front up. of Trevor. So. Oh, FOMO. That's really fucked up. But Are you we say, sure that's what he's saying? Because it's like... How could like, this not be racist? I mean, I, <laughs> I feel like that's a fair assumption, but... You mean the Uganda or the Where's My Wallet? The Uganda. Because it, it I can't really even fully make out what he's saying. But I feel he, like when we get him on the phone, we gotta confirm. Does Uganda... I'll he, ask him. He I'll immediately him. goes afterwards. That's where Trevor was born. Okay, too. so here, let me... Uh, <laughs> Uganda. I like how he jumps, though. It was, this is the second time he said oh, The girl gets uncomfortable. Watch. She goes, I don't like that. Or maybe she already said it. it it's the first thing he does. 21? Fuck you. Where do you know me from, honey? <laughs> See me at the comedy store last night? Wait, you reported someone? Wait, what was that? I think they're reporting. Which is a duplicate comment. <laughs> oh, he just wrote I'm 20. So let's uh -oh. talk to Jimmy. I have lots of questions All for right. Jimmy. Now, guys, listen carefully because this call is going to decide a lot of what happens on Wednesday. So there is Jimmy Lee in Los Angeles. Hello. There's my old timey type of guy. There he is. Where are you right now? Oh, I got problems. I'm in a restaurant called Le Petit Four. Only three people showed. I got problems. Yeah. What part of town are you in? I'm in West Hollywood. West, West Hollywood. Hollywood. It's kind of funny. Yeah. You're probably like only 20 minutes away from us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come down. Come down when you're done. We'll have something to eat. Okay. So Actually, how's your trip been, going? How's your trip going? Well, we, we shot yesterday. It was really hard. We were, it was raining. We had umbrellas and, uh, we were really, we had a really good team, and uh, everybody hung in, and it was hard, but we, we got content. It was really interesting how the day went, and it was an adventure, not playing to how it went, but we, we got good content. And how long did you guys shoot yesterday? We had a really long day. I'm actually even tired today. We shot, I'm going to say, the whole day was 10 hours, and we shot probably eight hours. Okay. Zach, really said, Zach said you did you, 19 you hours. You told me 19 that hours. That doesn't really make sense. How can you work 19 hours? No, not 19 hours. I probably said 10 hours. Let me look yeah. back on the text. <laughs> well, I text bad. I make mistakes when I text. We, we, did, text we did shoot for 19 <laughs> hours yesterday with bad weather. <laughs> no, it's, it was 10. Okay, I all probably, right. Well, regardless, 10 is long yeah. enough, you know. Let yeah. me ask you this, Jimmy. Um. So you understand the premise of the call today is we're going to be making a plea to the audience watching. And then after we're done speaking, we're going to take it to a vote as if you can. I understand. Yeah. OK. So I have a couple questions I want to ask you first. How, well, I heard you spent twenty thousand dollars on the trip so far. What was no, that? No. Do that again. With your What's finger. That? Do it with your finger again. No, my earplug. That's came awesome. Out. You like swipe the fucking camera. It's awesome. It's like yeah. a TikTok meme, you know, and <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> I got problems, Ethan. Oh, I, got I know, problems. I know that. I got so, rectal uptitis, Ethan. My optic nerve connects to the rectum, giving one a shitty outlook on life. I got problems. So, how much have you spent on your trip so far? Well, we did one shoot, and uh, that's it so far. 
So we spent on one shoot. But you spent, okay. I heard you spent 20000 I was just curious to hear. But no, Zach asked me this whole trip, hotel air and all that. What am I in for? And I said, probably close to twenty. Yeah. You know, when you add it all up. That, that's Makes what sense. I told Zach. Yeah. So how many people are in your entourage this time around? So yesterday we had, I'm going to say eight. <gasps> eight? Mm -hmm. What did they do? Uh, two video cameras, one camera, one social media person, two guards, and Trevor. And me, eight people. Do you think maybe that's overkill, or do you think that's the right amount of people for a Jimmy Lee on the street? No, in order to get the reactions from the crowd, they have to see a limo. They have to, we have to sit in 10 minutes so the crowd builds. It's got open with guards coming out. It has to be set up right to get the, uh, right. the result we want. So you know, we have it all figured out. You know, it's interesting. You have basically the same amount of crew as I do. So no, if, you you imagine, if you imagine everybody in this podcast <laughs> studio going out on the street, that's what Jimmy Lee's go, got going on. Really I, I, got a, I, I got a better one, Ethan. I was going to invite the whole crew from H3 Thursday to a restaurant and, and have my guy film it. Uh, I don't know if you're, you guys would do it, but it would be phenomenal if we could do it. I think it would go viral. This Thursday, I would do it if you want. <laughs> um, very, got, got very quiet there. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably... I mean, you know, it's Thursday. I don't have a babysitter. and uh, Okay. I, I wanted to throw it out there yeah. because I no. think... I think I know you're hesitant, but I think if we did it, it would be good. You'd yeah, have to yeah. let, it, let it go to be good, but well, let's I'll see, see you guys. Yeah, on Thursday, I... Um, I forgot that I have to make dinner, and I forgot that okay. uh, Theodore is, go is going to be sick on Thursday, so I'm going to have to take care of him. It's okay. The no, dogs, no you know, I got to look after the dogs. I'm not okay. going to have a babysitter on Thursday, and I've, I, don't, I just don't feel like going also. That's the penultimate. I, but, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But thank you for the invite. You're welcome. Well, the no, last time me, I did went, went Olivia to a meal. Olivia sounds like she wants to go. The last time I went for a meal huh. with Jimmy, he sexually harassed. Wait, Olivia. Did, Wait, did you want to go? You volunteering? Olivia will go with you. Olivia wants to go. I thought as a group we would have fun. I thought as a group we would have fun. Yeah, as a group we'd have fun anywhere. Yeah. My, my treat, my treat. I I, I, cool. I told Jimmy I, I'd, I'd go to dinner with him, but he has to be James Weiner. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't do that. Jimmy Lee. I'll, Jimmy. No cameras. I would love to have dinner with you, me but you I gotta would, be yourself. I would Zach do that off the cuff, but I thought to do it at H three dinner so you guys. He, so he doesn't want to do that, Zach. <laughs> no, no, no. I would do a separate dinner. Me and Zach take him down a bow and just off the cuff. What if I we all? Love, what if we all get dinner and there's no cameras and you're just yourself? We could do that, but it would be great if we could do it in character and yeah. film it and, Good and blow content. it up. Yeah. Right. And You're get all about real that content and kid with everybody. Yeah. Heck of Guys, yeah. don't feel too bad because I do want to say the last time I did go out to eat with you, you did sexually harass the waitress, and I actually well, felt like I was witnessing a crime. I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. I learned my lesson. Okay. Well, anyway, let's see how today goes. So far, okay. remember the point of this call is to plea, make a plea to the audience. So I'm not. So how's it going so far? Do you think? Well, I would. I'd love to come back when I am out here. It's not like I'm out here every week. So I'd love to come on the podcast. You guys have been good to me, and you've helped me develop my my brand, and I'm very appreciative of that. And I love you guys, and I hope you know that sincerely. Mm. That's that's just how I feel. I love that's you just, too. I do I love, love you too. Guys. Yeah, for sure. So ultimately, um, <coughs> ultimately, let's see, what else do we want to ask? I like the music. <laughs> it's old timey. Hey, yeah, old hey, time. Jimmy, tell it's me about, Jimmy, tell me about your new catchphrase, Uganda. Hold on. Oh, there we go. The Uganda, that was a funny skit yesterday. Did you right. watch the part of it on the Instagram? I, I saw you jumping <laughs> and going, Uganda. Uganda. And then the lady couldn't say it right, so I turned her glasses upside down. And I said, say it again. And she did. I said, perfect. So let me ask that you this. Said, so why, really I, I don't understand. Why are you shouting Uganda or Uganda? They were, they were from Uganda. 
So I, I oh. went into Were they FOMO, actually from there, or that. did you just see some black people and you just no? That they they were said they were from there, but they weren't. I love when he does word. that. Okay. <laughs> they weren't. They weren't saying the word right. So I'm like Uganda, Uganda. They and then the other it, one they weren't saying, saying it right. right. Is that what you so said? I took I took her glasses and turned them upside down the other way, and I go. Now say it. We'll pull up the clip it. if there's evidence that he was speaking from people. They weren't saying the name of their own country, right? Is that what you said? Uganda. <laughs> it was a very funny clip yesterday. Let's Uganda. watch it. Let's watch Believers. it. Uganda. Here it is. Here it is. But so this is all. But no, see, he's saying he posted one on Instagram with all the context. Wait, Jimmy, you did? I I, th- I I didn't do any of this yesterday. I had a girl. Dave had a girl doing it. But I think I don't know if the Uganda clip's even up. Did, is it up? Oh. You have to look on Instagram. So it's not up. Okay, you're conf- you're. Uh, I'm getting confused. I I don't know if it's up. I didn't do any social okay, so, media. So you were talking. Okay, I see. So Uganda, you scream to the people from Uganda. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I just made it like funny. I made something funny. Is your PR person there with you? Is anyone eating with you right now? I have Danny Palmer, who's one of my social media guys. Super nice guy. Where are you from, Dan? What state? Dallas. Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And did he come here for this shoot? He's helping me during the week along with two other people that are local. Was, he, was this part of the FOMO call you put out on the Instagram? This was part of the ad I had out on the Instagram. Oh, for shit. People. All right, let me Dan, talk to him. Let me talk to him. To talk to Dan? Yeah. Here he- so, Danny, can Uh-oh. you hear me? Dan, you want the headset? Here, hold on. <laughs> Dan. Hi there. D- Danny? What's up, man? Okay, so did you, you hooked up with Jimmy because of, he put out like a call looking for people to help him? Yeah, he's been posting on Instagram for a few days, a few posts. And um, yeah, I just figured I'd email him, get some FOMO out here, and <laughs> see what happens, man. Is he paying you? Um. I can't really disclose that right what? now. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> but, he can't, hear, uh, he yeah. can't even hear. He can't even hear our call. Yeah, he won't know. He's, tre- he's treating me great. We're having a good time. Um, okay, let yeah, me ask you this. Just let's, let's do this. I wasn't expecting to be on the podcast, by the way. I'm a big fan, but um, I never expected to be on here. Well, you're, you're a double agent, bro. I need intel from you. Of just course, whisper. yeah. What do you want to know? Okay, so here, without tipping off Jimmy, look at the camera. Keep the camera straight. And then I'll say, if he's paying you, blink twice. Okay. So he's paying you too well, more than you deserve. Is that what I'm getting? Are you running <laughs> him? Are you running a scheme on him like the others? I'm, I'm trying to keep it cool right now, Ethan. <laughs> oh, poor Jimmy. He's such a. And did you come out from Texas to work with him? Oh no, I moved out here a few okay, months okay, ago. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. So you're getting paid. Okay, I'm gonna pass you back to Jimmy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hold okay, on. okay, okay, okay. Hold okay. on. So tell me about the day yesterday. How was it for oh, you? Uh, yeah. Was it well, ten or nineteen is, hours? I, I was <laughs> I wasn't there yesterday. I was there Saturday. So he took me out to dinner and then we kinda hung out oh, and got some social media. That's when we ran into uh, Dr. Nine O two one oh at the Nail Salon and we got some pictures there. Are Lot you embar- are you embarrassed to discuss Jimmy in front of him? Is that the problem? Uh no, not really. I just I just don't want to make him feel bad because you know Jimmy's a little a little uh, not sensitive but he's um, he he has a big heart. Uh, he does, yeah. He does. And a yeah. big wall. I don't want to make him feel uh, bad. Apparently too. All right, thank yeah. you. Nice meeting you, bro. Yeah, awesome, dude. Keep up the good work. I think he's getting. I think he might be giving a Jimmy. Oh, this shot is everything to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He tells us uh, you're taking really good care of him, Jimmy. I am a good person. I take yeah. care of all my people, which I told you that. You know that. Dan, I just met, and there's another person helping me too. And they're nice kids, and they're help. They they know social media. I don't know it. Yeah, of course, uh, sure. It, it, so. Is there anybody else there, or is he the only one? No, just me and him. We're just having lunch, and then we okay. were waiting to call in at two o'clock for you. Okay. Okay. Yep. So essentially. <sighs> Okay, so tomorrow or on Wednesday, yes, I love when you do that. What are you swiping away? Um, all the Instagram people popping images up. 
<laughs> keep, the Instagram stuff keeps popping up. Ay, ay, ay. Right, you're getting notifications, so you're yeah, swiping them away. Like right. Yep. Yeah. I do like when you do that, for the record. <laughs> so don't worry, just keep doing it. You know? Congratulations, you're almost at 400,000 uh, followers on Instagram. I know, we're kicking it, we're kicking it, and doing phenomenal on the Instagram, yep. And that's all organic, right? According to my people, it's all organic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all about the FOMO, Ethan. It's all about the FOMO. All yeah. right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the floor to you, Jimmy. Plea, you can make a comment, uh, make a plead to all of the audience watching about why you should come in on Wednesday. You want me? You want me to say why I should come? Is that what you're asking, Ethan? You just set them up. We're, it's hard to hear you because the call's coming. Oh, okay. You want me to explain why I should come in Wednesday to the studio? Hello? Oh, there. You're back. Okay. So say it again because I didn't hear it because somebody tried to, try to call. You said you want me to explain why I should come in on Wednesday? Now's your time, Jimmy. Okay. So what am I doing? Explaining why to come in, why I should come in. Go ahead. Okay, so I would like to, I would like to come back on to the podcast if the audience votes me on. I like coming on. You guys are nice to me. You know, I would like to come back on. That's it. That's all you got. Well, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I'm out here, and uh, somebody keeps trying to call. So stupid. He clung. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Somebody keeps calling. Okay. I would like to come back one of the pockets if the audience would like me to. Okay. I, I don't know what to say. Simp I it's mean, a simple, to... you know, it's a simple uh, ace. Short and sweet. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have a whole speech. Well, no, it's okay. You don't need a speech. Oh, hold on, Eve. Hold on. Say, we're working on some politi uh, politically correct comedy. And what Danny, what Danny wanted me to say, which we were doing uh, the first day we met, is trying to work on politically correct comedy a little bit, kind of like I was doing a skit like I've got problems, and I was doing like proctology well, jokes and self-deprecating jokes, which are really funny, but uh, they're not. Well, let's hear one. Stuff. Let's hear one. Well, I got a lot of problems with my ass doctor. His name is Dr. Ben Dover. The guy's got a very shitty attitude. And he told me yesterday, all asses are perfect. I said, well, look at you. I don't know if I agree with that. But last week, he took 50% of my colon out. And now I'm doing everything half-ass. Jimmy, do you huh? think... Um, <laughs> that's Zach. That's Zach. That's Zach. Uh, Zach, Jimmy, stop calling. <laughs> Jimmy, have you outgrown us since your big break on Newsmax? No, I haven't outgrown you. Then why would I want to come on your podcast? Well, uh, listen. Well, I, well, I, I don't I'm know. Surprised. You're walking around Hollywood. You're being swarmed by fans. I don't know. Now, look, I am an old school, loyal person who just wants to get famous and be known. And you guys have been very kind to me. I'm very loyal to you. Newsmax, I got lucky because the guy that worked for them knew the producer and I did get on. But I don't like drop people. I'm very loyal to people if they if they're good to me, and and that's just how I am as a person. Whether it's an employee that works for me, whether it's you guys, whether it's a social media person, so that's just pretty much how I am. All right, you so know, uh, thank you so much, and I feel the same way to you, Jimmy. We've yeah, been, toge never we've been together for so long, you know, and I'll, I'll always I would support never you. Ever do nothing bad, you? In fact, that thing last year when <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> Stop calling! <laughs> you rat bastard! Wait, did that work? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna block you. That was a good one, right? I figured after what had to be you because you just kept so, going. So Jimmy, um Yes. All right, so now's the time. Jim we we had to push the button on something. You don't know what that is, but I had to. I had All to right. hit the button on something. We have a button that can erase well anyway, we hit the button. 
So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> All right. So now, <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. So now, before the week, throw it to the poll. I did promise Dan I would play a clip to just kind of set it up. Now, we have a new soundbite of yours of uh, explaining. Chocolate mocha, you know, colored cream. Yeah, they're all different flavors. <laughs> explaining the origin of that soundbite. Do <laughs> you think you could probably, could you tell us what that means? What's the context? It, it's a setup joke. You want me to tell you the exact joke? Just sure. set up and part. Okay. So it's enough. a cute joke. So I go up to a black girl, like I'm kind of interested. And I go, you know, you guys come in all flavors. I go, mocha, chocolate, coffee, dark chocolate, da da da. And the girl looks at me funny. And I say, what are you, what's wrong with you? I'm talking about Baskin Robbins. That's the punch. Nice one. Yeah, that's pretty much, that is pretty much the clip that I was going to show. So yeah. Yeah. it turns out that the clip that we were loving so much was actually um, a little bit based in racism, which I always is a, kind of the always the Jimmy Lee lore that we love. Do, is it racist to refer to black people as blacks? Um, Hila, I'll defer to you on that. I don't know. I'm, I'm from Israel. I'm... But you say that, right? You say you say the blacks. That's yes. what you say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chocolate mocha, you know, colored cream. Yeah, you know, they're all different flavors. Right. Right. Uh, we lost <laughs> your picture there, Jimbo. Yeah, we just see iPhone right now. Everything I good? I know. So what do I do? Uh, did you open a, did you open a different app? Did you open Instagram or something that might've turned off the, uh, I don't see myself. The video. You're wrong. I don't know. I see you. I see you. I <laughs> you got sirens in the background. Now. What's going oh, on? They're coming for this me. This old timey kind of thing me. here, huh? <laughs> Cops are coming. The coppers are coming. All right. Should oh, we, oh, uh, oh. should we do this poll? All right. Well, Jimmy. We're going to do the poll. I know we can't see you, but so now Let's do the we're going to put it to the people. There's 34,500 people watching. We're asking them, should Jimmy be allowed into the studio on Wednesday? It's yes or no. Yes. Should Jimmy Lee, who is in L.A. at the time, basically... Yeah. A rock's throw from us. Why can't I see me? <laughs> uh, should he be allowed on Wednesday into the show? We got you back, Jimmy. Yep, Danny did it. So the so the the votes are. Oh my God, the votes are coming in, Jimmy. Uh, and you're not botting this, are you? What am I? What? You're not botting the vote on this, are you? No, I'm sitting in a restaurant. How am I cheating? I'm with Danny. Well, you're, a, a well you have 400,000 uh, followers on Instagram. I don't know. You, 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 you know how to pull some strings. <laughs> Zach did all that. So I got to say, to my surprise, the yeses have it at this moment. Oh, I'm hoping that I'm hoping I get on. That would be nice. So, guys, if you <laughs> no gang rise up from peanut butter vegan sandwich, so people who do not want Jimmy Lee on, you better get your voices heard now because can't see it. What did it say? You're doing good right now. You're good. <laughs> Danny said I'm good right now. You're good right now. People, get your votes in. I thought it would be a no, to be frank. Well, there's still time. <laughs> not a lot. Chocolate mocha, you know, <laughs> colored cream. Yeah, you know, they're all different flavors. I thought that one would have them. The mocha joke would would uh. Colored cream. Yeah, you know, they're all different flavors. People are saying bad poll. Should we redo it? <laughs> I think they're hey. saying bad poll because they don't like the result. <laughs> Can hey, we be nice? I, be nice. I'm about to storm the Capitol, Jimmy, about these results. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Well, I think Jimmy's got it. Shit, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, you know, there's 20,000 people watching that haven't voted yet. Dude, you know how this works. His ass is we done. Much was bigger. No, no, no. Okay, Dan wants to rally the troops to vote no. Dan is saying uh -oh. no, no people. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we, to, I mean, there's 34,000 people watching right now, and there's 10,000 votes. Yeah, but Dan, we know how many polls we've done. This is all. This think is locked up. The sample size. This is locked up, Dan. You're in denial. 
You're in denial, bro. Dan, do you want to say something to Dan? He's saying he he doesn't want you to he come. Heard, he hears exactly I, what I'm saying. He I, hear me. I would like Dan to realize what I do in my comedy is a character. It's not how I really am as a person. We do have a, a guy coming in from Cleveland to do a documentary that's going to actually show that in the movie. I'm not really Dan that type of person. It's an act. It's a character. I'm not really a bad guy. If that's the case, want, if that's the case, why won't you yeah. ever interact with us out of character? That's just a. That's just having a histrionic personality. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Uh, right. It just sounds like that's you. He got you there, Dan. He got you there. I'm on board now. And my my son says, "Why every time we go out, can you can't can just be you? Why do you have to be Jimmy Lee? It's not you, Dan. It's oh, that's, having histrionic personality." Your son has a really good. Well, right. My so son just, diagnosed it. Hold on, like, hold on, hold on. Right. Let me interject. Dan, I think he makes a compelling point. He says, "I can't even be myself with my kids." So well, if, when, I'm at, if, when I'm out, but then when I'm at home, that point, I'm fine. It, I mean, this is a philosophical question, but it, it, if at that point, is that not you? Interesting. That just is you? It's a, it's a character. I, when yeah, I had lunch with you, Dan, hold, Dan. Hold, hold, hold it, when okay. I had lunch with you, Dan, were we talking normal or was I in character? I was talking normal. We were talking an hour no, before we went. No, no, no. Yeah. Behind the scenes, not, you've never not been joking around. I've never seen you serious. Uh, I'm not pulling your well, leg. I, I, like when you came here in person, you were you were still on the entire time. Yeah, when I when I come with you guys, I am more character. But like if I do, a, I was doing a business meeting with him, and we were talking in the limo with the video let, people. Let, let me interject here a little bit. The yeah. poll is moving. I want to say the nose are. Uh oh, the gaining creeping ground. Up. They're creeping up a little. I want to say, and you can blame Dan for that, Jimmy. But you're still in the lead. I'm in the lead by six percent. But what I want to say is, Dan makes an interesting point, Jimmy. He says, if when you go out, you are this Jimmy Lee character who's super offensive and mean and racist and uh, misogynistic and fat phobic and transphobic. No, 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 and, you're uh, missing. Wait a minute, but, but, stop. Hold on, let me finish my point. So if you're all those things as Jimmy Lee, every time you go out, then at what point are you, you are just Jimmy Lee? That's just who you are, right? That's your real authentic self when you're out. No, no. I'm, I'm not in character all the time. You're wrong. When you go I'm out. I'm in character a lot, but not all the time. Okay, okay. Well, we've just never seen you. you we've never, you we've seen never met me. James No, no, no. So, Zach, I, I call you out on a date for dinner where I will be James Weiner, and then Zach can witness it. Just me and him one on one. To, to only see? Zach? Only Zach? I, I think it needs to be Jimmy. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I invited you guys. Okay, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. To Jimmy's credit, when we do talk, there are times where he is James Weiner. I will give him that. No, he said Weiner. Weiner, Weiner, whatever. Um, it's Weiner, right? Whatever you want it to be. No, what is it? Is I want to know what it is. Or wiener. 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 Yeah. It is wiener. Okay. That's that must have been tough through life, huh? I, That's another chapter we'll go through another time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've had I've had many hearts to hearts with Jimmy. I will give him that. Okay. Okay. There, when he's James Wiener, this Jimmy Lee character, I don't want to go to dinner with. I love you, but I can't go to dinner with it. I think Dan and Jimmy need to go to dinner together. I oh think that's my what God. we need. I would film that. <laughs> now, there's a bit I would could film. Just a one on one, huh? But I don't want to go to so dinner with Jimmy. When you guys, what you guys want to do is we all go out for dinner. With you want to eat with Wiener or you want to eat with Jimmy? <laughs> I no, you want to Dr. Wiener. You want to go to dinner with the normal You're a me. doctor, Office. for Christ's sake, You Jimmy. have a doctorate. I want to You're a to literal PhD, a fucking MD or whatever the shit. You're a doctor, DMD, man. DMD, DMD. DMD. <laughs> Anti-dentite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll the all go out for dinner, and I'll be my normal self. No Jimmy Lee. Bullshit. Well, then, you'll see, then you'll see how I really am. Bullshit. I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe this is the bit. Wait, this is an interesting bit developing. Jimmy takes us all out to eat. The challenge is for him to be Wiener the whole time. Right. Just Can he be Wiener the, the whole time? The there it is. That's a good, that's a, that's very good. Good point. Mm hmm You like that segment idea? I like that idea, yeah. yeah How's the dentistry going? Business could be better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's COVID related with staffing and revenue. It's not, everybody's having it, it's not me. 
So what am I going to do? Is it possible that your focus is more on your comedy career than your dentistry? No, no, it's, 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 you can't hire Dennis as I'm losing Dennis as they're older and retiring. You can't, it's hard to replace them. And the mm. revenue for lowering from just reimbursements with insurance companies. But it's not just me. It's all dentists. So it's business hard to find isn't what it was. Almost impossible. How now. much do you pay a dentist if you hire them? A dentist can make over 200 a year. 200000 Mm-hmm. Yeah. I figured they'd make a lot more than that. Well, my good ones make more, but most of them make about two, two and a quarter. And that's what you, you pay them that salary. Yep. There you go. That's funny. In LA, I feel like every doctor is a millionaire because they all have like their well, own. Well, no, no. Out here, the, 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 the rates are higher for you know expenses and staffing and doctors because it's a more the metric one cost of living out here is higher. What so Dennis we... <laughs> out here may make three fifty a year. You know they may make more. <laughs> How about what? What about this as a compromise, Jimmy? We'll send you to dinner with Bizarro, Zach, and Ethan. You, you and Ethan. Bizarro, Zach, and Ethan. Who's that? It's fake. There's a fake lookalike Zach and a fake lookalike Ethan. Would you eat dinner with them? No, I want to go with you guys. Wait, Come wait, on. what do you mean? You mean with fake Ethan? No, no I, meant, I, meant I, meant Ethan. Me, I meant Ethan. Yeah, me and fake Ethan. Yeah. No, I want to go with your whole crew and be James Weiner. That's the best I can do. No, that's no. I want to go with you guys. I no, know you guys. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, if, if you have someone that you look, that looks like you that you could send, that'd be then then that's a win. Oh, I could give <laughs> I could give Danny I can give Danny a Jimmy Lee mask. Okay, so Danny mask, the fake hair. So Danny, <laughs> Bizarro, Zach, and Fake Ethan will all have a meal together. I think we should all go out, and I'm going to prove to Dan I can be James Weiner. All right. Well, so well the well that sounds like it's a plan because the yeses have it. I mean, Dan, are you ready to call this? Yeah, I mean. It's 10, 10 points up. He's got you got a ten point lead there, Jimmy. The people love you. What can I say? Uh, I appreciate the love and I appreciate you guys. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. You know, it's a five percent spread, but there it is. So on Wednesday, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to have you in here and figure it out. So 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 congratulations. Thank you, honey. On your on your big break. Do you want him to do another stand-up routine, Ethan? I'm going to have to think about what I want. To, I don't know if I can endure another stand-up. Uh, <laughs> and Frank, Why don't I come in as just James Weiner? Because last year when I came in that one time and we were talking about seriously how I grew up and all that, uh, there was a lot of love with fans, and I think I'd like to come in that way. Just as Jim Weiner on Wednesday. So and should we, we should have a serious <laughs> like conversation, maybe a second. Yeah. No, not it's like just, Can just you, coming what in if, with myself. What if I bring a therapist? No, Dr. Fidel. <laughs> and, and you can <laughs> just tell them everything. No, I just think we should be friends, talk, and, and I'll be just me, not Jimmy Lee. That's all. Yeah. Because that's okay with what you guys want. It's your I'm, show. Right. Sometimes I forget that when I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. Thank you so much. We'll we'll see you on Wednesday. Congratulations, man. You want you did it. Thank you. What time am I coming so I can play in my day? <laughs> Joanna says I feel like we're in a toxic relationship. We can't break free from. So oh, true. Don't say that. What's that? Don't say that. You guys are my buddies. Come no, on. No. Yeah. Okay, Jimmy. Listen. I'll talk. We'll talk. We'll be in touch about Wednesday. Okay. Okay. What around one thirty? I'll, I'll call I'm you, guessing. Jimmy. Yeah, I'll we'll, call you, Jimmy. We'll, we'll touch I'll base later today. Okay. Okay. I really appreciate you guys having All right. me back. All right. We'll see, see you then. Wednesday. All right. God okay. bless you. Bye, honey. All right. Bye. Honey? What's the honey? <laughs> That's a new thing. Since when you calling me honey? You're my honey bunny. Okay, honey bunny. He hangs up when we hang up the phone. He always says it to me. All right, honey. Uh, bye, honey. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Bye, bye pumpkin. Bye. bye, pumpkin. Bye, bunny rabbit. Bye, honey. Bye, sugar plum. Love you. Love you, sweetie. Love you, baby. Love you, puppy. Love you, teddy bear. All right, puppy. Love you, teddy fresh. <laughs> All right, Jimbo. <laughs> All right, Ethan Bo. See you, buddy. All right, love bug. Okay, love. All right, bug. See you later. Love you. Love you. All right. Love you, bud. Masalem. <laughs> he, 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 I guess. I guess let's leave it open. I'm kind of curious what's happening. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> let's just leave this open.
Can you hear anything? Is there a conversation? There's, there's background. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, you can hear listening to us. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> I, I bumpkin. All right, we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye. All right. I love. I I love. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> love screen. I've been, oh, oh. I've been trying to make him click the screen and shit. Because <laughs> he can see me on Zoom. It's so funny. <laughs> what, uh, you can see that? Yeah. And yes, he was, been, was he clicking it? I don't know. I, he <laughs> might have been a t- <laughs> My fave is when he was swiping. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all are going to get mad at me. But you all voted for this shit. I thought for sure you guys would vote no because there's just pe- the haters are so. Well, you know, vocal. Only, only like half the audience, only like half of our viewers. Half of the audience is going to. St- okay, so I'm trying. To, I, we have to think of something that would be fun and fresh uh, to include Jimmy. Um, I'm not sure what that <laughs> is. We didn't get this far because we didn't think he would uh, win. On Monday, we took a vote, and the people of the audience said. Uh, and uh, what what was a 10 point spread which you know in politics that's a huge win uh, that Jimmy should be here and Jimmy is here the outlaw is in town all different flavors Jimmy how does it feel to be in the studio of the great H3 podcast I'm honored and I'm also uh if you guys show that other screen, I'm actually in my dental office at the same time. There I am. You're both, you're at work right I'm now. I'm at work if also wants to at the same time. Thanks to... Can you pull the mic a little bit closer? Yeah. yeah Thanks right to H3's thing. beautiful office design. You like what we did there? With uh, Mr. Warmth, yeah, and Pink's, and my, my magazine cover. Yep. So anyway, let me set the parameters, okay? On the show yesterday, we had a conversation about you wanting to have dinner with us. But only if you could film it. <clears throat> and then Dan brought up this interesting concept. He says, Hey, Jimmy, maybe it's not a character when you go on the street and harass people. Maybe that's who you really are. Right? Which I had told him I'm not really like that. In fact, even Danny, just pre- yeah, put the, even just Dan, real close to you. one of my social media people said, You know, they need to know how you are because I've been with you the last few days. You're like normal when we eat out. You're just doing your social media. We're talking what to do, and you're not like that. But I said I gotta have Dan. Dan know that Dan. You gotta I'm convince Dan. Character, yeah. But I'm I'm not really that person. That's my character. Well, we're putting you to the test today. I know. I know. You told so me. So the so we were toying with a few concepts. Um, on Monday, I was thinking of having you eat a spicy chip, but I think you might actually die from that. Like, problem I'm not, is, it, is my it, stomach it, won't it, handle it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is fika fish. Do you, how are you, I don't, know. I don't even know what we that is. We couldn't even get the fika fish. Apparently it's a rare commodity. The other one was to show you the prolapse video, which I'll do. I will do that. Okay. I don't know what that is, but okay. Yeah. As, okay. And, and, but so I think the big theme here we're going with is you can sit in on the show, mm-hmm. but, and here's the challenge to you. Mm-hmm. You cannot tell a single joke or... Attempt to be funny the cream in any way. Flavors. Are the rules uh, clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Zach and you told me. Mm-hmm. And if you have three strikes, mm-hmm. if you violate the rules three times, mm-hmm. you will be ejected from the show. Okay. I got Your you. Your mic will be muted. Security will escort you out. Okay. <laughs> flavors. We're dogs, though. Do you really like out. Pink's hot dogs? Yeah. Are you just they you got they got you on the wall, huh? Yeah. How'd you pull that? It started when we shot in March and we went back. Deaf Noodles had me on in November. We went back to eat and the lady remembered me and made a comment and called Mr. Pink. Oh, and call up Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink came on the phone and, and he, he said, I'm glad you're there and uh, <clears throat> gave us shirts and hats. Yeah. And I got his email and I sent him a picture of me when we shot in March where mm-hmm. I was in front of the counter and he actually printed it up and put it in his restaurant and emailed me that I'm on the wall. Wow. That's so then we bad. became a relationship thing. And then when we came out, we emailed him the time we would be at Pink's on Sunday and he was there, fed us for free, gave us hats at shirts. 
And the, the whole funniest thing is today I, I walk back to my hotel right to get my car before I come. And I'm getting my car and the waiter says, Jimmy Lee, come here. Mr. Pink is having breakfast in our hotel today. You get, you're getting respect for Mr. Pink. Yeah. And Fantastic. Mr. Pink, I went in and uh, bought them breakfast. Has he ever seen your routine? He, he said to me, this is what he said to me. Jimmy Lee, you make my customers happy and you're fun. We love having you here. And I, and I have to preface that with one other thing. We were getting our nails done the other day at a place in Beverly Hills, and Robert Ray, the famous plastic surgeon, walked by. And without Listen, Jimmy, I'm fascinated, but i got to keep the show on the I'm rails. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. We can, ca- we can catch up uh, in the big details of it. Okay, uh, I was just going to tell you another, another story. Right, yeah, thing. but the thing, yeah, you, you know. I'm sorry. Where J- does it end, Jimmy? J- Jimmy it won't. <laughs> Jimmy, tell, tell Ethan about your four pedicures. No, he let, I prefer, him, let I, him proceed yeah, with his I, show. Uh, thank you, Zach. I'm not thank trying to get into another fucking yeah, uh, he wants Jimmy to do Vortex. His thing. Yeah, go ahead. So let's start off by showing you the um, the prolapse. It's all I have, uh, basically, as a a challenge to you, if you could. We're, we're going to start out? Uh, yeah, what? just right out the gate. Can you take off your glasses for this? We want to see your eyes, if that's okay. Thank you. We want to get your rea- It's a get your reaction on it. Nobody mentioned if they like my hairline. Okay. Olivia, the first one up was Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. You're definitely looking a lot more natural. Well, I learned finally how to do it myself. Oh, well, it took wow. you. Well, Jimmy. I'm a little dumb, dumb. I know. <laughs> well, Jimmy, you're 75 for Christ's sake. It's about time you learn. Subtract 22 off that. And we'll 22. Talk. Yeah, subtract. All right, 20. go. So roll the prolapse video if you would, please. And Jimmy, uh, your full attention's required. All right, honey. Uh, that audience will not see it. They'll only see your reaction. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling it up now. I, uh, Ian, I'm going to put it on the screen. Ready? Yeah. Can you see that, Jimmy? Yes, sir. All right, here it is. Is this COVID related? You as a doctor can uh, answer that for us. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's a muddy tiny. <laughs> what is this? That's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, that's their asshole. That's a prolapsed asshole. What? I don't understand what this guy's doing now. <laughs> he's putting his hand in the guy's asshole. <sighs> right, and then he's, his, his intestines are coming out. <laughs> Somebody has some serious problems. I thought I had serious problems. Okay, that's a joke, Jimmy. You gotta just now... I'm no, that's not a joke. I'm just saying whoever's now doing this... What do you think about that? I think that's worse than the <laughs> other part. <laughs> I, I don't know what that scene's supposed to be. <laughs> it's too... Well, no, it's their... It's I their, know. Yeah. yeah, but why? I don't understand the whole meaning. Your ass. Oh, uh, that's, that's a Dan? friend of the show, Wait, Hunger FF. Yeah. Is that Dan? <laughs> he doesn't look like Dan. <laughs> Dan. Was that you? No, but he's it not, no it's not me, but <laughs> he is my disgusting. twin. Well, I have to say, I you agree. handled that quite well. Well, he's what a doctor, that? you know. He's what probably seen all kinds of gross stuff. I don't, I don't think he understood what he was looking at. Are those prescription? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he didn't see. He couldn't see it. No, these aren't prescription. These are my readers. This okay. is my FOMO glasses. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, put me in. Please. All Somebody right, let's get back in the zone. But yeah, you handled that well. You, it's a, it's a, it's a sexual, um, let's say, genre. That's gross. And they prolapse. That is just gross. They like the prolapsing. I've seen videos and movies. That's gross. Really? Sexual what have you seen? Names. What's the grossest kind of... That! That! Before that. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but nothing that bad. Right. Well, you did say, I've seen, so it seems... Well, I've like, seen bad things, but yeah. I mean, that thing's horrendous. Seems like you recalled specific things. Jimmy's from the school of old school, like Betamax porn. You know, like... Betamax yeah. porn? Yeah. yeah. Beta. See, I have a joke on that, but I'm not allowed to do a joke. But I have a funny joke, but I won't do it. There it that. is. There it is. No, I'm not doing it. No, I'm, I'm saying you did well. <coughs> that was a test. That was a test. Some people are really stupid. Ethan Klein is the worst person on the oh, planet. Oh, we all know this. He's bro. the worst person on the planet. He wishes he was us. I, I, <laughs> he does. I, I would love to speak to him. I'd love to talk to him and go on his podcast. I would try to change his life. Oh, but I don't. Life. I think I'd have a hard time. That'd be my. That'd be the final boss. It's the <laughs> toughest battle. So, so uh, Sebastian G, 24 years old entrepreneur, he's calling. I said, dude, this is a great opportunity for me. I want you to call in and change my life. 
Have a, have a good night. So uh, I, he's calling in at uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, he was very polite. We connected. And he was very, he was actually very polite and nice. And uh, we're going to send him a Zoom link at 2. Okay. Can you believe people talk about me on the internet like that, Jimmy? But he wasn't talking nice about you. Not at all. No. And, we're having, and you're having him on. Yeah. Well, he, he is an expert, a, guru, a self-help guru. Okay. So. Is he like an Anthony Robbins, one of them? Yes. Ant- okay. Tom, Anthony Robbins? Yeah. Is that the big, tall guy? That's the guy when and we were younger backwards. that started out. Yeah, he was one of those. Anthony, oh, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, yeah. Oh, Anthony. Back then he was Anthony Robbins when yeah. he started. He shortened it up. Yeah. Yeah, he's like Anthony Robbins. To reciprocate with his partner. He's like, I'll accept all these uh, favors from you, but I'm not going to owe it back favors. to you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be delicate around Jimmy's mm. sensibilities. Mm. I think at the very least, they should consider sucking dick. Oh, jeez. Right, mm-hmm. because and then and this, if you think about it, because <laughs> he goes. Just if they were my friends, that's the advice. Yeah, no, consider. If, yeah, you might like it. Yeah. Because you. He was about to put a lighter in his mouth. Exactly, but, but he, he won't. said, I but he won't. won't. He won't, but I won't. Yeah, yeah. That'd be like sucking dick. Just so we're dick. all clear. How is that like sucking dick, Adam? So are they calling in too? That guy? They'll be calling in as well. It's just a whole... So all these people are calling, calling in. They're calling in, yeah. Sucking a ding dong. By the way, before the show, we had a whole episode trying to figure out how to mute your phone. I know. You, and uh, you have to unmute it when I leave because yeah, I don't know yeah. how to do it. My kids aren't with me here. Yeah. So that's a pro- that has to be a promise. Like we'll fix my phone. No, we'll fix it okay. for you. Thank I just you. thought it was interesting you never muted your phone. Nor, ha- nor did you even know it was a thing, I think. I didn't even know. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> this guy's awesome. We should get... He's calling in, too. Great. No, he's not. Yes, he is. We got a hold of him. How'd you get a hold of him? I don't believe Where that one. Have, I don't believe that one, even. Well, how do you feel about communism, Jimmy? How do I feel about communism? Yes, as a concept. I don't know. I'm not a pop. Po- po- Fair enough. I'm, I'm a capitalist guy. I grew up here. There I'm, it is. I don't agree with it. I mean, everybody does their own thing. There it is. I don't, Jimmy Lee. I don't uh, begrudge anybody for what they do, but I'm, I grew up in this country, so, you know. You bleed red, white, and blue. There it is. I like that. That's a good answer. You know, you're not... <laughs> good if you don't know something you know you don't have to speak on it for a wild time dude it was the 80s mm. get 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 real <laughs> now don't push me up higher than i am i already feel bad enough that i'm in my 50s early 50s so don't make it worse <laughs> getting, thanks olivia you're getting olivia young. loves me we are younger you. jimmy oh i appreciate that we, we love James. i appreciate you guys having me on and i i appreciate you guys being nice my goal today is to make friends with Dan. Absolutely. I want to be well, like Dan's said, buddy by the end of the day. And I, I have no, I have no beef with Doctor Weiner. <laughs> That's fine. No beef with Doctor. He Dr. has Wiener. no beef with. Do- I don't. <laughs> I don't. Hebrew National Doctor Weiner. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, <laughs> Jimmy came in today and he gave us all nicknames. Do you want to tell everyone the nickname you gave to Dan? Dan's nickname is is Stalin. <laughs> 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 Can I tell him, Zach, your nickname? Please do. King Jew. <laughs> Clever. AB's nickname? Yes, no? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. The What's Caliph that? Mufti Mufti. Yeah. Olivia's nickname? Bright Eyes, because she has beautiful eyes. Oh, see, he knows what he's doing today. He's Sam's nickname is the Hippy Dippy Weatherman. The airport the weather? weather is dark tonight with scattered sunlight tomorrow. She's the Hippy Dippy Weather Girl. And Cam is Peter Pan. And what was he in? Oh, he was Harry Houdini. Peter Pan. Yeah. Is that... That's... Why? that's My mom used to call me grub. She says, you never want to grow up. You oh, always want to okay. be a kid. So Cam's so artistic and talented. He's, he's like a little kid. He's a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> do you see it's Cam as like... Just, do you dude. see your, your young self in Cam? Do you, see, you, know, you kind of feel a kinship there? Between, you, between you and Cam, do you, do you feel I, a kinship I think there? Cam is a very kind, nice person. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, I dude. just... That's the vibe I have with Cam. He is, just, a, and that is super, just a good guy. Mm-hmm. I, that oh, was wow. how I felt when I was here this year, and he's like, "I'm going to do the edit." I said, "I'm going <laughs> to give you some money." He goes, "I don't want any money. I, I just like you." I said, "Well, you don't know me," mm-hmm. but uh, he was just so nice to me. And uh, oh, we're going back to the plastic surgeon. No, Cam. Oh, he's 
Cam when he when he's just nice last Peter year. Pan. When, um, yeah. Peter Pan. Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. All right, Les, we have someone on hold. Yep. Let's we have an that. esteemed guest here who I'm very much looking forward to talking to again. Let's get, get him on the line and then... Okay, I'll let him in right now. The worst. Part. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm, nice. I am really stupid. <laughs> Let's start there, I guess. <laughs> Did I say that? Did I say Ethan Klein is really stupid? Oh, here, I'll go back. <laughs> Some people are really stupid. Ethan Klein is the worst. No, he said Ethan Klein is the worst so, person or something. We'll get I to that Ethan, next. I said some people are really stupid. And then I started, when I said that, I was just like, okay, right. I got to talk about Ethan Klein. Now what, but, now, what made you think about me when you said, I, some people are really stupid? If you think somebody is hurting someone else and you want to call that out, you can. So, but your style, and you can't, you can't even oh, argue. Jimmy's passing me a note one that, second. Jimmy uh, passed me a note. He thinks you're too young to understand. <laughs> He's a kid. He's I would completely disagree. He's, he I says you're a kid. Has anything to do with it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Just because I'm young doesn't mean I don't have a lot of wisdom, Jimmy. I don't know how old you are, but I've been through a lot in my life. I've had a lot of experiences that people. How don't old have. are you? How old are you? It doesn't matter. That's my entire point. Is that it does not matter. Do I'm, I'm, and I'll tell you, I'm 24 years old, but I've I've done a lot of things and I've been in a lot of positions that most people haven't. And Go ahead, that Jimmy, gives me experience and wisdom. I don't want to fight. But okay, I'm sorry. Listen, I just want to let's go through this video. So, do you you said this is the worst person? I understand that you're smart, right? I'm obviously being sarcastic. Just how I was being sarcastic when I said everyone in their 20s should have a Lambo. There's sarcasm. And it's actually a specific t style of sarcasm called deadpanning. Okay, where it's interesting. It's designed to look like I'm almost being realistic. You're doing deadpan and does, humor. That's not dead. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so are you a student of the, the comedy? Worst person on the planet. Are you the best person? No. no. Are you a person that's good? Are you a net positive? I. Are you still on antidepressants? Yes, I am. So you're 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 currently. Would you describe yourself as a depressed person? Are you currently depressed? Uh, no. I'm not currently depressed. Can I eat so why are you question? taking mental health recovery? Was the decision to take the pill, right? Mm. And I think for a lot of people, that's the real the reality of taking antidepressants. It's not the easy way out. It's actually the hardest decision to make. My mom went through it, and what you said's right. What you just said's right. She went through this for years. Right. He was bipolar. So you said the truth. You spoke from your heart. Thank you, Jimmy. I did speak I, I, for my heart. You're making me almost cry. How is, I never heard how is my like opinion that. toxic? That's crazy. Well, it's it's toxic because I've heard wow. this opinion a lot of hmm. pe your peers and people who share that opinion with you. And I think it's toxic because it's discouraging men specifically from tr seeking out valid and very helpful treatments for their problems. Have a gun, Heath? Yeah, I have okay. a shotgun for home and defense. It'd be foolish. What if you can't load your gun in time? What if you can't get to your gun in time? What if he has a gun? Well, There's I would assume he would have a gun. Hypotheticals. Yeah, if someone broke so in the house, just, I assume they had a weapon. Right, you're just not as prepared to deal with any situation possible. And that I, that's just something that I don't feel good about. Like, I would rather be more prepared and better safe than sorry so you for sure and that you, that, yeah. that competence also would right. make me feel more confident i wouldn't i wouldn't like have more anxiety i wouldn't have more worry in my bed at night if somebody were to break in or if can i heard a sound outside let me ask you i this. would feel better about myself can a six yes. pack stop bullets <laughs> i mean if if you work it out hard enough maybe i don't know right six pack stop bullets. right because it just seems like i mean being strong looks cool and some women like it. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't just work out either, Ethan. I also do like I train Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. I do combat sports. Hell yeah, I go brother. to the gym. I do cardio. I combat do all sorts of sports. stuff. That's I do a lot of. Sick. I go rock climbing. I go rock climbing. I play tennis. Yeah, that I'm sounds super in fun every and way cool. I can be. That sounds super fun and Thank cool. You. It is. It's better than making fun of people on the internet all day. Ooh, ooh, that was below the belt. <laughs> that was below the belt. That last <laughs> comment. Below uh, the belt. No, it's Ethan. okay. This we're here to talk everything out. You should hobby. come with me. You should come with me, Ethan. We can he go can together. Show you it's really fun. the world. You need to learn. We can fight. We can fight. Years. It would it would it would inspire you. you you'd like be like, This is fun. Son, but... Ethan, that there is a lot of interesting conversations that don't have to be controversial. But you don't know that because your entire no. brand is based on controversy. No, no, no. I'm having an interesting conversation. What's his job? Based on our differences of opinion. Right. What's his okay. job? So, do you do you have a difference He's in a opinion? You don't shipper. want a pleasant wife. Okay. Yeah. What, do you want that? a wife? Do you want a wife with attitude? I, I mean, I'm an entertainer. I'm not a self help guru. Sure. Yeah. I mean, not 
Okay, anyway. Look, Let me show I'm, you this, what dude. I'm trying to say. This is going to blow your fucking mind. Ethan inspired me to lose weight. I'm under 200 pounds. Please, someone mayo up their dome. Look at, I inspired this man right here. There it is. That's a picture. That's good. That man, is. he would cry if he ever met me, boy. I'll there tell you is. what, tears, kisses, and hugs, man. And I'll be like, I That's love good. you, dude. There's an inspiration right there. That's very inspirational. Good job. You inspired one person. Good job. So you think he's the only one out there? He inspired me. No, he, I think he told me I, I can't think, do I think jokes you today. Ah, I think you you're should doing great, right example. Thanks, buddy. Do you I think, think making people laugh is a? Do you think making audience. people laugh is important? I've got comedy. Yeah. Do you think, I don't think that you make people laugh. What? I don't think that you're okay, come that on. Funny. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like you that's, might not think it. I'm funny, but we get a million views per podcast. We're one of the most important. <laughs> we're one of the most biggest podcasts in the, in the world. Like exactly. you can't. You can't say that I don't that's make people laugh. Oh God. Like even if you don't Ethan, find me funny, that's kind of a crazy thing to say. Your brand. Your brand has been on a downtrend for the last two years. Yeah, your, your your brand is dying. That's not is true, dying. is it? Your tweet, your tweet got less likes. You got like three hundred. I likes tweeted on your directly tweet. like, to you, dummy. It wasn't a public dude, tweet. It was literally I brand, I tweeted directly to you. You understand how Twitter works, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, good. I do. So then, why would that get your a lot brand, of likes? Your brand is dying. Why would that get a lot and, of likes? And it's 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 going to continue dying. Because of the type of content that you push, <laughs> it's not really can, dying, sure, there, though, is it? There's, there's a lot How of, are you there's, dying? yes, it is. People In what way is it dying? Unsubscribed from I people have consistently videos. unsubscribed How from your you channel, dying? and and so it's so people unsubscribing. This one metrics proves that my brand is dying. No, and the the overall reputation that you have in the YouTube community. And when I looked up your name to just do research on who you are, because I don't know who you are, mm -hmm. there is no shortage of videos talking Wait, about how you don't know who I am. Brand, you used to be so much more popular and you used to be funny back in the day, but now you're like this I used to be funny. person that spreads a ton of hate. And Wait, yes, you I don't, don't know who like I am. That. Did you know who I am when you made that TikTok saying I'm the worst person in the world and that I'm dumb? I know who you are. Well, yes, hold on, because I, I you looked me up after I reached out, and it was after that video. It seems that you made a lot of presumptions about no, me. No, no, no. I know. I, I've known who you are, but I've okay. never, like, watched or consumed your content. Okay. Do you just know like, that I don't I'm know the you worst. as a person. You just... I don't know you as a person. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'm quoting you. Sebastian, you can I pull up yourself. your analytics? Your shit's on the down curve, brother. <laughs> your career is going down to the Ooh. fucking dumps, bro. I mean that that is what a colossal dump, bro. That's a off the cliff. Dump. And I mean, at least mine is like pretty flat. But <laughs> that is treacherous, dump. man. You are going down like the Titanic, brother. <laughs> that is rough. That's brutal. His hands Can you get hold on? Yeah. So uh, yeah, my analytics are down because I haven't posted content. I posted a video with okay. my mom that I knew wouldn't do well, and I just posted a video yesterday. So uh, yes, I know my analytics are down. I'm taking a a little bit of a break from YouTube because I've been getting a lot of heat on the internet. So I just wanted to take a step back. That's why they're down. It's tough being but, out there as a creator, huh? I don't think you're gonna make it. You see, if you have thin skin like that, I mean, that's why it's going down. I think I'll be fine. You'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Ethan, if I can interject right. in his behalf, I think he's gonna do better than all of us together. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Not, yeah, not you and me, him, him. Yeah. Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, 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 I That's disagree. just my opinion. I, our podcast is always, is continually in the I don't know who that guy is. He's like one of the characters, right? In the world. And um, our viewership is phenomenal. I'm going to go take a, take a piss real quick. Can you guys give me yeah, like two absolutely. minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Please. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Where did he find this guy? <laughs> I feel Dan more normal now. You better like me now, Dan. <laughs> Where'd you find this guy? Uh, on TikTok. He's just one of these characters, you know what I mean? I feel Cam validated today. I feel, I feel cured of histrionic personality disorder <laughs> after meeting this guy. Yeah, Jimmy's a cured. You couldn't be from two different worlds, Ethan. Well, we two are. guys. No. I mean, we are. Him and you. No, we are. I'm saying we yeah, are. Yeah, you're just... Okay, this is slutty. I gotta, I gotta ask him about this. That is, is that him? That's slutty, brother. That's him. That's a bit of a thirst trap. I would even yeah. go as far as it. He, I, he has his headphones on. He can hear me. I know you're listening. Hope so his whole life is going to the gym. That's pretty. He much doesn't want whole, to admit it, but yeah. His whole life is the gym.
That's, okay. And so my thing is like the gym is not like the end all be all. It's not going to fix. But all that's your his whole life is yeah. the gym. Yeah. So, and that's, is he married the guy? He he's in a serious relationship. I understand it, but he's not married. Where does he live? If you don't mind me asking. I have no idea. Okay. I believe Arizona. Arizona, Arizona? beautiful Arizona. Anybody beautiful. here from Arizona? Extremely beautiful. Mm. Anyone here from Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think he went to Discord to ask for meme-themed uh, disses. He likes those iced teas. <laughs> hey, dude. As of yesterday, I sell paper. Because you just said and you don't I, sell uh, stuff. I said I don't sell self-help stuff. God, Ethan, you are so annoying to to argue with. You what just you just, just like your ideas you're are picking inconsistent. At, you're you're picking at like the tiny, tiniest not, little the, details. Like that, you're just arguing what, like such a child. No, but that's what it feels like to you. But I'm picking at your logical inconsistencies. Because your opinions, they're, they're, they're like... You would have been a good lawyer, Ethan. Well, thank you. No, I'm listening to you. But they're, they're not, not small if, points, if, yeah. right? Am I right, Olive? I just thought of that. They're not. Yeah. They, they feel annoying to you <laughs> because like, you don't have adequate answers because you, you, your whole identity is contradictory. Um, based on this information, if you don't like it, then you can go a different way. Who's the better um, sales and that's person, free. me or you? Sebastian, are you a and, multi-millionaire? Hold on. Yes, hold on. So That's what I thought. Yes. And then that, that's... What basically there is like affiliate links. We can in there, learn. Dan, and, um, bro, I'm we, not, yeah. Listen, I want to <laughs> let you talk, but I don't need you to explain what affiliate marketing is. Okay, so yeah, we did that, and now that's doing very, very well. And then yesterday, because we have 100 like 80, the only thing you're inspiring me to do is that fall asleep course. right now. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're going right, to be well, funnier than me, so I'm getting a little jealous. Of oh, you really, right Jimmy? Yeah. No, but seriously, you you're monologuing <laughs> I mean, for too you're, long. You you should. Yeah. You should listen. No, I'm telling you my this story. Like I mean, you should listen to me. It's I've done, I've done very. It's inspiring. I've done very, very well for myself. It is inspiring. Your company took a loss last month. So, it is inspiring. I mean, you you know who else made a lot of okay. money? Well, Jeffrey clearly Epstein. Not. <laughs> clearly not. Okay, so yeah. But I'm that's saying great. that I mean, inherently is is it's nice that you did that, but it's not enough. Your 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 examples are so bad. Like Ow. I can't believe you're comparing me to these terrible people. I'm not saying that you do what Jeffrey Epstein. Sebastian, how many homes? How rich. many homes do you have? So, anyway, I did that, and and if you guys are <laughs> if you guys are boring, and if it's not interesting, no, then, I'm having. Then that's fine. Let me and ask just, you. Can I please ask you one thing? This is what I want. He I has want so much to money that he could Ethan. probably buy 20 Ethan, hoodies. I want everyone... No, Jimmy, <laughs> shut up. I want everyone to do better in life. 40 hoodies. I want everyone to be... You, a you're a multi-millionaire. You could buy his company. <laughs> Jimmy. I'm Sebastian not Fresh. Right he's, the, he's the outlaw. I'm the Jersey outlaw. He's out of control. Sorry, I apologize Ethan, for listen Jimmy. To me. Yeah. I had to say it. Listen to me. I had to say it in your behavior. No, you're good. Well, Go ahead. I want everyone to do... The best that they can possibly do in their life so is too like inhumane. So you say that, I tweeted that. I tweeted that because people think they're born gay, and I don't think they're born gay. So people are not born gay; they choose to be gay. I don't think people are born gay. Yeah, I think they, that they they choose. It's, to be it's gay. a life choice. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and so why would someone want to choose that? Especially if you go back like 20 years ago, right? Like, or like, you know, 50 years ago. Uh, if you go back all the way. Do you I mean, know, Ethan, why I read on that long time ago. It's, it's guys that don't have um, tight relationships with their father. From what I remember. They end up gay. That's one of <laughs> Jay, the. And Jimmy. That, what? Is that a bad thing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Jimmy. Let's back it up a little bit there. No, I don't have a good relationship a kid, with your father. I remember Ethan. as a kid. No, not, I mean, it's it. okay. It's not like... Uh, I didn't mean anything was, bad by it, but I, a commonality I saw... Oh, God. In my 20s, Who's this I, guy? I was never gay, was like, Give me why are they letting him cook? Bad? I'm just trying to help you. Stop cooking, man. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. Hey, hey, Get I, out of the no, fucking no, no. kitchen, That's dog. What, what the I'm hell? I'm going to go take a piss. All right, go ahead. I want to unpack this with you. This is interesting. Because of taxes. So you're on 50%, and we had to pay the tax first, and then it's 50-50. If they say, why is it 50-50? Because I'm the one on camera. You say, because I'm the one typing. I'm the one with the, the property you're working in. I'm the one paying the bills, the electricity. I'm the one who's, uh, and the electricity and every other maintenance cost of this property. I'm the one who bought the equipment. I'm the one who knows what he's doing. I'm the one with the knowledge. I'm the da 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 da, -da. Shut the fuck up. Go online. And they should be pretty happy with that if they respect you as a person overall. So really, you're paying 30. You tell them you're paying 50. The difference is in the tax. That's where the disparity lies, taxes. If, you, if they don't believe you or they want to get fresh or whatever, 
print out some tax forms. I used to do this all the time. I used to print out some random tax forms to say, yeah, sign here, sign this. What is it? It's for the tax. You want to pay the tax or not? Okay. And they just sign away. They don't know what they're fucking signing. I'll throw them away afterwards. But they, they think something's happening. Something real is happening. Nothing's happening. It's like me getting rich, bitch. Was that uh, interesting to you? What was your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, what what do you want me to what do you want me to say? I mean, I I don't like that. Like, I disagree with the way he talks about it about women in that in that video for sure. Well, do you think? He, well, do you think he was framed after watching that? Well, I don't think that that doesn't provide any evidence as to in, into sex trafficking. He was just mm -hmm. talking about how he like strong arms and manipulates women into like working with him. Well, he started by but. saying, he started by saying, <laughs> I bring when, well, yeah, what you just said is, is coercive, uh, sex trafficking, strong, right? strong arming in somebody into working with you. That that's the trafficking part. That's the, that's the strong arm. Just to be clear that, that much. And I figured out it's sex trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm well, hold on. I, well, I maybe, Ethan, is that maybe sex, I just yeah, don't know that. Ethan, well, that's sex trafficking. So I'm an I idiot. So if I know, it's not a hard one to figure out. Well, he started by saying, no. I bring a girl over. No. She doesn't want to do webcam work. So I bring my bottom bitch. You know what that is, yeah. right? I figured it out. You know what a bottom bitch is? No. It's like your main no, prostitute, know. your main sex working girl who is on your side in terms of convincing the women and putting forward narratives and helping keep the women in check. So he brings the bottom bitch. They all go out together. He says, I have the bottom bitch explain why it's such an awesome job to her. She doesn't want to do it at first, but we convince her with this bottom okay. bitch. Then we yeah. bring her to my compound where I steal money from them. I, got it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So that yeah. definitely does not, <laughs> that does not look good for sure. Like yeah. I, yeah, at least it doesn't not. look good, but. Good. I don't know about you, but if I knew someone that said that shit, I would fucking, I would be, I, I'm out. I, like I said, I don't, I, I think Tate has some good, some good things about him and there are some things I don't like about him, but that. But don't you think you're putting it mildly when you go, there's some things I don't like about him? Cause what he just said is he's admitting to several crimes and I know sex trafficking maybe is not sometimes as obvious as people think, but he did describe what sex trafficking is. Is he in jail, Eve? He is okay. in jail. For how long? For how long? Well, his trial is on. He's been detained for for. He keeps. He's in detention, but he his trial hasn't happened yet. But he's locked up. He's locked up. Yeah. So he's so you're safe because he's not around. I'm safe. Not you. I mean, people are safe. The women are safe. Yeah, people yeah, are safe. The women are Jeez. safe. You know, like I'm the traditional male that you dream of, dude. I'm married. I've got kids. I'm rich. I run my own business. Don't you think you should be asking me for advice? <laughs> No, Why? no, not if not even. But I, I am no. the traditional male there, dream because you're fatty. But you don't go to the gym. Yeah, something. you're fat. <laughs> well, that's it. There are some things I could probably learn from you, but right. no, there's there's definitely things you could learn from you me. You value monogamy, well. I that. heterosexuality, you, you, children, and wealth. Right, I have all Ethan, those things. Ethan, you Ethan, could learn more from me. him. No, you could learn more from him. <laughs> Olivia and I, we, we agree on that one note, right? I just, I, right. Here's my words of wisdom. Jimmy You're a 24-year-old. Right. You don't know shit about life. <laughs> As all 24-year-olds, you have hubris. That's your no. downfall. You would be so much more open and receptive and respectable if you had some... Um, humility. Humility, exactly. Yeah. You need to have humility. I have, I have more mean. humility. You, I have more humility than you do. You see what That's you just said? That's such a hypocritical thing to say. You literally just did it. You one-upped. I that's, said, I have more humility than you. Thing. Don't you see that that's yes, an ironic you statement? Are, you are being such but, a hypocrite. But don't it's you unbelievable. see? You said, I it have more humility than you. Like, do you see how stupid that is? I, I'm going to leave I now. I do wish you for you to have this. more humility. You just want to keep going like a little child. He's more humility. humility. Give us a flex to end it on a good note. Give us a flex. Let's see the muscles. Flex us up. Yeah. On, there there it is. You go. Take the shirt off. Let me see the pec work. Do Dr. Do Dr. Fidel. Do it, Dr. Fidel. Shirt off. Back. Shirt off, Dr. Okay. Fidel. <laughs> you work hard for I'm it. Show it off, brother. See you later, my friend. All right. Nice chatting. I hope, Thanks I hope for we calling. we can talk again soon. Yeah. Maybe we See will, actually. But I appreciate you spending the time and sitting through it all. So thank you, man. Appreciate it. Really do. Have a, have a good night. All right. Take care. <laughs> have, Recording have a good night. stopped. There it is. Holy there's shit, there's love. I don't know. I don't know if he knew that was live because he recorded the it, Zoom.
Well, he, I would be surprised if he didn't know because he seemed to do a lot of research watching like two hate videos on YouTube about you before coming into this call. He knew about, he knew a lot about you. Yeah. But well, he doesn't know anything about life, but he thinks he knows everything. That's I wonder amazing. if he's going to, if he's going to watch that back. He thought he looked, I, listen, I mean, <laughs> first of all, I would do say, I do respect that he sat through that whole thing. More than I you can say prouder. You, you were, you were killing him. I'm surprised he didn't bail on you. <laughs> I thought he, he was hung go- in. He hung in. I thought he was going to go to the bathroom and never and not come back. come back. Yeah, it's crazy how he's more critical of you than uh, Andrew Tate, a confirmed sex sex uh, trafficker. Yeah, he, he he made you sound worse than Andrew Tate. Yeah, they have such a hard time um, denouncing him. Like they cannot. Like I showed him a video of Andrew Tate being like, "I am evil," and I hurt God. people. I don't I'm glad he like, acknowledged that he, that was bad though. The guy. After you showed him that video on the sex trafficking thing, that's. I did that with Dan years ago. We figured that out to stop <laughs> in, the, in the early 90s. Right. That's no, true. there's no X, That's Dan. New. It was a cute You just one. tried to be funny. You know the rules. No, I didn't. It was Ethan that did it. Don't X it. <laughs> Jimmy, you done good today. Yeah. I can't even lie about it. Oh, You've been great. You. Yeah, you're doing good. He's been great, good. right? Hasn't Aww. Jimmy been great? Yeah. I, the I, best. Are you being no, serious? Been good. I'm being serious, and you had some great commentary throughout. Oh, You, you, you were stuff. cracking me up. I appreciate the shout-out. I love it. Oh, yeah, I love no, you. You did guys. good, actually. It was really fun having you uh, at oh, my side there. Just Jimmy being was normal. coming and whispering being normal. in my ear. Being normal. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say it on the air and hurt the guy's feelings. My God. Yeah. That was. Yeah. Yeah, you never said, do Yeah, that. sensitive he, king. He he was, um, so. The guy was so off, but I didn't want to say <laughs> nothing to the kid. Jimmy, you were cracking me up when you took a bathroom break. You came over here and you whispered to me, This guy's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's a 24 year Look. I'm older, comfortable. You're middle aged, way comfortable. This kid's 24. And if you look at the background where he lives and he's telling you multi man, I said, this isn't a hard one to figure out. You he's think his apartment, apartment didn't look expensive? My goddamn room in the hotel where I'm staying, I don't live, is <laughs> nicer than that. I mean, it's not a hard <laughs> one to figure out. If you let people, Lynn, Lynn always says, if you let people talk and you don't say anything, in about 10, 15 minutes, she could figure it all That's out. That's Jimmy quoting his That's wife. That's my smart wife, Lynn, who <laughs> listens and is so smart, she knows. Feminist king. Yeah, yeah you are a feminist king. Yeah, my wife's, my wife's uh, as Just I said to uh, Ethan, kidding. I have to say she's wonderful. I'm out of the will, you know? I have to be careful. If Everything's you, if, in if, her if, name. If, if she's, I said I have to be careful what I say or I'm out of the will. Everything's in her name. Right, don't push. Don't push. No, but uh, I don't think he understood, honestly. He's a kid. He doesn't understand. It's just, it's just. I, but he's like, trying so hard to be compelling. But, I mean, an older person like me can see through that. The whole it's not thing, hard to figure that the one out. The whole thing about, like, Teddy Fresh being drop shipping was I wild. I can't believe how he insulted your, your brand. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised you didn't caught him. He was so insulting about your wife and your brand. And that's it's fine. Your, your I heard that shit all the time. I think, I think he was angry and he was just trying to hurt. I think yeah. my quote, I got problems, we got to let him have. Because he actually has problems. What do you think, Heath? Give him that quote, I got problems. He's got him. problems. He's got real problems. I got problems, he's got problems. No, no, my problems are my jokes. His problem, he's really got problems. He is a problem. He is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Was that good? I mean, we were trying to. I went for a long, long. Uh, people seem to love it. Um, yeah. Hassan I'm was messaging me so uh, throughout him. that whole thing, saying what a great job you were doing. Oh, thank so. you, Hassan. Yeah, yeah. he's watching it on stream. Oh, yeah. thank you, bro. Thank you, Hassan. I appreciate that, Hassan. You're the man. You're you're a great dude. I love you, and I'm excited to see you tomorrow. You know, Jimmy, you did so good today. I'm so proud of you. I wasn't sure you were going to make it. No, I do to keep quiet and just. Be a commentator. Jimmy for permanent co-host? <laughs> like the Ed McMahon. Don't push. <laughs> Don't push. <laughs> Don't push. Zach said, oh. Would you, move out, would you move out to L.A. to be my permanent co-host? I should move out here because I, I like the entertainment field and the other field, you know. I, I Hollywood. I like it out here better. I'm older. I like this. this. Would your family move out here? Or would you? That's the whole thing. Lynn, Lynn's staying right where we're at. That's the whole <laughs> that thing. That seems like a challenge. That's uh, Lynn runs the show there. So I got to just come visit and have fun, but come a little more often. Yeah. Which is what I've been doing. Well, I'll tell you what. After today, you're welcome to sit in with us anytime. Oh, give me a hug. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yeah, you too. You, you have a heart of gold. 
I'm a good guy. I wouldn't hurt. I wouldn't hurt. I come off rough at the time. I wouldn't hurt a hurt a fly. Oh, I know that. I know that's that you're softy. My whole character. You're softy. And that's what I wanted Dan to know, because Dan kept texting me how much he hated me, and I wanted to say, <laughs> Dan, happen. I love you. <laughs> and then Dan happen. said, we have a love hate relationship. You love me. I Has hate he grown you. on you, Dan, after today a little bit? Uh, I, like I said when he walked in. I do not have any issue with Dr. Wiener. Doc, he said with Dr. Wiener. I have an issue he with, has an issue with, with Jimmy Lee. Yeah. Jimmy the Jersey Outlaw. The Jersey Outlaw. But come on. I mean, Jimmy, you know this. Like, you, your whole, like, thing is like, I, I'm edgy. I, I'm say wild stuff. And, like, naturally, not, that's, not everybody's going like to love it. that, right? I like, know. That's, that's okay. You know what's interesting? You are funny. You are funny. When you're you got wit. Yourself. Just yeah, like this, you mean? Yeah, because you you. Well, I don't have to go in when you insulting fresh no, character. Almost like you could just like, be cute off the off the cuff. When you're like, dude, I don't know shit, and even I knew that he was describing sex. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Oh, I that figured it out after a minute because I'm listening. But <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> that was just funny. <laughs> but see, you're just by accident yourself. almost. Yeah. But the whole shtick, I don't I don't think is as funny as you are. You you know what I realize is I talk to Jimmy more than I talk to my own grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, good man. Uh, Zach, uh, I guess he's going to meet me tomorrow for dinner. I don't got that. Do it. Uh, don't I, don't push, Jimmy. Don't I thought push. you were going to make it like a. They, now, we went on a vacation. Everybody. No, can. I'm not allowed to do jokes here. Dan, Dan's going to beat me if I do. You're jokes. so much funnier when you're not allowed to do jokes. Chocolate okay. Mocha, you know, colored cream. You they're good. They're good. The sound bits. <laughs> well, let's see if there's anything else we want to go through today. That was a long. Uh, yeah, time. we're at three hours. Just uh, heads up. Yeah. You sat through three hours. Oh, that's nothing. I want to know, want Zach, to. where we're having dinner tonight. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, you, that I was can't. a fold. He air. just folded his hand, Ethan, on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. How it started. I'm going to change your life. How it ended. I just want to be left. <laughs> <laughs> I was like feeling that's bad. That's hysterical. Oh, yeah. He was, How's was, he going to? Let me ask you something. How's he changing people's lives at 24 years old? But I like, want to know what he's doing. But like, I have every Tony Robbins is actually a motivational speaker. He's actually good. What is this guy doing to change and motivate you? He's going to teach people how to how buy shit ship? on Alibaba and sell it on How Amazon. to drop ship? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, right. that's... It's you buy shit on Alibaba <laughs> and you sell it on Amazon, right? Oh, I mean, boy. that's what it is. I mean, oh, in a boy. nutshell. In a nutshell. I'm sure there's other nuances to it and maybe not all from Alibaba or whatever. But yeah, I mean... You guys did was when he was in, he was really <laughs> insulting you, and you put the screen up where his followers went in the crapper. That was that was that was the funny timing thing. on that was pretty. pretty was special. that you, Dan? That was uh, and no, somebody else pulled that up. Yeah, he, didn't, he didn't up. know what to say. That was funny. Yeah. I looked it up immediately, and yeah, sure. Yeah, can provide. Well, Dan, you're you're good on your your research. God, you're quick. It's a good team we got here. Yeah, you really you know? have a good team. You have it's a loyal a, team. It's and incredible you anybody thankful. watches the show. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. We're all a good team. going good down good team. The, the shitter. It's a shame no men watch the show, though. Mm -hmm. right. Eith, you know what? He didn't have, like, the most popular podcast of all time, like, one year ago. Hey, Eith, it doesn't matter if you have women, men, half, half, whatever. You have a huge fan base. I like half, half. Right? And it would be, it'd be nice that the guy says, dude, you, you get over a million followers. Views. Uh, views. Uh, that's that's crazy. Good. Should, it doesn't matter who's watching. You got to, so many people watching you. A fan is a fan. It could be a kid, it could be an adult, it could be a man or woman. You got people watching. You got a ton of people watching. Pe you. People are saying eighty thousand if you count Hassan. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> you know, because he, he had like thirty five k. More importantly, I think he should be asking why his audience is so male. Like, why are women so repulsed by your? That, content? I, that's why I, I he's a chauvinist. Didn't know if you where he was going to him with carefully that and how he feels. He's very yeah. the old school Europeans. That's how a lot of the men are. They're they're, they're and you know what? Very old school Europeans. You know if you he's have, from Romania. If you have a relationship with your significant other where you guys like that kind of relationship, then that's then that's awesome. Well, that's that old school my, European man woman relationship. My problem is that he presents this as a self help guy He's that this is the way to live, and yeah. it's not. No, you know, it's not. You're right. Thank you, dude. You got ratioed by Jimmy Lee, bro. Look at this. <laughs> I had say? to do it to him. Say? I had to do it to him. Love. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> this is him. He tweeted that, and it's Jimmy <laughs> saying ratio. What's that mean? It means you <laughs> got more likes than he did under his tweet. No, I got more likes than him on his tweet. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Ratioed. And he's got the Good picture job, when I was on the boardwalk. All right, Jimmy, I got to show you how to unmute your phone now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. yeah. There's please. A... Hmm. And then there's, uh, he used to be funny. He said the thing. And then there's, 
Look I at also this don't whore begging for validation. There's a lot of pictures of him, Dr. Wiener to Ethan the whole time. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> 24 year old insecurity. I uh, people don't even know. Watch you. He's got that verified baby. Oh, we got that good. Oh, we got that yellow oh, you got the gold baby. Be gold like that. Ah, uh, yeah. This one. This one is. This one is great. <laughs> the yeah. I heard. I actually watched your reaction. I was curious. You you were you were tickled by who the fuck Jimmy Lee was. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> understand what was going on there. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he's an interesting dude. Yeah, the it's hard whole to side I saw when he started to go off the rails a little bit when he was like, "Well, uh, you know, I read it. I, 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 I saw. Yeah, he, <laughs> like my dad read something that said gays come from bad homes. Yeah, they're, so like, yeah, they're fatherless families. I was like, Jimmy, we're doing so good today. <laughs> That's like, is that his? I don't know what his vibes are. He's he didn't get a good beat on him. He's old timey. He's old. He's an old, he's an old timey comic that's sort of in our orbit and. Um, so I just wanted to take a step back. That's why they're down. It's tough being but out there as a creator, huh? I don't think you're going to make it You see if you have thin skin like that. I mean, that's why it's going down. I think I'll be fine. You'll be fine? I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Ethan, if I can interject right. in his behalf, I think he's going to do better than all of us together. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jimmy. I, not, yeah. not you and me. Him. Him. Yeah. Sebastian. Yeah, but I, 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 I That's disagree. just my opinion. I mean, our podcast is always is continually in the. I don't know who that guy is. He's like one of the characters, right? In the world, he's a dentist. He's like a what? millionaire. Wait, what? Really? It, he's it, a he's very a successful dentist. Bro, there is a zero shot. I'm letting that guy anywhere near my fucking face with like anesthesia. He's no a really. Respect, he's, but. he's a really accomplished dentist. He owns like six practices. Yeah, but I'll tell you this. The Jimmy Lee iceberg is probably one of the becoming one of the deepest. Yeah, it's well, been a long. My history with him goes back like I don't know, it's almost ten years now. <laughs> Bro, that that's wild. Yeah. People get their teeth done by that dude. What the fuck? So let's let's actually talk about the news if we can. Uh...